All right, let's get it started. I'm on the Moot Planet, 35 tame moves, another 94, 98 wild. It's just nuts. Sir Dart, I would imagine your game is lagging hard. <laughs> Dude, flying moves and you're in triple digits? How are you not lagging? Matikso, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. Kill the moose. Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, let's get it started. Triple interest is what I'm looking for. There we go. Let's go with... Research, rocketry, and... The, the performance improvement they made definitely helped out a lot. Hey, I see you. Friend Vic joined the Duke Colony. I got you, I got you. We'll get suit wearing on the sky. And we could leave this here. Actually, no. Can I go for uh, innately stylish? All right. Put me in the queue. There's no one in the queue. But friend, Vic, I'm just going to say, man, this is a meme run. I don't know if you want to be in this run. That's fine. This is typically not something I would like to do. I don't like pairing digging with ranching. The tidying is fine. I think we're gonna make up suit wearing. And then, yeah, that's fine. All right, food run. Number one. And let's get it started. This is gonna be the all the foods run. All right, let's get it in. All right, let's pause. Let's check out the map. We already got the teleporter right here. Nice. We got a puff. Got a lot of Paku, a lot of slime. Got some slugs. They got a they got a die. A lot of mud on the map. That's not fun. All right, friends, Vic, who would you like to claim? You got to pick someone, man. Let me know. Let me know. We got to pick someone. We're going to set up the setup here. So high. High. Low. Disallowed. There we go. And then we could work into their specialties. So this is a researcher. Rocketry. And we'll have you do operating. Meemaw is... Wait. Oh, you're early bird. Okay. So you're digging. And then that also means tidying. You have plus two. You're going to be pilot? All right. We got you. We got you. So build supply. I guess we could also do that. And then operating. No one's farming. The guy digging with attack skill. All right. And we got friend Vic. Welcome in. All right, friend Vic. Let's give you the Pacus. Let's see. We get some new shirts. We did get some new shirts. Okay. Oh, we don't got the red socks. We don't have the gloves. Okay. All right. Matches the hair. Let's go. Friend Big, welcome in. Welcome in. 
So, so f Oh, Natty Gas. That's a geyser. Okay, so there's no restrictions on this. This is going to be the food run playthrough. Our goal is going to be getting every cooked food item in the game. And by getting that, we'll be able to have good times. So that's going to be a run. Every food item in the game. Let's see how long this takes us. And we're going to leave the slugs alone. We're going to want some rock, though. This just kind of has to be opened, man. Oh, and all this... Oh, dude, all that's going to collapse on us. This is already kind of a pain. I can't mine through fossil yet. <laughs> that's a lot of cobalt. There's already a geyser here. What do we got? Gold volcano. That's very unfortunate. What do we have here? Gold natty gas cobalt aluminum. Oh, this is the metal planet. Alright, so we need to teleport ASAP. Okay, let's go. Let's get it started, boys. We're gonna have some mud issues. Water is gonna be not really a problem yet. A mm, little bit of heat, but it's gonna pressurize. We did not pee the tank. Guys, we did not pee the tank. The water just happened to be there, man. I did not pee the tank. Alright, so... 17, 18. And then that means... Two more. Oh, we can't mine that. Okay, so this is 20. Get out of here. Didn't want anyone falling down. All right, so now... Ah, uh, that's a lot of pee water. Let's try to dig straight down. All right. And then let's try to mine that. We need that to be a hole. Free up the Paku. That way they're not uh, as crowded. And then let's spill the water. Uh, another thing we want is that ladder. Because then this is actually a floor setup. I think that's fine. Gotta spill the water for the Pakus. Let's get the ladder to that side. Geysers, cobalt, dust caps drowning, natty gas, two cobalt volcanoes. A lot of metal on this planet, man. So much metal. Uh, let's go all the way up. And then we got a mine. Uh, realistically, we need to mine this and let the water spill. Yeah, we probably mine all this too. We just want the water to spill. I don't think we're going to have too many seeds fall in because it's just going to stay here. Yeah, the pea dirt over here is off-gassing, so we're losing mass. Alright, so the problem with this is that I haven't gotten to any bathrooms. I just realized that. Uh, my schedule, we do have the boosted schedule. Let's cancel that. So we just work on the stuff at the bottom. Then we know what's gonna be there is a door. Let's try to get this in because we do need this.
Actually, we don't want the seeds to fall down. And then I don't want this to be filled with water. Uh, let's get that set up. Can't someone do this? There's no dirt? Wait a second. Hold up. No padding delivers. Dude, I haven't discovered dirt. What? <laughs> oh man, it's right here. I thought I've randomly found it before, man. Dude, dig this out. We need this, man. And then get the dirt for the freaking toilet, man. You guys are gonna pee your pants soon. How, dude, do this now? What are you guys doing, dude? How are you guys all fumbling over the same job? Oh my god, there we go. They could actually use the toilet now. Alright, schedule. Downtime. New downtime. We make them use all their energy. And then we'll do four work. Bed, bath. Okay, that works. Nice. Let's start digging out. Uh, we don't have a way to get clean water yet, so we're gonna need that. That's gonna be fun. Let's mine this out right here. We're probably gonna need the pitcher pump right here. Let's get that situated. Realistically, I want to ladder down so that the Pocky gets saved. Oh, they're actually okay now. They might eat the seeds though. Actually, let's put it here. Let's mop the water. Something is stopping that from off-gassing. I mean, uh, from moving, and I can't be mad. Classic CO2 glitch. So a lot of off-gassing here means not that much CO2. Uh, let's go to C. Sweep that. Move that in. All right. That's all good. Okay, that works. And then let's mine the mud. That's all fair. No, it's here. One, two, three, four. Then we have no metals. Okay, we could do that. I need to start getting to the cobalt. Dude, what's up with the brine right here? Wait a second, that's brine ice. Wait, is that the space ice already? Oh man. Dude, I don't have metal. <laughs> oh man. I feel like I'm already behind. I usually already have my research started. I feel so behind right now. This is kind of gross. We'll be fine though. So we're gonna be uh, going up this way. We'll have to uh, use the dirt. We're gonna probably want a sludge press for water as well. And there's always this water on the floor. Yeah, my dupe's working. Once we build up this platform though, it's gonna be nice. We'll be able to get some metals for the research. All right, so we swept the eggs from here so that the Paku don't eat it. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Let's cancel that. Let's also put the pitcher pump here so that we could start with the setup here. Oh, you saw that? I got to move this up to a million. Pitcher pump for the clean water. We got to move out so that we get the cobalt, another water source up top. We need to get to the metal, realistically. We don't have enough to do anything, I don't think. 
and I can't mine the fossil. Classic. Pockets of water. Cold cobalt. Warm natty gas. At least the metal volcanoes aren't open. So where do we get? Oh, we get the uh, frozen forest. Oh snap. Cool slush. That might freeze in the map. Oh, dude, that's gross. That's actually really gross. That's very likely to happen. Oh, that's hot. Oh, man. So I'll have to make sure that we don't allow anything to be accumulated on that side. Man, that's tough. Still no metal. Mine out the cobalt when we can. Alright, bathroom research. We don't need those. I want a ladder on the side, can't really get it. And our food's gonna last for a while. We, we do have Swamp Chart Heart, which is also a lot of calories, and all the Paku right here. We just need to make sure that, uh, you know, they have enough swimming space so that they could actually keep breeding and, you know, doing the eggs everywhere. I might as well open this up then so they get the uh, additional water. Now, I might want to do something like this. And then the idea is just to create space without having to build ladders so that the fish water drops. And then I want to merge all the bodies of water together. And then I need to spill water on top of that to stop it from off-gassing. Now the off-gassing though is kind of a blessing. We're getting a lot of easy oxygen from that. I don't even need a diffuser. Power seems okay as well. Let the dupes work, 3x speed, and we will have a pedestal for everything, so everything should be alright. The slugs? Yeah, these guys are a pain. We don't want to deal with them. Ooh. No one's a researcher. Oh, you're narcoleptic. I mean, you're digging with tier 2 digging skill. I'll take the narcolepsy. Alright, that's going to be your setup. Specialty digging. So we can't mine. Oh, we can, because we can give them level one. <laughs> That's so funny. Then we finally mine that. Let's go, Ada. There we go. All right. Um, we're going to create space, mining out that side. Probably go into the teleporter. Insert waffles. Welcome in. I see you over there. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the warm wishes. I see you over there. Let's mine out the mud. It's going to fall down on us anyways. Ladder spacing. Because that's normal. And then I do know this has to go down. Uh, we could do this so that the water level drops. Oh, I could go down to here. Ah, uh, we want the water level to drop all the way then. Because I want to mine this out. That way the water spills out. Kind of nice. Let's do these two. I could climb up, climb back up, and then we could open that. Alright, research started. We need to get farm tile. We do have access to water. Uh, I do want this to be where I want to be at, but it's not good enough. <laughs> Ask man. Because I want a ladder here so that my bathroom makes sense. But right now it doesn't. Alright, we'll probably have to open this, allow the pee water to spill out, and then we do a backside ladder. One year Twitch partner, man. A lot of times, man. 
didn't really think I'd make it, but we did, and we're here. Big pox. Can't be mad about it, man. So we do want this to go a little bit lower. Hey, Mainson, coming in. Appreciate that as well. I see you guys over there. All right, I want that. They're eating right now, which is fine. Ooh, crash satellite. Get the free data bank. All right, we're going to probably want to teleport pretty soon. And we can dig through this, so we will. Uh, teleport to... And then this is back home, so... We could go this way and climb up to the top. All right, we're going to want that. This is also free oxygen. It's not a lot, though. It's fine. And then we need to start getting some food started. I'm going to have to make a mush bar, man. Just for the achievement. The quote-unquote achievement. Uh, let's start digging the sound as well. So the Paku, they have space. We're trying to dig them out a little large pool. Feels bad. I don't want to go around with the ladder. I feel like it'll look really bad. And then the water is just spilling out right there. Looks like they're happy with the number of tiles they have. So really can't be mad about that. All right. Oh, no, he's just not finished. We'll have to wait then. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's send add a... You got the dig skill. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay. We immediately see the surface. We get the crash satellite. We get Wee's Words, Pips, Cold Water. I see you right there. And then I need to find a teleporter on the side. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we're not going to see Destination. We will defrost the friends. Hey, it's Meep. All right, Meep goes home. Meep, what are your stats, though? Operating farming, not bad. Bottomless stomach. And he's five agriculture, five machinery. Okay, that's not bad. So Meep is operating farmer. We'll make him farming priority. Meep's gonna leave. Teleport. All right, so we know we wanna get to here. So we know we wanna get to there. Realistically speaking, there's very low chance that's a teleporter. I'm going to go to the right. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. So tier two is Abyssalite. It is. So I can go through up top. So this way, we could go like this. Liquid chlorine, though. Yeah, we'll mine it up top like that just to see what we have. All right, so we're back here. Teleport's back. Let's go. Don't have the skill, meep. You will have farming, tinkering. I will wait the extra day for the other dupes to get it instead. Okay. Let's mine this out. This could be open to us. I don't think that's going to be a problem. There's nothing there. Just some bog buckets. Okay, okay. Running the wheel. We got the power. He's going to be good. Digging, mopping. Okay, so we do need to find the teleporter, right? I don't see any, like, naturally soft areas for us to go through. This, maybe, but that's obsidian. That's even tougher. This right here wouldn't be bad. But then that's a slime lung area. That kind of sucks. Oh, there is a spot right here to go between... Ooh, that's kind of nice. You see the path? I see it. All right, so let's put the ladder here. 
Looks like we'll need it. And I need to find the resource teleporter, right? Uh, let's see. Bottom of the map. Do we have a core? Magma core. Okay. So that's magma. Wow, this is neutronium right here. Wow. Space is top right. Oh, it's right here. No, that's the artifact zone. All right, if anything, I don't think it's a bad thing. So three, three, the water spills. It's fine, it spills here. And then we want to go this way, climb up here, and then we'll go up here. Just to see what's on this side. There it is, the teleporter. All right, that's good to see. Back to this side. Crash, satellite, neutronium. Oh, that's room down there. Okay, looks like we have to go down. So let's trim that. Right? So one, two, three. And then looks like I might have to go under the geyser. CO2 pocket, I probably do want to go close to that. That goes here, and then I can go here. Hopefully I don't climb up. That'd be bad. Oh, and then there's another room on this side. Okay. So that means we got to do that. All right. So he's going to have something to do. I probably do also want to do this. <laughs> Doesn't have a bathroom. They're going to pee their pants, man. It's not going to be a good time. This is input. That's the wrong teleporter. And there is the output. Nice. So that's going to be both teleporters that we want. So... Uh, it is up top. We know we need to work towards that. That's fine. That's going to be how we're going to get cold water. I mean, we don't even need cold water. Map's not even cold. And then for now, we got to research. Okay, let's grab the supercomputer. In terms of what we're doing right now, we are set. And that's because there's not much you need to do on this map. Everything's kind of just given to you. You don't need to generate oxygen. They have something for you. I probably want deodorizers to reduce the intake. And then I need to make a giant pool for these guys. All right. We're going to try to see if we can make a giant pool. Oh, we're going to need bedrooms. Ah, uh, there's still more water to spill out. No toilets. Dude, this is your fault. How come you didn't build your own toilet, man? I told you, dude. Y'all see this? I just realized there's a meal lice right here. Wow. Life finds a way. You know what they say, man. Life finds a way. And this meal lies growing in uh, dirt. This reminds me of my front yard, all the concrete. Sometimes I'll see a random weed. And I'm like, dude, how you growing in concrete, dude? Goddamn. You gotta be damn strong, you know? Alright, so that's gonna be how we get the items. This looks like... This is gonna be where we receive the items. Alright, so let's stop this. We don't need to go there. Oh, that might be it at the bottom, actually. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> and we'll do that later, because that might be it at the bottom. Uh, mop the stuff up. He got the water. He's got to be here for 10 cycles. Back to here. Alright, we're going to create space for the Paku. Please, no. Go to the left, dude. You're not supposed to be over here. You're not supposed to be over here, man. Oh, we could do it that way, huh? Uh, okay. Let's... Oh, I don't have that. I gotta wait for Ada to come back home. Kind of mad about that. Okay, so let's ladder up here as we're supposed to. We could work our way up that way. We're digging out this side. The bathrooms are ready. Let's get a makeshift bedroom then. And I'll put it right here. Even though this is gonna effectively act as a hallway. Uh, 
yeah, I do want to dig up cross like that as well. Research is on its way. So the food of choice is obviously bog buckets. But that's going to drain so much pea water. And I probably might want to start spinning the mud. Because that's going to be a lot of work, a lot of power. We get water from that, both versions, and dirt. this guy oh that's both it okay that's not necessary okay uh that means then i need to get to here to deliver okay so that means i need to start setting up a ladder path i'm gonna go here and then I think that makes the most sense. And then we'll reverse mine so that we could have a CO2 pit on the right side. Alright, so that's going to be your job. That's going to take a while. You have food here, so I'm really just not worried. Alright, so they should be okay. Back on this side, we need to get to... Yeah, up top. So this is how we send items to the other side. This is how we receive it. We have skills now, right? Advanced research. Joshua, what do you do? You don't do anything. Let's give you uh, tinkering. Meep, with ancient knowledge. I won't be doing anything yet, it's fine. Meemaw, with the digging skill. Meemaw can dig this now. Let's go. Okay, so while we are doing a food run, and that's going to be our goal, getting every food item and putting it on a pedestal, cooked food only, we're not going to go for raw crops, right? That's not going to be something we're going to go for unless it actually is required for the food, right? So we're going to go with that, going to get some batteries next. I might want to get deodorizer, realistically. So this is not flooded, huh? Kind of impressed. But I do need field research for us to turn on the teleporters. Let's let the dupes do their thing. Let's get some cots. Oops. There we go. Let them work. They know what they gotta do. Ooh. Dude, we could do artifact, man. What the heck is this? They're giving it to us. How cold is this? Negative 8, negative 30. Oh, man. Negative 40. I'm surprised this hasn't froze yet, man. This is nice and warm, too. Dude. This feels tough, man. I mean, that's, that's my only water source, so I have to grab that. And it feels like it's going to get colder here. That's kind of impressive. Wait, 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 wait. How am I generating O2 here? I'm not. There's no algae here. Do I come back? I mean, I have to wait for this anyways. So let's just do as much as we can. And we'll worry about the oxygen later. Famous last words. Yeah, man, it's cool. It's just oxygen. Nothing, you know, we're worried about that. It's just a little bit O2. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, it's a pufflet. Oh, it's arbor acorn. We got pips on the other side. Um, I wouldn't mind a ranching dupe, though. We might want to ranch early. So that was Frankie. He's going to be a rancher. We'll grab ranching tech soon. And I might want to grab that. We also want to make a food pit. And then I don't have meal wood, so I can't spice my food. That's actually kind of, that's actually kind of jank. Do you have meal wood on the side? We do. Okay, so we need to dig up meal wood here to send it back over. Wow. Yeah, and it's growable on this side, but not the other side, dude. 
That's real jank. Yeah, we have mealwood here, but, the, but it doesn't grow. It's too cold for it. Okay. So that, that'll be our food choice. Uh, how we're going to do the food. We're going to always cook the food, so raw food should never really matter how long it is. And then we're just going to spice it. Alright, so... Overlay. Germ. So, climb up. Go through. We're going to open this up, open that up, and we're going to climb through to the pocket to go into here. I want to see what's on the left side. Oh, there's nothing here, right? This really doesn't matter, then. This neutronium already. Copper volcano. That's not bad. I wouldn't mind opening the gold that's right here, but not the copper or the cobalt yet. And then, if anything, I wanted to open this up. And the logic here was so that... Ooh... Uh, dude, I have to go around. No, 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 no. I don't need to do that. I just pop down this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that spilled out. That's fine. It goes into here. That was the plan anyways. Oh, but then it's going to spill. No, it spills out here too, so we're fine. No, they're going to flood the beds. We can't use them anymore. I mean, it's free water, though. Can't be bad. Oh, not the mud. Don't poop on the housing. Dude, all the beds are flooded. It feels bad. That actually means some of the dupes won't be able to sleep. And they're going to sleep soon. Oof. Good news is, is that the Paku have enough uh, water now. They're just going to start laying all the eggs. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, we are waiting for field research on our scientists so that we could start turning on the teleporters. I mean, we still got to get to there. Ooh, this is a tough path, man. Dude, yeah, and, and then... Yeah, we got the slime lung right there, too. Oh, uh, that's going to be scary to open up right now. There is a way in... But, dude, this is all obsidian. That's such a pain. Because we would be getting our resources. I guess we could also set it up to send to the other side as well. They're all things we're going to have to do, though. So, I think, naturally, we should go towards the right. I think that's what that means. We have a little bit of idleness. Okay. Let's open this up. Let's open that up. Alright, so the left side's chill. Like, while it's cool, like, you know, it's not really a big deal. I do want to move some of the seeds, though, I guess. What? Polluted water? Oh, no. Metal ore? No. Just seeds. Miscellaneous? No, I don't want that. Are these not every seed? What are we sweeping here? Wait, how come that's getting picked up? What? Wait, what? Fossil? Wait a second. Something's wrong. Something's wrong, yo. My sweep by type is broken. Oh, no, we're fine now. Okay, we just had a weird glitch. All right, there we go. Pick up the seeds, move them out, and then the Pakus are going to be fine. Right, downtime, we need them digging, need them mining, we need to combine the pools together. I want to spill water on top so it stops off gassing. We're opening up the tanks as well. Oh, this is open now, so we could do this into that so that the water level drops and we'll be able to put a pitcher pump in here. This is going to be how we're going to try to grab water. So I think it's not too bad. Research, nice. Uh, ranching? Ranching or deodorizer. And... 
Let's grab it. Oh, wait. Uh, no, we grab the odorizer first. And the logic for that is because we don't have water yet. Yeah, so we could do the early game research before we grab the water. No, actually, we do. Uh, yeah, let's go for ranching first. So we're going to want to make space on the right side. And the logic for that's going to be, uh, we're trying to do a spawn, probably, to send oxygen next door. And while we need water, we have a lot of water on this side, so it's not that big of a deal. What we really just need is just to generate oxygen. Now, I don't think we need a large setup, because it's not going to be that big. But I might want a lot of dupes, just so that we get this done faster. So we'll probably go for three electrolyzers. So that's the play. We want to do the three electrodes. Platform, that's going to be a ladder there. So we send and then we receive. I can't mine obsidian, but if I could, I would probably want to mine this and put the spawn here. Because that's a really good location in between. Uh, if not there, then I'd probably want it right under the crash satellite. All right, let's go, let's go. Got to make the progress. Oh, I never did the, uh, well, we got to mop this, but we got to do the bathrooms so that it's one way. That's fine. We could keep this open. I don't really mind that. Uh, station supercomputer. Let's get the wire in. How are we on the sun? Oh, we're there. Alright, they can't really do much. Oh, we don't have pipes. Of all the things we don't have, it's pipes. Wow. That's funny, man. Of all the things we don't have... I can't even preemptively set the pipes because we don't have the tech. Who's trapped? Oh, I see. Time for a regular EU4 run. Have a good one. John Burke, good luck on the run. I hope you have time, man, because that's going to be a... That's going to be a time commitment, man. It really is. <laughs> hey, man, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time, John. Hope you have fun with the EU Forza. I can't get past 1500. No man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Today might be the day you do it then. All you gotta do is believe. I know that's asking for a lot, but all you gotta do is believe, man. Alright, so I think this is going to be the location. I also want to mine this out. Uh, I want the Paku to go into the other Pakus. And then... Having this water spill is fine. Game starts. 11-14-44, by the way. Oh, you just get bored. The classic problem, man. That happens to me at Civ. The moment I get to like the second world, what do you call that? The, like you have like the world events in Civ where everyone is like, you get to choose to partake or not. When the second one rolls around, I get bored and I stop, I just quit the game. <laughs> so I feel you with that, man. Sometimes they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do and stuff. Okay, so I probably opened this. So that we could set up the coal gen right here because we will need power right that'd be the smart thing to do so i will try to set that up right now dig this up let's mine out the other tiles okay let's let them go come on dupes we need you guys working they're idle though not idle they're on uh downtime 
Okay, so let's try to work it. Oh, I don't have the tiles. I don't have to attack. Maybe I should be going for the electrolyzer attack first. I mean, the grand scheme of things, I do want to do just a lot of digging for now. So it's probably fine while we slowly tack up. And a new DLC just around the corner. Oh man, classic. I hate that about Paradox, man. Too many DLCs. Getting some revamps, nice. I see a John Burr. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. We need to make space, and it looks good so far. Alright, mine out as much as we can. We're gonna spill out the clean water, actually, because that's gonna be a layer of uh, off-gassing that will stop. At least for me, I get to study history while at it. I have heard from a lot of people that EU4 is the best game to play to learn history. <laughs> I have heard that from everybody that has played it. They're like, dude, I recommend it, man. You learn a lot. I was like, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Makes sense that you would. Makes sense that you would. All right, let's open this up. The clean water shouldn't be a problem. Just get them digging, spill that out. A couple of the bathrooms are blocked off, but it's okay. So you get two EU4 bows. It gives you a very detailed taste of how feudalism works. Yo. Be like that, feudalism. All right, we're gonna complete the ladder so that we have a path down so we can make space right below us. I kind of want that. And then we're going to create space on the right side still. Picking up dirt for the bathrooms, of course. And then we're going to want to get that. And then once we have the ladder, we'll mine out this part. Now the layer of water on top will stop the polluted water from off-gassing because it's at least one kilogram. No, two kilograms. 1,800, right? That's the magic value. And let's get another set here. So that's four. That's correct. All right. So still researching. Give them time. They got it. Oh, we're out of water. Let's move up the pump. Dude, all the, all the buildings are flooded. Alright, we're probably ready to mop this now. Dude, so much water problems on this map. So this guy dug out. He's chilling. 85%. Okay, cool. So we will likely need a power line here, right? For the memes... For the memes. We know we need power at the bottom. So we need to build this power line. And we're going to get it here. We're going to use a regular power line because I don't think we'll need that much power. And then this is going to be a pump. So this has to come across. So this is going to be a job for him to do because I know we're going to have to do this. Right? So it would be this and then that. And then that's it. There wouldn't really be any other source of power from here we would need. For the time being, I do probably do the hamster wheel strat. The classic. And then they're going to have a lot of jobs to do. Just doing just that. Hey, Xandroff Raw coming in with the Prime. Thanks so much for the 18 months. Yo, man, thanks so much for using your Prime on me. Welcome back to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the emote 20 nice ad-free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub bad. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I see you over there, Xandroff. Appreciate it, man. 
Thank you for the 18 months. How are you? How was the days? How was the Wednesdays? Hope you're doing good today. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to be doing a long stream today. I accidentally restarted stream earlier because my Oni uh, froze. It didn't work with uh, one of the mods. So I hit the Alt F4 and I shut it off my OBS. <laughs> because of that, it took a huge L, but hey man, it happens. All good, all good. How are you though, Xandroff? I see you over there, man. Hope all is good in your part of the world. So there's no more seeds here, right? I shouldn't have to worry about these guys. Eggshell, that's fine. I don't care about that. And snaz suit. Uh, I have a rancher, I believe. I'll probably want to cook. So we'll take May. Do Paku's self-tame off seeds off the floor? No, they specifically have to eat from the fish feeder. So the fish feeder is your grooming station, effectively. But yeah, off the floor, no, they don't do anything like that. <laughs> That'd be cool though if they did, the automatic natural fish feeder. Dark Iraq, welcome in, welcome in. I see you over there, how are you? Hello, hello. Gotta wanna try to dig out as much as we can. Going to try to create some space. And then here. Mine all that. Baby Paku. So we're going to want to connect the tanks. I'll leave this here to get to the bottom. And then I'll mine out this side. But yeah. Hope that makes sense, Dark Rack. You need the fish feeder for them to have any change in wildness. That's specifically what they are looking for. All right, 100%. We could use this soon. I'll have uh, this guy work on that, though. We are still researching the incubator stuff. I don't realistically need that right now, but I will tech it up. All right, so grabbing the water is a little bit far. I wouldn't mind having a better entrance from like the right side right here. It's also free oxalite. All right, we'll mine it like that so that we could get to everything. Grab water from that way still. And then we'll need to change this right here. We're gonna mine that. We're going to mine as much as we can. Actually, no, we could do that, yeah. The mud's going to fall, and it holds the pattern true, so I can't be mad. How bad is this? Okay, it's not too much. We are a little bit weary of it, though. And while we're researching, IRL life's getting pretty iffy these days, but at least I get my geothermal power, dual volcano, petroleum, boiling, igneous rock extractor, and oni. Feels okay, man. Oh, man. Don't you wish that build also helped you out in real life? Feels bad, man. Has everything tuned up except for that. I feel you, though, Dark Iraq. I have heard that there's a saying out there. It always gets worse before it gets better. And I'm hoping that that's what's happening to me, too. Just going through some bad stuff. I'm just hoping that it's like, this is the, you know, this is the trial. That if we make it pass, maybe good times. But yeah, no man. Gotta take it a day at a time, man. Dude. Dude, yeah, for me, it's the same way. I don't know if I'll be able to keep streaming. For me, it's the same way, man. All right, we're going to need platforms here to be able to work on everything. This needs to be a tile.
All right, so what can we do from here? So we can't get to the water, so we'll have to get that. I'll open this so that it's not a trap for CO2. I'll probably want, because of the CO2 right here, to make a food storage as well. Um, this is probably okay for me to dig out and then try to put a food storage here. It probably fits. But yeah, man, life's been tough. Life has been tough. Let's take care of that. And then here, double ladder solid. Uh, we'll do it like that. Um, it's, so that's, it's weird. It's more so that Twitch is kind of where content creators come to take it easy. Because it's one of those things where you really only have people that like Twitch that watch Twitch. That probably sounds kind of weird. Right? You're not going to have people outside of Twitch come into Twitch. And that's kind of like the nature of the business. I don't know if that like makes sense. But like you have no growth opportunity on tr on Twitch realistically. So if you only do Twitch, your your growth is very much like you have to wait until like another streamer stops streaming so that their viewers have to look for other people. Uh the networking thing is it's kind of it's kind of meme. Uh and the thing is is that you have to be on the other platforms to be able to funnel people into your Twitch stream. Because realistically, the people who are on Twitch already have their streamer that they like to watch. Right? And that's the, the big reason why. So it's like you come to Twitch unless you get raided and you get to meet people that way, it's very hard to meet people. And then it's like, you have... So the big reason why YouTube is big is because of one thing. And I don't know if you actually paid attention to this. Does anyone know what was the famous coined word in 2000 that we all started saying? Can anyone remember? Back in the year 2000, the adults are saying it, the young adults are saying it, and it became the phrase around the year 2000, not Y2K. You know what that phrase is? That phrase is Google it. That's when the entire world would respond when anytime you had a question, you just go Google it. Why are you asking me? Right? Do you know what that phrase is now? It's YouTube it. You no longer Google anything. You YouTube it because there's a person that talks about it and shows you a video of how to do it as well. And that's the reasoning why YouTube is the king. The younger generation, the millennials, the Zoomers, whatever you want to call it, that's where they're at right now. They're YouTubing any problem they have. They don't Google it anymore. But that's the main reason why YouTube is king. Because they have a draw that attracts people that don't frequent. The, um, that, you know, like Twitch is very niche in that sense is that it's, you know, considered gaming, right? But then YouTube has every category. Worldwide reach, right? So because of that, you always have new people funneling into YouTube because of all that. So, yeah.
that's the reasoning why it feels like Twitch is going downhill. It's more so that YouTube is just trending upwards. TikTok, though, I don't know what's going to happen with that, man. We'll see. I feel you, Dark Rack. I grew up as a Google in person as well. I just, I made sure that I was replacing my timing belt on my car via YouTube video teacher. I still tell people to Google it. No, no, no. It's, it's, that's, that's fine. And us, you know, the older generation might be, uh, you know, that might be habitual now in the sense that you're like, we're always going to say it now. What I'm saying is that the new generation, the younger generation, they're going straight to YouTube instead of Google. And you know what happens when you Google it now too? It gives you a YouTube video. <laughs> that's another thing. If you Google it, it takes you to YouTube. So it's, it's one of those things where I wouldn't call it Twitch is making bad decisions. It's more so that it's all working in favor of YouTube, right? Like all of what I'm saying is very, very beneficial to the tubes. And that's the reasoning why. All right, Ada, it's time to send you home. We can't keep you here because there's not enough oxygen. All right, Otto's back. Our research. We will want insulated tiles. Okay, next thing we're going to want to make is food storage. It's all about demand. Yep. So Twitch will almost never have anything like that. That's the sad thing. Twitch will almost never have something that will attract people on a day-to-day -day basis like that. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense. Because it's like, well, no, it's a streaming service. People would want to watch the streams. Well, you have to understand those are the people that are already coming back, right? So, like, in terms of, like, attracting people that never watched your platform before, YouTube just beats out Twitch, uh, like, 10 times out of 10. So I'll, now I'm wondering, are we getting close to the TikTok or Ask ChatGPT phase? The problem with Ask ChatGPT is that a lot of people don't understand that the ChatGPT that we know and have public is not the final version. And there are more advanced models out there. So until those advanced models become privatized and people are starting to use it as like, hey, this is the new Ask Jeeves. It's the Jeeves AI bot, you know, stuff like that. Until that gets better, and people are actually going to try to do that, it's it's hard because it's like, how is that going to be better than YouTube? And the answer is that it's never going to be better than YouTube. YouTube has literally, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, they have step-by-step -step video instructions. It's so hard to beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even need to know what you're doing. Just copy what the guy's doing. Right? So it becomes one of those things where it's like, dude, the reason why Google it is fading away is because it links to YouTube. And then YouTube just displays and conveys the information a lot better. So it's like, how do you beat that? You have to provide a better service. And in that regard, we don't know what that better service will be. Mujinzo, Alta Vista. Isn't Alta Vista a milk company? Am I wrong? I think it's something else. Why does that sound like that's milk? <laughs> Why does that feel like that's milk, dude? All right, so there's nothing we could really do right now. I guess we could farm food. That's probably the play. Uh, so did we get field research? That's friend Vic. He's gonna get it soon. Okay. Alta Vista. Yeah, Mujinto used to use Alta Vista on the Netscape. Messed around with AI music generator. Gives you a free uses online. Made a song. Oh wow! I see uh, JR Niner. It'd be like that sometimes. It's been so long since I've heard that name. Aren't they dead by now, dude? Who knows? Who knows, man? I heard the other day that AOL was still alive. 
<laughs> and I was like, wait, what? AOL is still alive, what do you mean? I'm so confused. AOL, instant messaging? They're like, yep. <laughs> I was like, whoa. That's a blast from the past, dude. What the heck is that? I was a bit impressed. Yeah, Alta Vista on Netscape now. Uh, it'd be like that sometimes. Alright, so we need to get to here and we need to carve a path. Technically, damn it, man, there's slime everywhere, and this is such a pain. Dude, this this is a man. This is really a pain. So we should just create space right now, I think. Try to dig out as much as we can. Hey, Lucas! Thank, thank you! Thank you for the congrats, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. John, did you have that toolbar that had, like, every search company on the toolbar, dude? Oh, man. I hated that. They had the, the, the malware toolbars for your browser, dude. It was everywhere. I hate the toolbar. Yeah, I hated that, too, man. Every fresh win install was Netscape download the Internet Explorer. Dude, now it's Google Chrome, dude. Now it's Google Chrome. New world for 12-hour hype. Uh, nameless one. It's actually already been six hours. I just accidentally alt f 4 my stream because I was testing out a mod on Oni and the mod didn't work. So during the world generation, the game froze and I hit alt f 4 and I closed OBS. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be playing for another six hours. And yes, this is a new run. Our goal is food. We're going to get every cooked food in the game and put it on a pedestal until we collect them all. So this is the Gotta Cook Em All run. Featuring your boy me, Chef Too Legit. Only way to do it, boys. But welcome in, Nameless One. How are you? I just made sure my web browsers were clean. Yeah, so many programs have built-in installers for toolbars back in the day. It would spread malware virus. Yeah, man, it was the worst. That was the worst. Food does not rot on a pedestal. That is a strat, by the way, that prevents food from rotting. But the problem with that is there's no automatic way for the dupes to grab the food to eat. The moment you put the food on a pedestal, it's no longer considered viable calories. So it just becomes a display item and the dupes will not ever AI path to it. So it's not that great to have a pedestal for like food storage because you would have to micromanage manually click on it drop item and the dupes will eat it then but yeah it's kind of jank because of that uh dude this obsidian very meme i mean i know the routes i guess we'll take it it's down here and then we just go through the algae and then uh hope the paku don't eat the algae and just let them go down to the bottom all right let's go for it uh, we should mine this out, realistically. Mine out as much as we can. And then we can't go back, that's fine. The food's gonna be stored here once we have it. Dude, all of the food we have is unperishable. That's wild. That's actually kind of wild. Could be used to preserve pinch of pepper nuts, sleet weed, or nosh beans if you don't have a cooler yet, I suppose. Yeah, you can. The thing about sleet weed and pinch of pepper nuts is that, I mean, uh, sleet weed and nosh beans is that I think they only allow one seed out of the stack. <laughs> Look at the cute mamba. Yeah, the mamba's sleeping. He's just being a little babies. Let me guess, pickled meal. We gotta get all the foods, man. Gotta get all the foods. Alta Vista redirects you to YouTube. Or right, Yahoo. Oh, I see. I wonder if that means they got bought out by them. That's usually what that means, right? Once you get bought out, man. Alright, so we need to create space. Right now, I'm trying to tech up the research so that we could get to build a spawn. That's going to be the first thing I want to do. So I want to get insulated tiles. That way we could start building it. I have air flows. I could get started with that, but I kind of want to do uh, the other stuff first. We were missing so much. And then I don't want to kill the slugs yet, but I might have to. 
Alright, let them dig, let's go. I think we should. That way it won't waste time. We're never gonna ranch slugs. These guys don't deserve to live. Take them out, boys. They're gonna eat all the metal, dude, if we don't. Alright, we're gonna mine this, start uh, setting this up. What do we got? Sandstone? Narcoleptic. Oof. Operating supply. We have a farmer. We have a cook. I guess we get the noodle arms. And we're at a sweet spot of eight doofs. Okay, so I need to rush how this works, I think. Uh, one, two. Okay, so we... Now, nah, you're a cook, though. All right, I'll give you a that. No. All right, we'll do it this way. So that's May. She could research. I want to speed up the research. So we're going to do a research station right here. Let's build that one and get to work so that we can do that at double speed. Uh, sludge press. That's actually what I should be doing right now, I think. Oh, I don't have reservoirs. Uh, okay, that means I need to do a meme strat. I'm down. So, let's start building out the meme strat. Got a meme strat idea that I'm really f fond of. Oh! They're alive, it's all good. Alright, so... Refine... Oh, I don't have the press, of all things. Alright, we're gonna get the insulated towel soon. Uh, that's fine then. We'll just build out the two layers. Still digging, still mining out. Can't complain. Oh, that's... Oh, that's spilling. That's fine. It's okay, it's okay. Alright, now from here, we get the water. And then we want to go up this way to get to here. Nice. Seems like I need to make a large amount of rats for diamond pressing. If I steal the enriched uranium from the betas, will building stuff out of it make a lot of rats? Monk of mm, no. So the enriched uranium, I think you get the same result. Actually, I'm not sure. I've never actually tried the enriched version. This is not a metal. Oh, wow. Wait, manufactured material? Alright, what's sandstone properties? Plumbable, crushable, general, buildable, solid, raw decor. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think it's buildable. Arwen, welcome in. Thank you for the uh, happy partner, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's buildable. I know that uranium ore classifies as a metal, so you use it to build it with anything that requires metal, but I'm not sure about uh, enriched. It might be too volatile to technically be a buildable like resource, you know. Yeah, man, Google it. Mujin said so, man. That wasn't me. Just Google it, man. It's that easy. We were just talking about it, man. All you had to do was Google it, man. Yeah, one job. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the thing you're trying to do, you're trying to build something that has a lot of radiation. It's always better to use wheeze warts than to build something that generates it. Dude's just standing there menacingly, dude. Look at Mamba, dude. His eyes are closed. Oh, oh, stretch. Oh my god, leg shake. Alright, man, back to the corner. That's my kitty cat, Mamba. He's the best kitty cat in the world. It's not even close. You can build something out of depleted uranium. Yeah, depleted uranium is nice. It's kind of like spare metal. I don't mind that. That's not a cat. That's a cat, dude. That's my kitty cat. 
That's not a cat, that's Bomba. <laughs> I guess that works. I'm not even mad about that. All right, research is done. Insulated tile tag. We have airflow tag. Uh, next thing we'll grab will be... Sludge press tack. Let's go for that. All right, now that we have those tacks, I can start building stuff, I think. Nuclear waste is best for Raj. That's pretty good. Nuclear waste is really good. Oh, <gasps> this lines up. Oh, that's so good. This is four tile gap. Uglar Visk, I see one over there. How are you? Oh my god. I should correct myself. I love cats. I got two myself and yours is amazing. Mama's the best. Mamba has been the kitty cat that's changed my view on cats. I used to like cats, but now I love cats. Because now I know that, like, I've seen the super affectionate side of cats. And I know what I did right. No man, cats are the best. Here to learn about Mamba. Type Mamba in chat to get Mamba facts. We have over 50 Mamba facts for you to learn about the little babies. Weez Wart would be the safest. No, no, no. No exclamation point. Just a Mamba. No command. There it is. He has never had catnip. He refuses. I've offered it to him. He's like, nah. Not today, son. I'm like, alright, my bad. Alright. Add a tier 3 digging. Oh, that's so good. Oh, we could mine through the obsidian. Yo, it's time. Oh, let's go. So there's a cooldown. Uh, oh no, 610 yen. 610, 610 IEN. There's a cooldown for that, so. You can't be spamming the Mamba facts. I apologize. It's supposed to not, you know, flood the chat. It'll just add a Mamba fact every here and there. That way it's like I don't have a lot of people come in. And then, you know, Nightbot spamming. <laughs> every time someone says Mamba, and then everyone says all oh, Mamba, and we get like 50 facts. Facts are nice though. Yeah, I thought that was a great idea. And I started coming up with some facts for the mambas. Because people were like, dude, it's the babies. Welcome in. Doc Potato, thank you for the uh, happy one year. Appreciate you, man. Alright, so we need to uh, do the activate. We're going to be able to mine through the obsidian. So I want this ladder here. Because that makes a lot of sense, IMO. And then we're going to start setting up the spawn. So we just found out that this layer lines up. So that's perfect for what I want to do. So we're going to ladder up past that. We know that this is going to be here, kind of. We're not going to do the first half. And we also know that we're going to dig this part out so that we could walk on top of it. This is not a lot of radiation to really bop us, to be honest. I mean, it is a lot, but I don't think I'm really too worried about it. So we're going to just let that be. If my dupes have problems, we'll get them a second bathroom break in the day. That way we can remove double the rads. Instead of just 100, it goes up to 200. Okay, we got that. Water is falling down, it's fine. Okay, so we're going for a three electrolyzer setup. Right? So normally it's going to be here, here. I like putting solid tiles here, so it's not a problem. All right. Right, so that's gonna be the set. And then we wanna cap it. And then you have ladders at the bottom. And then you gotta have pumps up top. This is the classic setup. Well, it's like this, there we go. Perfect clean of germs, radiation, it's nice, man. Nice free radiation, man. Can't be uh, complaining about that. So with this setup, it's normal to have a wall. Uh, that would be where the opening would be, so that I could have a way to climb in. And then that would mean we will need this, yeah. And then... Oh, shit! Oh, dude, look at the lag. Guys, if you guys ever lag, that's what happens. Goddamn. Is there anything else I dragged? No, I put that there. On the other side of the map? Nope. Okay, we look good. 
Thank you, Starks. Welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? Hello, hello. What if the purpose of humanity was to actually ensure cat survival and we're enslaved to the cat master race? Then the aliens have won, dude. I don't know what to tell you. You've already lost. <laughs> what can I tell you, man? We've already lost. Uh, four by... So this is enough, but we don't get the smart battery. Right, because it's four, we get three, and then I need two for smart battery. That's these two. I could put the pump right here. And then am I missing anything else? No, right? I don't think I'm missing anything else. So if that's the case, I want this to be straight up and we'll move this over. So hydrogen at the bottom. I wouldn't need suits for that. And then this would be, well, no, I would have liquid lock here still, right? This would still be a liquid lock. I could push everything in though, so that we don't we like, this doesn't have to line up. So that's not the case. I bought that. And then it's solid. And then this goes like this. This does work. And that would be the play. Do we get the pumps? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Pump's a little sketchy, but I guess that's fine. And then... One, two, three. Let's put three each. We could also just put one, because we never need that many suits going in. All right, let's go with the one, and then that means we do a normal tile set up top. Okay, how long is this? 21, okay. That's plus the beginning. Okay, that means one, two, three. Solid tile. And then it's insulated. We're gonna use igneous. I need to stop using sedimentary. All right, so 21 is up to this tile. And by doing it this way, I don't have to worry about it. What I mean when I say worry about it is, uh, I could build as many as I want. 21, perfect. Okay, so we know the design. We know how the lip's gonna work. So it's gonna be these two, come down, come up. That makes sense. And then it's gonna be those two. It's gonna be, yeah, we'll keep those insulated for the sake of it. So, insulated, insulated, insulated. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we gotta do the top. So this lines up one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is a uh, submerged bomb hydro, whatever you wanna call it. So it's there. And then the rest of this is regular tile. So we get the run speed bonus. All right, let's get it ready. We do have brine. So that's gonna be our second water choice. We have the brine ice at the top of the map. Always lucky. All right, don't need that. And once we have this set up, we'll get it ready. Is it better than a conventional spawn? It solves all the problems that a conventional spawn has. So a conventional spawn has the main issue of having to balance mass so that the electrolyzer doesn't overpressure, right? That in and of itself is one of the fundamental downsides of uh, that build that you're talking about, right? You, you have that problem where realistically, you're gonna have to build some additional things for gas storage, or you're gonna burn off the power, right? With an extra hydrogen generator. Or, uh, 
So infinite pressure, and then the second thing is having to need a... Well, technically for the Rodriguez, you don't need a filter. But the submerged setup, Hydra setup, doesn't need one either. I don't know how much that matters, because technically the, the Rodriguez design that you're using doesn't need a filter either. Uh, but it does have a built-in infinite pressure storage, which is the main upside. You effectively build something that's all in one, no need for a filter, so you save power on that. Since it's infinite pressure as well, that means that you could cool down your submerged setup and cool down all the gas that's already there. When you spawn new oxygen, you're spawning 888 grams, right? So if you already have a couple hundred kilograms of cold oxygen, your oxygen doesn't need to be cooled. It's going to automatically spam and then just be part of the hole, right? So it's going to be better in those aspects, right? Because it allows you to do those things. And while you can use the same build for like a Rodriguez, yes, the Hydra always will be spawning oxygen as long as you have water. It will always have 100% uptime. So the main benefit is that it tricks the, the electrolyzer to always be running. Yeah, that's why it's nice. You get maximum efficiency. So a lot of the times when you build something, you go to the properties, you have something called uptime right here. This uptime is how often it's actually on. So this is good for looking at your power generation, but also seeing if the dupes are using it or whatever system you use is actually balanced because the Rodriguez will shut off every now and then, right? So you might have two electrolyzers, but that might only provide enough oxygen for like maybe what? 14 dupes, 15 dupes, not actually 16 because you're losing a little bit of the efficiency because it's not 100% uptime, right? So it's like the math works out a lot better too. If you build the, uh, well, it's, it's like you get the perfect world situation, right? Perfect world, everything is in a perfect world works, right? And that's the idea. Oh, I need to sieve. Otherwise, I won't be able to get water. But yeah, it's really, really good, really strong. I'd highly recommend it, to be honest. Alright, we need them working. Hey, look at him. It's on. Let's go. One of them's on. We'll turn this one on later. I don't have them teched yet. So I would have to tech that up, uh, JR. And I, I'm not against it. I will want to do it. It's just that I want to get a spawn first. So I'm trying to beeline into a spawn right now. Yeah, saves all the problems and then some. And then another thing about it is that in the version I build, I put the hydrogen generators inside. So the hydrogen generators don't become a heat source, if that makes sense. Because the generators are inside the spawn, I don't have to deal with the heat that it leaks out. And that's another great upside that I really like about it. It's, it's convenient, man. It really is. So I'm gonna be real. I'm not growing a single bit of food, but we're not having any food problems. I'm gonna be real, man. I'm probably just getting lucky. And I should probably start growing food. <laughs> I should probably start growing food. All right, what's the bog buckets temp? Balloon exposure. Oh, that's a jelly, not the plant. 10 to 30. Oh, that's, that's garbage. Alright, we'll have to we'll have to mix in all the other waters. That's warm. What's the most fun challenge you've done? Fun challenge. So the funnest challenge is the challenge that's probably the hardest for me. That wasn't a bad playthrough. So what I mean by a bad playthrough is. It's something that's difficult, but it requires me to do something that's waiting. <laughs> One of the things I hate to do is wait. So I would say that the funnest challenge I had that I also didn't have to wait that long for would probably have to be... Oh, there's no germs here. Nice. The... So there was a map 
where I did a couple of challenges. And that challenge was, do you know the 100k challenge? That's the map that spawns on Terra, but it's negative 172 degrees Celsius average. Hey, lovely Miss Amanda. Thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. Enjoy the email D20 that I had for you viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Mamba over here would say thank you, but he's asleep. Hey, appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Oh, dude. Rip. I have to talk to Nameless one a little bit. I'm still on the fence that as is. I prefer just shipping the gas to the gens and my power area and minimalizing spaghetti wiring. I feel you with that. It's just that you see what I'm doing right now. Cycle 15 making a spawn. <laughs> it's more so because of the fact that I get my spawn really early and my power is usually very late. Now, if you do get both around the same time, yeah, that's, that's a smart thing to do, to be honest. That way you actually benefit from the power control station, get the 50% micro trip bonus, uh, boost. That's actually better. So you're, you know, what you're doing is, you know, technically the more correct way. It's just that I don't get the power until a lot later on because I never realistically try to mass produce metal. I just build enough. Are your people sick or something? Um, so when you're breathing in polluted oxygen, this is like going to the industrial zone in like industrial LA and just taking big whiffs of smog. Like, dude, man, this is not healthy. <laughs> this is not healthy. So when the dupes breathe in the bad oxygen, they have a debuff on them called yucky lungs. And it increases the amount of air they have to breathe to make up for the bad quality. So they're not sick. They're coughing because of the yucky air. So that's because I'm living in a swamp. This start is actually called the metallic swamp. So we just have a swamp environment, which is the reason why it's like this. So yeah, I mean, you can argue it's my fault. I didn't set them up for success, but it's like a little early. So it's a little bit tough for them to really like be able to... I don't want to say be able to breathe, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's a thing, man, dude. But if, like, what do you do? Do you just not breathe? <laughs> like, dude, there's no solution, man. It's, it's, everyone loses. <laughs> everyone loses. Right? Because it's like, you can't just not breathe, you know? Like, what do you do then? Yo, man, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. And that's where the first conundrum comes in. How do you include oxygen if the oxygen is poisonous? Well, shit, right? I don't know, man. Let's take the dust caps. Oh, shit. It's Shrek. Waking up. Cthulhu, I see you over there. How are you? What are you doing to Miss Swamp? Miss Swamp? Negusta. I don't know what I just said, man. That was Spanish, though. All right, all right. So we're building a spawn. Oh, these don't actually go there. I just realized that. This is my airflow site. Yeah, I got to do something off here. So this is a wall. This is also a wall. We got to build that. Let's mop this up before it accumulates way too much. Do plants help clean the air or can you pump that out to clean it or something? So we have to build something called a deodorizer. So at the moment, there are no plants in the game that purify polluted oxygen. Not yet anyways. Maybe they might add that, right? Where is it? Right here. There is a building called the deodorizer. It converts polluted air into uh, clean air. And for the most part, it only costs sand to filter. Now, of course, the reason why we don't have it yet is because we haven't researched it yet. But yeah, that would be something we would want to grab. But right now, though, um, instead, what we're going to do is just create clean oxygen from the get-go. So that's going to be what I'm doing right now. Instead of purifying the oxygen that we're, you know, it's already here, we're just going to create new oxygen that's clean from the get-go. And it's more sustainable this way than to rely on what's already here. So yeah, I'm not really going to clean it because of that reasoning. Oops. Let's go for that. Uh, let's go for this. Oh, you're getting radiation sickness. Oh, dude. 
Get away from that. No, don't do it. Dude. All right, we're going to cancel that job for now. Raven Crossfire joined the dupe colony. Who would you like to claim? You can't take Frenvic. He's already claimed. And we have the other dupes. Let me know. You might want to not choose someone with radiation poisoning right now. But it's up to you. They're going to um, get healthy. Yes. You got to believe them. But yeah, take your pick. Let me know who you would like to claim. Major radiation sickness. Totally safe, man. Don't believe what the text is saying. He chooses the guy that's clean. Did you know this is also the frozen friend? So you are automatically the oldest dupe, and everyone's gonna ask you to buy them alcohol. Hey, me, could you buy me a beer? You're the only one here that's old enough. And they're still checking out the IDs, man. Feels bad. But welcome in, Raven. Let me know if you want a different name as well. Raven Crossfade. You're not a balloon artist. That's tough. Okay, so you're the oldest one here. So we're going to give you the old man outfit. I'm going to give you the jeans. You got no boots, huh? Nah, we'll give you these. And then we'll give you a jacket. Nah, you look like a little kid with that, man. Make him the delivery guy. Yo, man, he needs the cap, though. Snap back. Backward snap back. Needs the socks with sandals. Okay, we get you that. No sandals, though. We'll give you the socks. Alright. Nah, only little kids do the matching outfits, man. Sporkit sweater. Let's go. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Let's go, let's go. And then the gloves. Oh, I don't have the gardening gloves. Mamba, you just yawn, baby. I see you. Let's give you these. Nice gloves. Welcome in. You look at that. He's waving at us. We got the Sporkit boys. Here, here. And then we need that. We got the socks with sandals tack. Only way to do it. We didn't mine anything with slime one. Good, good. All right. So now on the side, pump that, and then I need this. Okay. So we'll set that up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then it's like that. Yeah, I could do this. And then we're going to need a bin right outside. This is going to be so that we could sweep the items out of here. Because we will have to... Oh, dude. No, Joshua, he's sick. So him vomiting reduces a little bit of his rats. So it's technically a good thing he's doing that. Come on, man. We need to use the restroom, man. That's actually what we need him to do. Give them an extra hour. Alright, him peeing is going to be very good. Alright, research. We got the electrolyzers. We will want... Alright, for the spawn pumps... Oh, hydrogen. I don't have hydrogen. And smart batteries. Yeah, we'll get that. Got the ugly sweater at the bottom. Yep, yep. Socks. Dude, they need to add shoes. So that we could do the sh socks plus sandals. <laughs> they, they should, man. That'd be kind of nice. Maybe it'd be kind of mean, but it'd be kind of nice. Alright, building this out. Let's mine this for that. Oh, Joshua's vomiting again. Oh, is that food poisoning? There's no germs when you vomit? Is that a meme? There are no germs when you vomit. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. I did not know that. This is going to be sweat for polluted water. We're going to start sweeping polluted water. Because it's going to off gas in here, so we should just get out of here. <laughs> Let's get the pee water out, man. Oh, what else am I sweeping? All oh, the seeds. That's fine. Mamba, what are you doing, baby? I see you moving around. 
Mamba's licking himself right now. Oh, he's, he's washing his face. Rads kill the germs. No, it's the off gas. Oh, dude. Maybe he's so radiated that he killed the germs on the way out. That could be a thing, man. Alright, we gotta mine this. Yeah, we could mine all that now, because it's clean. This is gonna be sweep only all, copy paste, so that we could sweep everything inside afterwards. Okay, that needs to be airflow. Technically speaking, these ladders are necessary. I saw a spawn build with one tile between electrolyzers. Is it safe? Those are more susceptible to breaking, so I don't like building those. But that's technically a preference in that regard. So what I mean when I say that it's a preference is there's some people that don't put the solid tile in between. And then that makes it so that uh, your tiles don't have a forced direction. And it's kind of RNG at that point. That one is a little bit harder to set up. Because you're going to be at the mercy of RNG. So I don't like that other build. Which is why I keep the solid tile in between the uh, submerged setups. Because once you do it like that and you have the gases separated, it doesn't unseparate. I have never had that break on me unless I messed it up myself. So I messed it up by having a dupe go in to repair or something, and then they breathe out CO2 and it bops the balance. And then once it's out of balance once, it's always out of balance, right? So it's one of those things where it's like, if you could get it up and running and you're okay to deal with the frustration of that every time it happens, hey man, go for it, you know? Go for it. I'm not going to be here to stop you. <laughs> but, like, I wouldn't recommend it, is what I'm saying. I don't like doing that. Oh, I didn't get oil on this. Dang, that's tough. Okay. No oil biome. No oil biome. Okay. Dude, the radiation's strong, man. Everyone's getting that radiation sickness. Hmm. Do you guys feel like the satellite should ever be deactivatable? Like, if you flood it, it turns off. <laughs> Nah, that'd be a little bit OD, man. Like, you shouldn't be able to control that, I don't think. Alright, let's... Let's do the items inside. Oh, dude. Don't fart in here, dude. Don't do this. Leave. Leave, leave, leave. Thank you. Depends on your dupe skills too, right? Um, I'd like for them to be movable. Dude, they should make they should allow you to make like a huge forklift. You can demolish it, it's true. I, I want to keep the rads. Maybe research the ability to break it down. You know what'd be cool? We could use it as the uh we dude 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 hear me out, hear me out. The DLC that's coming out. They're going to make it so that you could load up a crashed or crushed, because the crush is the larger version, right here, satellite into the interplanetary launcher, and then, hear me out, launch it into the tear, and we get an alternative reality that's just different from everything in, that's possible. And then that's going to be the new DLC. What happens when we launch the satellite into the tear? What happens when you try to jump back in time with a satellite and not a dupe? Maybe that ends up holding the only way for them to survive the uh, dupe apocalypse, right? No, man. I'm just saying. It's a crack pipe idea, though. 
Hundred percent. Or you could fix it and make a space station. Dude, I would like that as well. I wouldn't mind that at all. I wouldn't mind that at all. All right. So in this setup, we're gonna have to keep the cold energy inside. And since we have a cold setup, it shouldn't be too bad. We're not researching. I need my reservoirs. All right. Let's grab smart battery. Actually. Well, I uh, tried what you told me after vacuuming, filling oil, water. I pumped in some oxygen on one side. Works great. Yep. Nice, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. So that's the thing with the uh, submerged setup. If you pre-fill one room, it separates for you naturally. It's really nice because of that. I am a fan of that. All right, this doesn't have anything, and then we get this. Nice. Okay, I wanted the two reses, and then I wanted to go here. Will you use gold? So they don't have gold in the slime biome, but they have gold here. Oh, no, they do have gold. They gave me some trace amounts. I don't have to use gold. That's the thing. Because I have cold water on the side. Right? I have cold water here. So I'm thinking we could just use the cold water to run it on top. Because I wouldn't want to use hot oxygen, right? On the side. Maybe we should use gold. Yeah, we will. Since we have it, right? Auto save lag. Three, three, two. This allows me to go up, down. I could stand here, mind the corner, crawl down below, get to there. So, three, one, one. All right, grab all the gold, boys. It's time. We're going to use water from the pitch pump. Grab the water from there. Uh, no. So, gold is the most reactive metal, and they also allow you to have overheat temperature increase, which is why we're using it. So, the gold is because it allows you to hit a higher temperature without the building breaking, right? So, the property we're looking at is going to be this right here. Oh, I haven't mined it yet, so we actually can't find it. Gold amalgam. Uh, Mamba's blocking the way, so you can't really see it. And we got it. Okay, so I can see it here now. You see that overheat temperature plus 50? Uh, we're effectively going to be going over the temperature. We're going to be around 75 to 100. Since it overheats at 75, I need to be making it out of gold so it doesn't break. So that's going to be the reasoning why. Uh, in terms of conductivity, though, aluminum technically beats out gold. And then cobalt beats out gold as well. But yeah, gold is very average, if I had to describe it. Gold is very average. And then one, two, three. All right, I don't have insulated pipelines. We have to grab that next. Out of dirt, no way. Okay. So that's gonna be the mud spinner. Let's do this on forever. And then we're gonna try to grab water from here. Uh we still have water up top, so we don't need to do the meme strat yet. Yeah, so we have a lot of gold. We don't need to actually continue with that. We have enough to keep going. Six tons. We just need to grab water here on a high priority. And then we need to sweep some items from here. Move them all out. Now, I do need a little bit of refined metal. So we have a gold volcano right here. It's idle, which means it's active. I could mine it open, just grab a little bit of gold. <laughs> I know it's a bad decision, though, to do that. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. So we're going to need to grab some dirt, right? Let's grab this. Let's grab that as well. Because we need the dirt for the research. And then we're going to start spitting for some more dirt generation. That should be fun. 
Puffed is uh, miserable. Feels bad for that guy. Oh, I didn't look at the meteors yet. Okay. These meteors are kind of annoying. So we're just going to drop the items out because we're just trying to move the stuff from the inside. We're trying to make a liquid lock. We're going to make a normal liquid lock here because we're going to cool down the inside anyways. So I'm not really too worried. Looks like this is eventually going to become a steam turbine aqua tuner setup. And we're going to go for a small collar. <laughs> Free gold. Classic. Uh, we'll keep it at eight. Oh, my calories have gone down. I talked about making food and I never actually made the food. Yeah. All right, let's do some math. We're going to be using bog buckets. So we get 1840. And I'm pretty sure you could cook this, right? So May, you're a chef. That's going to be you. Hey, Tarandra, I see you over there. Hey, man, happy one year. Love your face. Thank you, Tarandra. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello. Hope you're doing well, man. Because I see you over there. And yo, man, I appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by, man. How are you, Mr. Tarandra? How was the days? How is the Wednesdays? Good, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Wednesday, indeed. I need a grab. What's the next thing I need to grab? Ah, uh, deodorizer? No, insulated. Insulated pipes. Yep, yep, yep. Woke up from a nap? Yo, man. I can't say that I nap. I'm gonna be real. I can't say that I nap. I almost never nap. If I nap, I can't sleep that night. It's kind of weird. I mean, I could sleep, but it's like, it's, it's, you know, you have trouble falling asleep. But yo, man. You have to do something late at night today? Oh you, oh, oh, you didn't get enough sleep, so you were just tired and had to catch up. Nah, right, man. They'd be like that sometimes. Oh, I need refined batteries. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're going to make a rock crusher for the time being, then. Oh, I never teched up for that. All right, we'll grab that next. About to go to bed soon. Wait, you're going to wake up from a nap and go back to sleep? This sounds like some Sims, like Sims 4 BS. So that you get maximum mood buff or something. <laughs> I used to do that, man. Yeah, I'm about to go to sleep. Wake up. All right, right before I go to work, I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> right before I go to work, I'm going to take a nap. Get that uh, plus six mood bonus for six hours. This guy might be a cat. This guy's a cat, man. This is this is Taranja right now. He's like, oh, man. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Arms twitching because I'm fast asleep. Taraja's the cat and he's sleeping. I see you over there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was supposed to do math. All right, so... I never discovered bog jelly. It's right here. What the heck is this? Uh, three, two... Three... Nah, it doesn't work. Uh, we're just going to go straight through. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. And then we grab the bog jelly. And then once we discover that, we should be better off. I'm the Mamba, confirmed on stream. <laughs> Trying to spin some mud for water. We're going to grab the bog jelly so we can do the math. Alright, so now it's... Oh, it rotted the moment I got to it, so I never discovered the recipe. Oh, that's rude. That's so rude. Okay, we're going to do it up here. Dude, that is the rudest. I've never seen that happen. Let me get to that, and it rots the moment I got. I get there. That's so sad. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you, Godal. I see you over there. Thank you for tuning in, man. Welcome in. Welcome in. All right, we at least have something there now. And I need to continue the sweeps inside. That's what's important. We gotta get all the items out that's off gassing. And then we gotta add in our liquid layers. We need insulated pipe tack. Happy time zone, everyone. Hello, hello. What's, what's that saying? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in big wide world. No, 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 that's not what he says. What does the Truman guy say? 
Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. And if I don't see you later today, good night. That, that's the quote, right? Jim Carrey. All right, so now we get it. There we go. Swampy Delights. So 2240. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. There's no in-between between good night and good evening. I thought there was. I see over there S. Maxwell. Appreciate that. I feel like like I didn't get the quote right. <laughs> Be like that sometimes. Uh, let's see. I need to do math because we're actually out of calories. So I need to pause this. Okay, so we get roughly 2,000 kcals, 2.2. And then let's use 2.2, right? So that is 2.2 every 6.6 .6 cycles. Dude, what is this 6.6 .6 cycle crap? <laughs> Dude, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Okay, so 6.6, .6, we're going to do some math. So it takes seven cycles. We're just going to round up to seven to grow the bog jelly. The bog jelly gives you 2,000 kcals, right? In seven cycles per dupe. That means... Oh, I, I just do three. Three per dupe. Okay, that's going to be the sweet spot value. Now, the problem with that is... I don't have dirt. So I have to use the bog jelly, huh? Ah, uh, okay. I think I have to use like a weird strap, but it would work. So one, two, let's mine that. And then I think we bought this platform actually. And then we're gonna wanna go here. We're gonna leave that. Oh, we don't have dirt for that. Oh my god. Oh. Uh... Alright, we're looking for clay. That's not organic? What? Wait, clay is not considered organic? Solid cultivatable soil. Oh my god. That means it doesn't pop out here. Oh no, it's here. There we go. Okay, we got the clay. All right, there's some right here. This is a fat vein, but it's a little bit far. I guess we could go here. There was a little bit that we were going to break through. Wouldn't it be bad? Get the dust caps as well. And then that way we'd be able to build the farm tiles with that. All right, we're going to go down this way. Climb up through here. Open it up. This puff's got to guy. He's got to go. He's got to go, my friend. And then we're going to take the clay. We shot him through the walls. Meanwhile, with the wall hacks. Nah, no, that's fine. We gotta reach the reach the thing up there. Ooh, wall hacks, dude. Yo, man, the, the dupes got the downloadable skills. Downloading their skills, dude. These dupes. Downloading their skill. That's a smart way to do it, though. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Two, three. That's six and six. Yeah, we'll take this. Let's go. Good morning, y'all. What's going on, Abductor? <laughs> we were just memeing by saying that. We're like, what's the Jim Carrey quote from uh, The Truman Show? Good morning, good evening, and if I don't see you later on tonight, good night. Or if it's just, uh, just good morning, good evening, and good night. Now, you know that he says... We were just discussing that, man. That's funny. All right, let's let this go. This is there. Yeah, we have Brian. It's fine. I'm not really too worried. This doesn't have Brian in the contents. Or it doesn't tell me what's... Uh, yeah, it's just polluted water. All right, so we're just going to add water into this. Keep it normal. 
This is all made out of clay so that we can actually uh, build everything that we want. All right, one, two, three. This is going to be enough for four dupes. We're going to eat about, you know, 8,000 calories a cycle. So the thing with that is we could pick up some swamp chard, which is kind of calorie dense. So I'm not really too worried about that. But the big thing is we're going to want to uh, plant the seeds a little bit at a time. Is there a Terra speed run? No, this is a food meme run. We're going to try to get every food type that's cooked food. And then we have to put it on a pedestal until we get all of them. So it's a cooked food run, man. Gotta cook everything. Gotta cook them all. Gotta cook them all. Alright, we're gonna need this. Oh, I need the rock crusher. Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's remove these three. Dupe's about to go to sleep soon. And these are gonna be at seven. There we go. Let them cook, boys. Yo, man. You want to know the truth? The grill is unplugged, man. Feels bad. The grill is unplugged. No grill, yo. Feels bad. Trying to get some pee water for this. Alright, I think we're good with that water. Need another bottle there. Dude. Oh, these are not high priority. That's why. That's why this is not getting swept. I'm like, why is this taking so long? Okay, so the brine water. We actually don't have a lot of brine. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, we don't have enough brine. I would actually have to get the ice up here, huh? Okay. Uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. I don't want to spill out the regular water either. But, like, we gotta get it. Like, even if I get all the brine right here, it's not enough. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go get the brine ice. Okay. So, let's mine this. And then we'll make an area to melt brine ice right up top. That way it's close by. Uh, let's grab that so that we can get it there to mine it. We do have insulated now, so this is nice. And then even with this setup, we need the refined metal. Oh, that means we... No, we're still... No, we just got it. Nice. Rock crush up. Uh, we're going to be cooling at spot, so I do need that tech. And then we need Rock Crusher. All right, we'll put that here. That should be okay. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Yo, man. Open that can of whoop ass. Yo, man. I might want to say, if it wasn't for Waterboy, I don't know if I'd be a fan of wrestling. <laughs> That's like the most weirdest phrase. If it wasn't for Waterboy, man, I don't know if I'd be a fan of wrestling. That's kind of weird, though, because it's like it's not even a movie focused on wrestling. It was like a subplot. Like the reason why he like is how he is. All right, we'll be able to grow some bog jelly up top. We're out of calories. We'll probably have to go grab the swamp chart soon. Uh... Gas pressure. Okay, I guess it's time. We got to get these sublimination stations. Mm, how much sand do we have? Five tons. Yeah, it's not worth it. Let's just do the polluted oxygen then. Yeah, there's not much option for this. We kind of just have to use this. So how much is this? This is a thousand for 660. It's 12 dupes. That's fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. 
while it looks like we have no food, the food's just alive. <laughs> That's the best way to look at it. It looks like we have no food, just understand the food's still alive. That's why we have none. There we go. Let's get these delivered to... So we generate some O2. This is very healthy over here, but there's a little bit of a uh, weird gas lock. Let's open that up. All right, waiting for these guys to do their thing. They could just be sweeping, but they decided not to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 480, what is that? 12, 1440, 1440. One, two, three, 360, 15, 18. And then 2040. Oh, it's so close. I have to use heavy watts still. Okay. Gold, gold. And then powers on that side. So we have to go like this. And then insulated pipes. Won't the good rot in the pedestals? No, uh, foods don't rot on the pedestal. I believe eggs don't fail either. Uh, so you put eggs on there, you put food on there. I think you could put like anything on a pedestal. And the moment you put it on a pedestal, it kind of just stops being an item. Like, I don't know how to well to really put that into words, but it's like not real anymore. <laughs> Uh, it's probably a bad way to put it. But that's probably the best way to put it, too, at the same time. Alright, we're gonna have to get a battery here, just uh, for the time being. So when items go on a pedestal, they get a uh, decor bonus. I think what the game does is that it reclassifies the item. And then food, for whatever reason, stops rotting on the pedestal as well. I want to say eggs don't rot. And what I mean by that is, you know how eggs have something called viability? And then if you let it be zero viable, it becomes a raw egg. I don't think that happens either with the eggs if you do it on there. All right, let's say day staggered. We're going to do another three. We want to do three at a time if we can. And then we probably want another uh, wheel right here. We might need it. We have all the pea water in the world. What was that? He just picked up like five items. All right, so they have 3,000 calories. They could go a day or two without food. As long as no one's starving. And that's below 1,000. Hey, how are things going on here? Looks like you got a new colony going. What's going on, Dragon Gawain? Yes, we do. The new colony is effectively going to be the food speed run. Trying to get food as fast as we can. So we're just doing the food speed run. I believe uh, Echo's done a similar run before. And we're going to be attempting it ourselves. You could put some slugs in a room for free energy. I'm killing them on sight, though. I'm going to be real. I'm killing them on sight. They are, they're all probably useful, though. I've killed three, and we have two more left. Do we have a guy that could ranch? Oh, we do. Nice. And he leveled up to get it. Yeah, we're going to cook all the foods that are cookable. Not growing foods. We're not going to care about that. So, like, if we get Surf and Turf and we never get a Poke Shell, that's fine. You know, because you have Pakus instead of Poke Shells. But yeah, that's going to be the run of what we're going to be trying to accomplish. Okay, Cobalt, uh, I mean, we have the Volcanoes right there, that's going to be fun. Alright, we got to wait a day for those three, I might want to try to get to these three right here. I probably also want to open this. I see, yeah, I'm just doing a meme run like that. All right, now that we're here, I want to do those. Oh, do I even have? I don't. 
I don't have temp shift play. Alright, I'm gonna grab that right now. Don't mind that yet then, we'll wait. Hey, it's a pit. He's gonna hang around. Alright, these plants could go, that's fine. The puff could die, and that's cool. And we get some food from that. So we have one emergency food, two emergency food, I guess three if you count that puff. Uh, auto harvest if we can. Not much to auto harvest though, sadly. Swamp chart wouldn't be bad. Looks like we got a pocket filet. Okay, so priority nine. May has cooking skill, so we need to make May cook. There we go. Wait, what? There we go. Research subcategory. Still building the spawn. We're going to copy these to here, so there are part three at a time. 2,400, not bad. Someone will eat that tomorrow. Alright, now from here, I think we'll always do that. Always do this, that, that. And let's not allow people to eat the raw version anymore. That was always being cooked. Salt chart hard, that's fine. And then the guy is priority nine. So... Yeah, just doesn't have anything for that. Alright, that should be good. So I'm guessing that curried beans are an entire reason to run as a meme, because pretty much everything else you can just find naturally, but the lectifolds tend to require lots of time and bad luck or intention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the lectifolds is always going to be the, uh, well, I guess you could argue sleet wheat, kind of. But yeah, the lectifolds are going to be the uh, pain of the run, so to speak. You got it, man. That's exactly, that's, you know, that's going to be the problem. Getting the lectifolds. Outside of that, though, there's no real reason to, uh... I mean, I guess you could argue that you have to do sulfur for the grub fruit stuff. Because there are a couple of grub fruit items. Mixed berry pie. You got the key. Well, no, you don't need that for the quiche. What was the other thing you got? Another food item. The, the mushroom quiche. Oh, yeah, that was it. Swap eat the lights. No, it was just the, uh... Yeah, Grofu Preserves. Oh, yeah. Full Grofu, not spinally. You need to get some Grub Grubs, yep. If you find Ice Biome, you'll have it swimming asleep. Wheat. So, yeah, pinch of pepper nuts. We have to find the Shovel Planet, yep. The Regolith Planet. We're gonna have to get to space at some point. Unreachable food. That is not a good thing. We're gonna get some food soon. All right, boys. He's gotta go. Get some BBQ. Ah, uh, let's also go down. That way we try to get to this buff. Oh, good eye, good eye. We added too much water for the liquid lock. Alright, now we could decon this res so that the water just uh, comes out. And we can use it for everything. There we go. Uh, how bad is the starvation? 791. Not allowed by schedule. Okay. Alright, May's gonna grab the food, put it back. There's a puff egg too. Raven's gonna die? Dude, he just joined the colony, man. Already gonna die. What the heck is this? Oh my god. They took it to the bin then. They put it to the store? That's jank. Alright, May, where are you? Stop cleaning the toilets. I need you cooking. Wash your hands before you start cooking. What are you doing? Are you gonna die yet? 500, okay. All right, more 
water is spilling out. Now there's two people. What? How come you're not cooking? What? Wow, but this is priority nine. What are you doing? How come that's not on your list? You have grilling skill. Your name is May. The recipe is in. Oh, I needed two orders of meat. Oh, the puff is only half. No. Okay. Oh, I don't want to kill this guy. <laughs> I don't want to kill this guy, man. I don't want to kill this guy, man. Yeah, yeah, there isn't enough food. You guys are smart. You guys are smart. Um... We have a lot of fish. Who's doing this? Frankie, he got it, he got it. Uh, is there any other food elsewhere I could grab? 91. Is there a filet here? I guess I could grab this. What is this? Why aren't you... What the heck? Why aren't you just building? 29. Alright. He's going there. No, no, no. If... Oh, no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But I want to grab the swamp chart if possible. Because I, if I grab that, well, I don't know if I'll be able to grab it from up top. Because I won't be able to climb down anymore. If I could pick it up, though, that's great. No, Joshua is taking his food. Joshua, man, you're not going to die yet. What are you doing, Joshua? This, no, no, no. This guy literally has 300k kills. Joshua, where are you? I need to stop you from stealing his food. None of those people are Joshua. Joshua, where'd you go, man? You're here in the water. Dude, you have time, dude. Go up top. And then this guy is... Going to eat? Oh, he was grabbing a little bit. Okay. All right, all right. So the other guy gets to eat as well. Nope, he's eating all of it. Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. We need to dig this out, man. We'll be fine this time. Get him, boys. Someone get this guy. Let's go, let's go. Get him the food, give us the BBQ. Get the auto harvest. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was a fish. Never mind. I was like, dude, is that fish clipped into the tiles? Alright, May. Don't do that. Go cook. I'm actually going to enable proximity as well. This could look like Natty Gas too, depending on the uh, time. But yeah, down here is. All right, so Raven is already at 900. Wait, you didn't finish the swamp chart? What? Oh, friend Vic is stealing it from you guys. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Let's add some more. Oh, yeah, that might be Natty Gas. We do get that on this planet. Clip.
chlorine. Hey, that's close. Instead of orange, it's green. <laughs> but chlorine sucks. God damn it, man. Chlorine's not a good time. So I got the temp shift plates now, right? Nice. All right. So we could go here now. All right. We're no longer starving, right? Oh, someone's going to starve again immediately. All right. We should get this bog jelly. Oh, no. It's wild. So it's going to take a while. Never mind. Uh... Down here is a lot of food, technically. All right, since we kind of want that, I'm just gonna open this up so the water is just open. Like, it's not really gonna matter in grand scheme of things. And then we're gonna dig down to get to the slugs. Slugs don't actually uh, have any problems with the water, so. This is just gonna allow the water to move up. Could I go down this way? Maybe I could. If the water is lower. Buried objects, I wouldn't mind opening that. Starvation. We have a thousand kcals. Someone's going to have to cook it though. Oh, we have an extra thousand. So we're going to get another one to be cooked right now, right? Paku filet. I did the math. And Dash Assault Line is sand positive, so Chlorine Geyser plus uh, Sand Geyser. So lots of meat. And some Natty Gas. They take more time to set up, but they're useful. The problem with that is, is that Dash Assault Vines are kind of rare. That's the problem, man. Like, you have what? One planet that has it? And I think that's the major problem with that. There's only really just one planet with salt vines. And that's the planet with the rust. That's this planet. Even then, you don't even get that much. Like, it's like, where are my salt vines, man? What the heck is this? I actually didn't get a salt vine. Hey, man, what the heck is this? I got robbed. The seed took my seeds. Hey man, that's illegal, dude. What the heck is that? Yo, man. Salt vines OD. CO2 is growing fairly fast. That's not bad. That's going to be rocket fuel. We could actually just put it into a res for now. Once I get that tech. Yeah, we'll get that res soon. That's fair. Forgot about that. My current run started on a rust planetoid, so I had them right at the start. No chlorine vent. And I didn't know if I was happy or disappointed about that. Dude, that map that you're on, dude, is the worst map. It's super troll. You get rust, but no salt. You get dash of salt fight, no chlorine. It's super troll, dude. I hate that map. It's like, who designed this? How are you going to give me exactly everything I don't need? You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm always just one ingredient short of the synergy piece. Super meme. CO2 is not bad. I think once I get a uh, thousand kilogram reservoir, which we'll tech up soon, it'll be okay. So now 7749, 94. I don't want to go to the plug slug yet. We do have the food. This is not too bad. I'm planning to try to settle all planets, including the gassy Moo. Gonna be exciting to see if I can get water from Moose. Oh man, good luck, Dark Iraq. I did classic planetoid, so it's big, and I got the salt biomes. Didn't have the rust. Planning on just filling it with loads of systems. Oh, I see, I see. Oh yeah, on the classic start, yeah, they're gonna give it to you. But man, on the DLC start, man, it's so rude. They don't give you exactly what you need. And it's like, you need to use the rust as oxygen too. That's another thing that's super funny about that. Like you, you need to be using that. Okay, so another thing is I do want to dump out the gas. So let's get started. Uh, let's make that insulated. So it's, you know, a little bit easier to do. And then with the power setup, I will want that. And then I need cobalt here. 
So this is going to be 50. Push this to 7. Speed this up. Yep. You got to need salt. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, great catching you on stream again. What's going on, uh, Metion? How are you? Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Right now, we're just starting a new playthrough. You can see we're cycle 23 early game. My kitty cat's right here. Just a cam. See the little baby stretch? He's a sleepy little kitty cat right now. He's just hanging out right behind me. He's waiting for me to wrap up stream, to be honest. And since cats can't tell time, he's going to be like that for a long time till he gets sick of waiting. And then I have to give him some, uh, you know, some attention. You know, just classic Mamba stuff. Classic Mamba stuff. No one's actually starving. They're going to eat the cooked seafood. All right, research. Uh, I would want conductive wire. Realistically, I will grab that before we grab the rest. But yeah, the void waits. He wants some love, man. Some love and attention. This is normal, some challenge. We're doing uh, all food challenge. So we're going to try to cook every food and have them all on display. And try to see how fast we could do that. So we're going to try to kind of do this on the fast side. Although it's not going to be like min-max speed running. We're not going to be at that point yet. But yeah. That is the run, Alazar. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're doing well, and I see you over there. Oh, I can't go through that. Feels bad. Alright, a little bit of starvation again. 50% grown. Free food over there. Oh, yeah, we also have to do the brine ice so that we could get uh, started. Uh, this guy's not enough. I could grab both of those guys. Is there elderly fish? Yes, we do. We don't have to kill him. He's going to die eventually. But we want the calories now, so we got to do it. Alright, new day, 1%, 50%, 1530, 42. I should wait a little bit longer. Do you just start digging out the Abyssalite or just try to work around it? It depends if I get lucky. So I got a dupe that started with the skill. So I was able to mine straight through it. I usually work around it though, because I don't typically get the speed that's fast. But that makes sense, right? It depends if you have the skill or not this early on. And it's also preference, but I like to keep it if I can. Ah. All right, all right. We don't need the gold. Two people starving. We need to cook the food. 800, 900, that's not too bad. I don't really... Well, I know it's up to you. If you really want to, um, like, I guess it depends. So some people will literally mine out the biomes because the logic is once everything falls down, it's going to average out. But those people will typically have a large crew of duplicates and they're going to mass dig out the entire map. Like that's their goal. And in that case, um, there's never going to be a biome up here unless you're playing on flipped magma. You know, the magma's up top. That's really going to cause problems, right? The only thing is that you lose upside. And that's typically why you want to save the biomes. The cold biome has a lot of upside. Because the cold biomes usually have sleet wheat grain. Now, I don't have that. But if you have a cold biome with sleet wheat grain, if you go with a gas overlay, the inside of those rooms are usually sealed to or oxygen or polluted oxygen. If you get a sleet wheat grain area with CO2, it's going to naturally grow you free food because it's going to be deep freeze because it's cold enough and it's sleet wheat. Sleet wheat deep freezes at five degrees Celsius positive. So a lot of times you digging out the biomes isn't really anything worried about heat the heat is at the bottom of the map most of the time right 
That's going to be where the oil biome is. That's going to be... Oh, we got hit by ads. Feels bad. Yeah, but yeah, it depends. I'll, I'll get back into it. Someone remind me, man, once that comes back. Someone reminds me, man. I have ADHD, guys, so if, if you guys get hit by ads and I stop talking, I'm not going to remember to start again. <laughs> so someone please remind me, man. Living the ADHD life. I've had it since I was 10 years old. Well, that's when I was diagnosed. I probably had it all my life. But yeah. Be like that sometimes. I'm gonna forget. Okay, food. 500, 700. Okay, okay. They're both old. Oh, it's busy. Laid the babies already. I guess we could go there to grab food. Alright, I think we realistically just need to go to this. This is so many calories. Uh, yeah, okay. If we can, we want to do that, but we're not going to get that in time. So for the 500, that's going to be the cooked filet, I'm hoping. Wait, what are you doing? You need to be cooking, dude. Oh, the swap chart right here? Yeah. I guess we could grab that. Good eye, Cthulhu. Good eye, good eye. Someone's going up there, right? And Joshua. Frankie's already eating. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's gonna go? You're eating this? Oh, you're also starving. That's fair. I was gonna say, you shouldn't be eating that. You're not starving, dude. What do you mean? 98%? We're so close on that one. And then... Kind of leave them be right now, huh? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to grab this ASAP. Radiation overlay, yeah. Everything inside gets zapped. It's fine, though. Give me food! Oh, that's not food, dude. I'll take the snazzy suit, though. Alright, so the only person is Joshua. Okay, so it's probably these guys here. These guys are old. I want to get to that guy as well. Uh... All right, I think we're just going to pattern down. So... I don't know who needs to do this, but they got to do it. Four hundred. May's not even a good digging dupe, dude. May's slow at this. Oh, now we gotta wait. Joshua four hundred four. Dude, who's doing this? Hurry up! Oh wait, he got food. Where? Wait, where'd you get food from? Oh, he got swamp charred. Oh, did someone not finish eating their meal? That's what it sounds like. All right, and then we're going to dig this out. Okay, so this got mined out. So we need to do... Well... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. We got to do a pitcher pump like that. That should be allowed to pump. I should be able to put another brine ice here. 
Yeah, man. It's, that's how you keep it germ-free, dude. You gotta keep it germ-free. Alright, another three days passed. Or another day passed, not every three days. Swamp Charred Heart, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna have some food to help us catch back up and restabilize. Okay, so this is kind of ready. Kind of. I need to start pumping here. Oh, come on, that went away. Auto save lag. Coal. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't have it? It's it's not discovered. Alright, looks like we have to mine this out right here. Realistically, though, I should go on this side. That's where everything is. Just surrounded by a little bit of slime lung. Little bit of slime lung. Alright, we're just gonna go through here. Because we can mine through that. And then we'll be able to get some coal to power everything. This looks orange. Just polluted oxygen, though. Calories are getting caught up. BBQ. Cook seafood. Meal lice. We gotta continue that. Uh, yeah. That has to be there. And then we know we need automation. Oh, we never got the research. How come no one's grabbing this? The water. It's like right here. Oh, is this low priority? We're out of food again. Classic, classic. Alright, we will want to go through here soon. Oh, that was slime lung and I didn't even realize that and they didn't build it. Thank you, dudes. They stopped me from reaching disaster. Alright, the adults gotta die. We'll get some fish. Ah, oh, man. Dirty oxygen is never a good time. Oh, bog jelly. Looking good, looking good. We'll cook that. Hey, for Daika coming in with the five months. Thanks so much for the three month streak. Five months of support, man. I see you over there. How are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello. How are you? Hope you're having a good Wednesdays, man. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. But yeah, oh, dude, this is 12 kilograms of oxygen. What the heck is this? Dude, what the heck is this? Why is this 12 kgs? Yo, I didn't even realize that. That was a poison ox uh, polluted oxygen bomb. Yeah, this is 13. Oh, wow. Some of these rooms are just off-gassing like crazy because it's CO2. Feeling like that sometimes. But yeah, just tuned in for Daika. We're doing a all-food run. We're going to try to get all foods that we can get. And try to do that in our colony. The food runs. As they say. Gotta do the food runs. I probably do mine this out. But this is free dirt. <laughs> this is completely just free dirt. Can't be mad about that. We're gonna need the dirt for research. Oh, research is done. We need automation wire. Gotta grab that. That's all dirt too, so it should be okay. Can't use mushroom for food too. The mushrooms require CO2. And then slime. Now, I could get slime. I just don't have an environment that allows me to survive slime. If that makes sense. So the moment I bop a slime, we're going to get slime lung. And then it's just going to spread. Because my entire base is polluted oxygen. So while we can, I don't think it's worth it. Like, I'm going to have to chance the disease. Yeah, I don't know, man. The disease sounds about alright. <laughs> So it's like, while we can, I don't think it's smart. So 
So uh, the best we could do is just wildly eat the mushrooms, right? I recently finished watching the Baytor Mama gameplay. You mentioned that you would like to play it on max difficulty. It was a year ago. Uh, do you have any plans to play with the extreme map generator? I won't lie. It was interesting watching you deal with several tons of liquid on single tile or extremely cold biome. I am going to be doing that this year. So we're going to redo. So someone asked me on YouTube as well to try to do a max difficulty Baytor mod. I don't know what extreme map generator is. Is that a mod? And if it is, could you like talk about that, Alizar? I might want to check it out. Like if you can, uh, like, you know, try to explain it the best you can. Because it sounds like it's a mod, right? I'm not sure. You have buddy buds. Yo, man, that's true. But still, I don't want to, I don't want to do it, man. It's not worth it. Slime lung is so persistent. I've been trying to wipe it out and there's always some pocket of it on the map somewhere. Yeah. You gotta do, you gotta realistically mine out the map and just put horizontal, uh, vertical levels of, uh, the odorizers and nothing impedes it. So that it goes left and right all the way through. But yeah, it takes a long time to fully clean it out, man. It's tough. It is tough. Alright, so we melted that. That's good. Alright, we're ready to, uh... Well, let's put a second wheel here. And then we're gonna do this setup. Oh no, it's like that. I have to not connect the battery, otherwise it's gonna break. All right, and then up top, we're gonna do brine water, auto bottle. We shouldn't have brine, actually. Brine, all right, all of it's right there, right? Nice, okay, I don't wanna have any mopped up brine anywhere. I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay, that's gonna be in there. And then we'll do it one at a time. I uh, never really care for Slime Lung, probably because of the difficulty I play. Oh yeah, Slime Lung doesn't really have anything that's anything you need to worry about, realistically. Like, it's not dangerous. You just have a small penalty to, you know, athleticism minus three movement speed, right? The big thing is the coughing animation is technically 30 minutes in their universe. So their coughing animation takes about three to four seconds for them to cough and then finish coughing. Three to four seconds in the Oni universe is 30 something minutes. <laughs> Cause it's 600 seconds in a day. So three to four seconds, man, yo man, you just wasted 30 minutes coughing. And that coughing animation is the most annoying thing. You generate a bubble of polluted oxygen with the germ on it and then it's uh, animation, so you stop doing what you're doing midway and just stand still. And it's mad annoying, man. Not gonna lie. And often they drop whatever they're doing. Yep. It becomes mad annoying. So while it's not, like, deadly, it's annoying. So I just wanna, you know, not do that. But yeah. That's, it's like... I guess it's a preference thing. Because I'd just rather not play with it on. <laughs> Like, I'm playing with it all. I'm just trying to avoid it as best as I can. All right, so someone's going to die, right? 800 calories. Okay. We have no food. Body temperature is too cold. Okay. Off to have a pile of stuff at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, classic. Bottom of the ladder, man. All the food's right there. Looks like I have to grab this. Uh, problem is, is that, yeah, this slug's gonna have to die. We're gonna have to go out this way. And then we would have to auto harvest. And there's another bog right here. So that's some calories. And then we could try to grab this one. That's probably gonna rot. Oh, this one's gonna rot as well. So this one is probably what we could do first. Hopefully uh, they could grab that ASAP. I've somehow missed every gassy moo or I've never seen one. They should not deal damage to blocks. So the only meteors that do damage to blocks are the metal meteors. Iron, gold, copper, and then regolith. Nothing else should deal damage to solid tiles. So... Before the new update, you would only get iron, 
copper, gold, the metal meteors, effectively. And those are the ones that did damage. Uh, the new ones they added it, I don't think any of them do damage, except maybe Regolith. I think Regolith has been old too, though, so it's like kind of weird. Alright, 14% stale. Who's eating this? Wait, is no one grabbing that? Okay, they're grabbing it, okay. He's dying. Someone not grabbing the food? They're slow, man. 600, we should survive. 600k counts is at least 300 seconds, so half a day. I'm hoping they can bring that all back. So now, yeah, opening this bops the plant. That's what I was a little bit worried about. That means we won't get the wild food anymore. This meat is going to be enough for a full BBQ because this is a slug. They give you a lot of food. Oh, why do you put it in here before taking it out and putting it in the grill? This is lower priority. That makes zero sense. Actually makes zero sense. You see that? He's doing it too. What the heck is this? No, but the grill is a nine, dude. You do the nine first. What the memes is this? Hey, E Panda coming in with the 26 months. Thank you so much, E Panda. Welcome back to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the emoji join. That's ad free fuel. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I gotta mop this. But yo, man, don't forget that too. Legit sub badge. Thank you for the support, E Panda. I see you over there. Thank you for the long time support, man. Can you just move the grill? Realistically, I'm not going to move it. Is it because you turned on proximity? Maybe, but that shouldn't have affected it, to be honest. Joshua Friendvik, Ruby. No, man. Why does Ruby get the food? Ruby, where you at? We're not going to allow you to eat that. Dude, where are you, Ruby? Not... Nah, I'm just gonna click on Ruby from here. Oh, you're right there. No, man, get out of here. So, Ruby, Friendvig, that's Joshua. Joshua's about to die, so that's fine. Storing higher than supplying? That shouldn't matter because the priority is lower and it's technically the same job type supplying right so that technically shouldn't matter realistically this could be a memory leak issue though yeah you we got some new emotes <laughs> technically got some new emotes not really though they're just animated now just some of them though we still need to get some more all right, I need to grab that next. All right. Now it's just Friendvik, the researcher. Get the food, get the food. What are you doing? Researching HVAC? Picking up, you better not be eating that. Storing it? Go eat, go eat. Dude, what the memes? What the memes is this? That's some bad... I think this is an AI issue right now, man. What's happening with that? That shouldn't be happening. Ah, right, we should be okay now, though. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, eight. Technically, this is enough food for my dupes. If I don't go more than eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three per dupe. Oh. Oh, and I put it back. Oh, my God. I am not smart, dude. I forgot to do this. 
What's going on, anime? Welcome back. Miss Chemical Stairs, I see you guys over there. It might be because I turned on proximity, but I've never had that problem before with the proximity, to be honest. It's really weird why that's happening. Uh, we're doing a food theme. Welcome in, anime. I see you over there. Doing the food themes. So for the food theme, it's kind of weird. Uh, like, we're just going to grow every... Not grow. And basically, we're going to put all the food on a pedestal. Right? And those foods on the pedestal, we're going to try to have one of every cooked food item. And that's going to be the run. So hopefully it's not going to be too bad. But uh, we got to get the curried beans. That's always going to be the uh, downside of that. All right, all right. I will have to automatically dump the brine here as well because I think I messed that up all right all right let's go let's go look at you guys in chat I see you guys over there out of food again classic yeah it's because it's individual food I think and I think that's why like, when we make one Swappy Delights, it's 2,000 KCALs, but they're holding the entire 2,000 until they finish eating or something. How bad is this? 900, that's not too bad. And we got a harvest. Let's try to get this done, though, because we will want to dump the brine water on there so that we don't mess this up. I gotta pay attention to this. 800, that's not too bad. All right, so I guess we could also plug this in now. And then this is just to remove the gas from here, which we got to do anyways. Ah, we have the brine here already. All right, we just need to dump the brine. All the bottles, we just need to automatically dump it out. So we'd have nice setups for this. 3k water can't complain are you still starving 500 damn he's really not getting any food huh didn't we just get yeah i hate that my cook is uh not actually working all right so my cook running into a issue you are no longer allowed to run the wheel why? Because that's going to have you working on there all day. That's bad. <laughs> Congrats on the one year partner. Too legit. Happy all the time. Uh, you put in has paid off. And uh, so many love people have come by to stream every day. Yeah, it has. We still got a lot more to go, though. We realistically have to quadruple our stream that it is currently so that we could reach nah even if i quadruple i don't think i hit partner plus uh partner plus is our new goal now that we're partner but yeah it's, it's gonna take us some time to work towards that if we do get that i think that would mean that i'd be able to like support myself properly be able to save up some money and maybe even move out no man that's gonna be the next dream the next step along the way but yeah, hopefully we'll uh, trend upwards and make that progress. And that's going to be what we hope to be able to accomplish. But yo, man, I'm not going to lie. A few years ago, man, I was a small streamer averaging like 30 viewers. Less than that. <coughs> Yeah, aiming for the uh, Partner Plus. They were going to have a smaller version of Partner Plus at 100 subs. And that's going to be, you know, it's minimal increase, but it's still an increase. 10% versus, uh, I think it's 20, if you get the proper one. So, yeah, there's going to be a lower level Partner Plus available in June at 100 subs. And then, yeah, I'm not at there yet. So, we're at to get to that sometime, you know, whenever we meet there. 
It is. It is. It's nice. It is nice. Ten percent increase. But yeah, the big thing is, is that I won't be able to sign up for that until June, and then I don't even have a hundred subs yet. So I'll, I'll have to, you know, try to work up to a hundred first. How long are you into the stream? Are you playing Oni the whole time? No. So I started off with a crossword, and then I played a new game called Minami Lane. And then I alt f 4 because my mod for Oni wasn't working, and I clicked on OBS. And I restarted my stream uptime. So that's why it only shows like I'm only live for like three hours right now. I had another stream with about five hours, 50 minutes. And then that's when we change to Oni. And then for the remainder of this stream, we'll be playing Oni, yeah. So yeah, we will be playing Oni for the rest of this stream. But then, yeah, we already did half of the stream because I started around noon. And right now it's 8 p.m. So yeah, we have at least over three hours, four hours of uh, playing Oni still. <laughs> so don't worry, man. We're going to be going on for a while. But right now, three plus five. Yeah, I'm going to be about eight. I'm at I'm uh, 8 hours, 30 minutes, 8 hours, 15 minutes, yeah, more or less 8 hours. Damn, that's not too bad right there. But yeah, partner plus, next stream. Hopefully we could do that, but yeah. We gotta get to work, man. I gotta get to work. I don't think I'll be able to get to work. ASAP though. I'm gonna be visiting my dad this weekend. So it hasn't been a year yet, but we're gonna go visit his grave. It's gonna be a year in June since he's passed. So this last year has been wild for me in terms of like everything that happened after that. But yeah, we gotta be strong. We gotta keep working. It's just, it's just tough to find motivation or focus sometimes. But yeah, I won't be live tomorrow. I should stream on Friday. And then I won't be live Saturday. That's when we're going to be going. But yeah, that's going to be why our schedule is going to be on and off the next couple days. I'm going to be off tomorrow because I'm going to be streaming late today. And then we'll be live Friday because, you know, we're going to be live. And then, yep, Saturday, we will be at the cemetery. But yeah, though, you know, visiting is good. Everything is going to be good. Oh, dude, we're out of power. Oh, it's because we're pumping. Well, technically we're very breathable, so it's not that bad. We're providing enough oxygen for 12 dupes, and we only have 8. Even though this is a 30% 30, 30 debuff, right? 130 versus 100. So that's technically, we're 10 dupes consuming oxygen because of the uh, debuff. But we're providing for 12, so we're good still. All right, gonna be doing the pumps. This all of it, 1066.2? Nice, okay, so now we can do this properly without messing up. We will watch. Oh, never mind. No, don't move it to here. Oh, uh, there was still water here. I didn't realize that. Dude, how come they're not mopping this? Hurry up. Dude, my spawn's taking forever to be built. Let's see. Tech wise, is there anything else I need? Radiant pipe, radiant gas pipe. Conductive, smart battery, automation cable, hydrogen we have. Temp shift plates we have as well. Dude, yeah, we have everything, I think. Insulated tile tack. Oh, pressure sensors. Where is Atmos sensors? Uh... Wait a second, where's my Atmo sensor? Oh, it's right here. I have it. Nice. Are we good? We're good. We're good. Lumbo, congrats, man. Good job keeping it up. Thank you, Lumbo. Doing the best we can. Taking it a day at a time. I see you, Tail Grandmaster. I, I wish I knew what that said. And I do. It means happy partner anniversary. First try. 
That's how you know I'm a professional streamer. First try every time. I see you over there, man. I will grab Radbull Tech next. No, no, no. We gotta grab the Odorizer, right? That's right. No one's starving. Everyone has food. No one died. All is well. Alright, generating some calories as well. Okay, so that's gonna be a vacuum. Can someone mop that, please? Thank you. We need this done, man. Alright, so the brine's going up top. And then another thing we know that we need to do is this radiant pipeline. So, we're going to do a two-piece here, because of how difficult we know it's going to be. And then we're going to do one, one, one. And then we're going to do left, 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 left. Alright, so this is a very easy setup. We're going to argue that the uh, setup's going to come from the back, so it's likely to be here. Down, up. All right, so that's going to be our cooling loop setup. I can't reach that tile. That's a travesty. Uh, that's this tile. I have to decon, which is fine. We don't have liquids yet, so it's fine. Oh, there's a drop. Okay. We could do that. What's the challenge? We're going to be doing every food as fast as we can. So we're going to avoid doing certain things, and we're just going to try to get every food that's cooked. So we're not going to get every raw food. We're going to get every cooked food and then put it on a pedestal and display everything. Once we do that, we win. No tear, no monument. And that's going to be the goal and the run of what we're going to be trying to do. So yeah, food speed run is what they call it, right? Got to eat it all sometimes. Got to eat it all. Any free dupes? We got free dupes. Oh, abductor. I'm sorry. I missed. I missed what you said. Abductor, Abductor, who would you like to claim? And we do have a lot of free dupes right now, Miss Chemical Stairs. <laughs> Dude, I saw that, and then I was talking, and I completely forgot. <laughs> Let me know, Abductor. Who isn't going to be a pilot? So, Friend Vic is a pilot. Already taken. Ultimo Pot coming in as well, Miss Chemical Stairs. I got you, I got you. Got to give them to Abductor first, and we'll go down the list. And we'll go down the list, go down the list. Well, wait, so do you want a pilot, or do you not want a pilot? Taking the cook. Okay, that's May. May is a researcher, not a pilot, though. All right, Abductor. Welcome in. Hey, Meemaw, we got you. All right, you're going to have to wear the sketchiest jacket that we own. We'll give you the jeans. You're going to be the guy that goes up to the kids and be like, do you want some candy? Because he's the abductor. <laughs> oh, I spelled his name wrong. Abductor, welcome in. We got you, we got you. Kids love me. <laughs> Chemical stairs coming in. Uh, this chemical stairs. Welcome in. Welcome in. That's a channel point redemption. Belfit Joe. Gotta have the uh, channel points, right? Okay. Miss Chemical Stairs. Likes to be in comfy clothes. Chilling at home. She gets a short sleeve shirt. We get some shorts. Do we got new gloves? No, we don't. That sucks. All right, this is this is how Miss Chemical Stairs looks like when she's gardening her plants. The classic. 
She got yellow slippers, yo. Yo, that's me! Hey, Miss Chemical Stairs, welcome in. And then we have Ultimate Pot. Alright, Ultimate Pot, who would you like to claim? Joshua, Ada, Frankie, or Ruby? Undies! Yo, man, I got undies. Nothing wrong with that. He's gonna pick Frankie. Alright, we got you. Ultimate Pot 5000. Not a balloon artist, that's unfortunate. Okay. What can we do? Alright, we're gonna go with the young Frankie. The youngest. The youngest version of Frankie. Just born with a full head of hair. Nice. Welcome in, Ultima Pot. I see you over there. The youngest. And then we got Beltfit Joe. All right, Joe, who would you like to claim? Happy partner anniversary. Thank you, Stasis. Thank you, thank you. I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> Just want the outfit? We got you, we got you. So from the list, I have to wait. You want to Liam. Okay, we'll wait, we'll wait. Remind me if you see him pop up. Remind me if you see him pop up. All right, so cleaning. I need to do this now. Let's go, let's go. We got to clean that. We got to move the water in. Someone help me out with that, man. This is going to take forever. And then we're vacuuming the inside, which is fine. It's going to take some time. The dupe's breathing is going to actually help us out by uh, reducing the amount of mass we'll get. So, not too worried about that. Not too worried about that. I got you. Probably be here with you all night because I don't sleep. Yo, Belfit Joe, why don't you sleep? Sleeping's good for the body. Something like that. You need sleep, man. All right, they're eating. I need someone to mop that, though. Nice. Good mop. Good mop. There's so many things to do. Yo, man. It'd be like that, man. I feel you with that. There's so many things to do. You never want the next day to start, so you stay up as long as you can. I understand that, man. That's a very... Uh... I understand the feeling, man. I understand the feeling with that. All right, food seems to be okay. Got to work on the spawn still. We did almost finish doing the spinning. So we're doing this for dirt, realistically. We're also doing the cobalt for some refined metal. And then this is ready right here. So we're going to have to do a meme setup so that we could grab the water. I should do the setup for that then. Oh man. I need to realistically just bop these resources. So that we could clear the area. I wish I could just grab the radiation and pull it here. That'd be amazing. Dude, do you think they will ever add something that reflects ambient radiation? That'd be kind of wild. Like, not the rad bolts, but the ambient radiation. No, they probably wouldn't do that. Like, it doubles the amount of radiation that you reflect towards. But it doesn't go down anymore past that point or something. Pigeon stayed up until 4 a.m. last weekend. I got up to watch a KPOP live stream from Korea, and then I saw him in the living room. He never went to bed. Wow. What's KPOP? Dude, you stayed up, man. What was he doing staying up? That's some dedication right there, man. K-pop, my bad, my bad. Got the K-pop. My bad, my bad. Yo, man. That's actually dedication, man. I didn't know you guys would, like... So here's the thing. A lot of people I know 
that listen to K-pop tell me they don't understand the music. Like they don't understand the lyrics. It's just how the way they sing it's really nice. And I was like, that's fine. It's melodic. Sure, I could follow with that. The thing is, is that they do the same thing. They'll watch Korean people stream. I'm just like, wait, I thought you didn't understand <laughs> like the language. So it's like it, it, that, that throws me off sometimes. So Miss Chemical Stairs, have you picked up like words? You know that this means that, that means this kind of a thing. I would imagine you pick something up, right? Yeah, I don't know what they're saying mostly. <laughs> Wait, what? Man, that's a lifestyle, man. man. That's that's a lifestyle. It really is. I've got assorted words, but no grammar. Ah, it's like me with watching anime. I know that they'll say a sentence. I'm like, ha, he said Nani. That means what? Got him. <laughs> you know, and I'm proud of myself. And it is like, dude, in the grand scheme of things, that's nothing. <laughs> I picked a word out of a freaking one page paper, dude. What was that? But that's the classic right there, man. That's the classic. Hey, Stasis knows. Stasis knows. That means goodbye. No, it means it means something else, I think. <laughs> it means sorry? Yeah, we're, we're doubting ourselves, man. None of us speak Japanese. It's either from the memes or from the animes. I'd be like that sometimes. Something like that. Yeah, we don't yeah, don't even know the proper like phonetic spelling, man. Feels bad. Okay, so we're at a stage of the game where we can't realistically... Okay, it's in. How's the temperature here? It's realistically too cold, and I don't think I actually generate enough oxygen. Without us sending the oxygen. Oh, that's so tough. Hey, Spoonwood, welcome in. I see you over there. Go Menasai. There we go. It means sorry. I see, I see. I can hold a conversation in Japanese because I've studied it for five years. I see, I see. We got the pros in chat. I took four semesters. I can barely remember to do that. Me too, man. I was, uh, you know how in high school they make you take a second language, right? As part of the uh, curriculum, like you have to. You, you get to choose though, right? You know, you have a choice. But you got to do it. And it's like, ah, shit. And then a lot of times, you know, I'm in Cali. All of us pick Spanish. <laughs> we in Cali, man. It's like, dude, I'm actually might speak Spanish versus like, I'm not going to run into anyone speaking French or Latin and stuff like that. And like, ah, oh, snap. I see you, Dark Orang. I see you over there. It's been like 19 years since I was in Japan. I don't remember uh, much now other than excuse me. Huh? Same in Texas, we all pick Spanish, yeah man, the classic. I told a Japanese person I was probably middle school level and they implied I was better than that. So I'm high school Japanese student level, nice. I speak French. Do we have any linguists in chat? Do we have any linguists in chat? Do you guys know how they say, uh... There is a love language, like naturally, like certain languages just sound. I don't know what the logic is. So it's like a lot of people would say French is the love language. Some people say it's uh, Spanish, right? And then it's like, depending on where, where you are, like that might change. But there's like a common thing where like all the languages that are love languages are based off of Latin. Have you guys heard of that? You guys know what I'm talking about, man? I see you, though, Stasis. Korean words I could recognize. Hello, goodbye, sorry, slowly. I love you, wait, shiny dream, strawberry. Applause in English and Korean, song freeze, wow. Romance, romance, not love. Romance language, there we go. Thank you, Miss Chemical Stairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Latin-based languages, right? Something like that. Like, all of the romance languages are Latin-based. 
I might be wrong, but I think it's um, Latin based, right? If that's true, why isn't English considered a love language or a romance language? Because isn't English also based off of Latin? Romance language as in Roman, the Romans spoke Latin. Oh. Oh, English has more Germanic roots. Ah. Wow, so that canceled it out, huh? That's tough. So we lose love language, huh? Feels bad. Always curious about that, because I remember one time we were talking about that. And they're like, yeah, these are the romance languages. And I was like, okay. And it's like, oh, based off of what? I'm like, okay. Didn't really click, but now, now you think about it, it's like, huh, this, that's kind of weird. Why is it like that? Now it kind of makes sense. It's because it's a fusion language. Okay, okay. I could get behind that. All right, so right now we're building a spawn. We're trying to vacuum the inside. We're building up pipes. We have this weird dilemma. I think what I need to do is mine algae and send it across. I think that's actually what I do. And that's kind of the problem we're running into right now. All right, so we're going to need power here. And then we will grab it this way. We'll do it like that. So this is going to be where we're going to want to add in the algae for this. Now, the other thing is that these Pakus are here. I don't want to put algae here because they're going to eat it. That's going to be bad. Old medieval French is more how English has so much Latin. The Normans conquering hash things in 1066 and all that. Latin influence. Ah, I see. All right. I see the blasted move planet went dark while I'm setting up an outpost. I guess I got to figure out how this thing about light up the gas grass somehow. Ooh. Sun lamps work, man. Sun lamps work. What's the current sub count? Uh, for Partner Plus, I'm around 60-something. It's floating depending on what part of the month I'm at. So right now, it started a new month, so we're at like 10. <laughs> since it's a new month, so it resets every month, right? So since it just started April, I don't have that many. I don't know the exact count, but it's not that high right now. All right, we're going to take that. So I'm thinking we need to send um, the mushrooms over. Now, smoke alarm, I will say that it's only for, you know, uh, if you sub yourself and if you want to help us out by getting more points, uh, subbing a higher tier would be the best thing to do. So, like, if you're subscribing yourself, subbing at tier 2, tier 3 is technically better for Partner Plus than to, you know, gift subs. Because the gifted subs won't count, while tier 2, tier 3 will count as more points. It's kind of weird how that works. But yeah, not sure why. I'm just going to put that out there. Languages have a lot to do with the movement of people and geography. Areas that are more isolated often end up with more separate dialects or languages. And yeah, if one group comes in and takes over, they spread their language or the language mixes with what was already there. Ah, I see. So does that mean Old English has more of a romance language roots than American English? I guess I want to call it American English is what we speak today, right? I mean, it's probably like ignorant of me to say it like that. Call it American English. But it's like, I don't know what else to call it. Because it's not like it's UK English, right? That's a little bit different. Some of the word choice, word use applications. While like the skeleton structure is about the same. Is that the case? Does that mean Old English is more of a romance language than Modern English? I guess Modern is a better term. Classic mantra of give yourself first, give yourself tier two before gifting subs. <laughs> Yo, man. Hey, that's that's if you guys want to help me with a partner plus, right? Because that's like the best way to kind of impact. If, if you want to help out for that, if you just want to support me and don't really care, it's, you know, it doesn't really matter then. You could give subs, sub yourself, you know, at that point, I, I, I'm not really able to, you know, 
That's what's that saying? Beggars can't be choosers. I'm, I'm effectively a beggar. No man, whatever happens, happens, man. I can't be mad either way. Is there a gas and or water tour anyone will recommend? If that's allowed, that is. Um, I could help you out. I actually have a YouTube channel, Stasis. So I have guides. I'm working on a like episode series right now to basically go through the entire game. Uh, to basically do the printing pot objectives. I do have some guides and videos up there now, but I don't have like a proper structured early game, mid, uh, mid game, late game, and it like guides you through everything. I have like individual guides for individual topics. Like if you wanted to build the submerged spawn, if you want to learn about uh, how certain things work, uh, ideas for geyser taming, room layout ideas so you can maximize morale, you know, things like that. So I don't have like a comprehensive guide yet. That's something I'm working on at the moment. But yeah, if you have any like weird questions, you can ask me live and I got you. If I have that example too, it's even better, but I won't always have an example. All right, so the idea right now is we need the power line. We need the construction of this to be maxed out. And the logic here is gonna be, we have algae over here. We could send the algae over. And this means I'll have oxygen over here. If I have oxygen over here, I could have a dupe over here building everything. And then if I have a dupe over here building everything, I'll be able to bring back the cold water. Now, the reasoning why I need a dupe to build stuff is because this is so cold, the water is going to freeze. So I actually have to end up using insulated pipes. Um, the water freezes at negative 20, and this is at negative 30, and I need to bring it down to here. So because of that, it's going to be kind of problematic. So I won't have enough oxygen here. I don't think I might. Right? There is some, you know, oxalite traces and there is uh, oxyfern, but it's one of those things where it's like, I have doubts. So I want to set it up so that we could have algae here because we're not using it here. We're using uh, pea dirt for a lot of the, uh, you know, polluted oxygen that we're utilizing anyways. That way we could use the algae from the slime biome, send it over. We'll be able to have clean oxygen here, and then we'll be able to bring back the polluted water that we could use as a coolant. Right, and that's gonna be for this. So with that, there's gonna be a couple things I'm gonna to wanna to add. One of which is gonna be a infinite pressure tank. So I probably want that on this side. Now I do know this is gonna look like that. I do wanna line that up. So we'll mine this part. Wait, that's slime lung, isn't it? Oh, there's no slime lung here. Let's go. <sighs> that debated me. Zoom down, that looks like it's clean. There's trace amounts. Oh man. All right, let's go for this set. There we go. All right, speed this up. We need the wire built. That's gonna be the goal right now. Calories are fine. We're still waiting to vacuum. The pipe segments is taking some time here. I need the wire done before the uh, radiant pipe, so that's fine. And then we're gonna build the infinite pressure tank right here. That way we could bring the water from this side all the way through. This has been part one activated. Oh, I should send someone over now. So who's the guy with field research? Friendvik. Let's go, Friendvik. Let's go, buddy. Do you need a mech engineer to repair? No, you need a field research. We're going to send him right now. Oh, you're going to miss out on a meal. Bad stuff. Oh, no, it, you don't need to repair it. You just need to add power. <laughs> you don't need to repair it. You just need to add power. All right, activate the two. Well, let's go. Oh, wait, what? No, man. Stop. Activate, activate. There we go. So the loader doesn't need to be repaired. It works. We just need power to it. So we have a power line on this one, so that one's fine. But yeah, all you need is power. So we're going to turn both of these on so we can make deliveries and send stuff back. And then we're going to send this guy back. All right. That way the teleporter could recharge. We're not even ready on the other side, so we're just doing this for now. All right, they're going to be back. There they are. Infinite pressure tank. We got to finish the pipes. Okay, we got to do this part. 
Uh, let's do that. And then we got to do the delivery here, one at a time. The one at home base. No, 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 no. It just doesn't have power. Just doesn't have power because the power line isn't connected. It's fine, it's fine. Just the lack of a little power. Ooh, nice. That is actually great. So this is good. How come no... Oh, do we not have cobalt? Wait, we do! How come they're not doing that? We do have a couple of cobalts working. All right, got to sign off for bed. Take care, y'all. Bye, Mamba. Have a good one, Miss Chemical Stairs. Tell Pigeon I said hello. And of course, we will see you next time. Have a good one. Rest well, rest easy. It's the middle of the week. So we got the days ahead of us. But have a good one, Miss Chemical Stairs. All right, one bottle at a time. Alright, and then I don't think I've mopped up water anywhere, so this is clean for water. Let's go, let's go. This is good now. We want to do one at a time though, that way we don't mess anything up. Okay, minor radiation sickness, not too bad. Hey, smoke alarm coming in with the tier 2, thank you so much. Coming in with the extra support at the tier twos. I see Wolva there helping us out with the partner plus. Appreciate it, appreciate it, man. I see you over there. Enjoy the Mamba emotes. I said I see you over there a couple too many times. Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. Enjoy the emotes, the 20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Can you just use Weezwort to remove germs from the slot? You can. You can. I don't have Wii Swords on this map, though. I'll have to bring it over from the other side. Which wouldn't be bad. I have one right here. I have one up there as well. I just I just had to uh, turn on the teleporters, and now they are on. So I think when we make the pipes, we could just bop that. Okay, so we also wanted to do our infinite... How do I want to do this? Uh, let's do the easy setup. I hate to call it the easy setup, but let's do the easy setup. So how would that look like? That kind of works, and we just do that. Alright. Temporary setup, TM. Temporary setup, TM. And then this should be insulated. And then we need to have the pump here. This comes out. All right. Hopefully this works. So we're going to be building an infinite pressure tank, the same one we built on the last run. This is going to be the uh, gas tile version. I'm going to want infinite uh, sweeping storage soon too. Calories seem okay. We have a temporary food storage. Fried mushrooms need to be put inside. And no one is sweeping the freaking food. How come no one sweeps this? How come this is low priority? This is so weird. Oh, it was just uh, glitched, I think. Yeah. It was just a little bit uh, off with some of the stuff. Alright, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Alright, we're gonna build this out, build that out. We have to wait for the teleporter to recharge five cycles. So we're just gonna get everything here on this side ready for the time being. 
Uh, the power wire is there. So the next thing we're going to want to do... Ooh, this is cold. That's going to freeze the water. I wanted to move these guys. Because they're going to start eating the algae in here. That's not good. <laughs> so I need to move these guys if I can. That's tough. Water, pea water, dirt. That's all good so far. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, I added a little bit too much water, dude. Oh my god. Every time, dude. Every time. So this is not good because this actually floods. Ah, uh, god damn it. I think we could fix that. Off to work. See y'all. Have a good one, Abductor. Wrestle, rest, or good luck at work, man. It's work, so. I don't know if you're going to be able to have fun there. I was going to say, I'm ready for the spawn. Alright, so. Alright, we got the mop at max priority and we got it started. Alright, so we just need to mop up the regular water. That's not allowed there. Enable auto bottle for the brine. Let's go. We got to watch over this now and not mess this up. All right, focus on the spawn. Focus on the spawn. We got it. Cooling loop. Yeah, we got it. At least it's a vacuum, so I really can't be too mad about that. And then we got to do the uh, gas pipes. All right, those are going to be our gas pipes. And then we want insulated. One, two, three. Ooh. No way. We got to bop the airflow again. That's fine. All right, that's fine. We're not adding water here yet. Should be good. Power. Oh, that's not connected on that side. Okay, building that. Mopping, let's go. All right, 300 grams, water 600. Okay, that's great. So now we put it back. The water could stay there. Not really too worried. Ooh, more bog jelly, let's go. Brine water is coming in. Cobalt ore. Let's try to build this one first. That's the one that's out of range. Oh wait, so this is done. Don't do that. I see you over there sneaking in. Grab the water. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, dude, that's not good. That's trace amounts of water. Oh, 18 kilograms. What the jank is this? Dude, yeah, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. The less than full bottles. That's so annoying. Okay, from this point, is there anything I specifically want? The salinator. And then the uh, space stuff, like the telescope. Yeah, we'll probably get the telescope soon. Okay, this is uh, getting close. We mopped a good amount of the water, trace amount of grams. Ah, man. Let's just empty that. Have it spill. That's better than them moving it inside. Moving that inside so bad. Pea water? Wait, wait, wait. Did I select the wrong thing? Why? Oh, no. He was doing the, uh, the bog buckets. Okay. Sleepy dupes. Sleepy dupes. Everyone is topped off on the calories. That's great. Empty that, that's fine. This is gonna be 109, 119. That's fine, we don't need this on anymore. Let's get rid of that. Let's do water right here. This one's done. Sedimentary, that's fine. 
Is no one gonna pick up this water and put it here? I guess not. 200, nice. And... That's off. This water needs to be moved outside. I don't want that getting hot. Looking good. Oh, I could probably make infinite solid storage right now. That could be kind of nice. Oh, I've never gotten coal yet. I mean, we could grab it now, though. Alright, we're gonna start. Start digging all this. If my dupes are bored, they could dig it. Work on that. How many days do we have on the teleporter? It's almost halfway done. It's almost two and a half days, three more days. 60, 40. All right, so this is more important, realistically. The inside's done. Gas pump, gas pump out of gold. Now we could work on this one. We should be able to build everything else out, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then realistically, let's put some doors here. We know we will need that eventually. Ah, uh, yeah, putting it on the outside makes a lot of sense. Bri oh, for here, nice. Get the clean water. Solid, solid. And then, yeah. Waiting for the water layer. There it is. That was not a full bottle. What was that? That was like 120? 130? 136. Dude, what the jank? I would want more water than that. I want to get close to 100. Oh, we don't have enough pee water. Ah, I see. Wow. Yeah, okay. Because that's what's happening. This is not in range anymore because I we uh, cracked it open. Oh, yeah. So we might have to, uh, like, open these up or something. Okay, we'll just do this for now. Move the pitcher pump. Let's get both of these P9. Okay. No research. We gotta add the water here. So this one, okay, we do the whole bottle empty. That was not a lot. I'm at 152 right now total. Okay, seems fine. Those pipes are getting made. No research. All right, so everything here seems okay. Telescope tech. Like, I, I'll probably get the rat bull. That makes more sense. Because while I could scan space, I don't know if that's beneficial. We don't even have a spawn yet. <laughs> oh, man. We need the pee water. Oh, if someone dies on this side, I don't get the food. Oh. All right, man. Let me do this. I think that's kind of important. They're going to go through a night, sleep, do the thing. Uh, I'll add a little bit more water. And then this way, if Paku dies on the left side, they could grab the food. Uh, this one is P water sweep only. And then the other ones got deconstructed. Oh, this one's on. Ooh. But well, that's just Brian. That's fine. And then I'm waiting for regular water right now. Trace amounts, trace amounts. We got it, we got it. Nice. So now this is on. That could be used for that. Uh, there's no more sweeping commands inside, right? Couple right here. That's not too bad. Ooh. Oh, the ice melted. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, at the full bottle. And we're done. Move that outside. And 100.2. That was close. That's the best I could have gotten. 
Bottle emptier is going to get removed. Yeah, so we don't need this anymore. Let's remove the wires. They should cannibal into the water. That's one thing I kind of want sometimes. I want the dupes to have, like, leap of faith. Like, you know what's one of the stupidest things in this game? Your dupe is stuck on a ledge. Like, they should just be able to just jump. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They need to be able to just jump and just, just jump down. Like, so many times that would save the dupe from, like, getting stranded on the ledge. Now, I don't want the dupes to just freely do that. I want a command button that allows the dupes to, like, boom, free jump, and then fall however down. Right? Because in that way, we get to control it. We get the trap dupe notification. Dude, we save ourselves. Just like that. That would be so nice. Like, dude, I'm being serious, man. That'd be kind of nice. It'd be nice, man, to have that. Dude, whatever's, man. Make them take injure damage. Like, it's better than having a dead dupe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Like, having that to save us would be great. It would be great, man. Who's this guy? Oh, he's a prince. Wow, this guy's nobility, huh? Oh, Mama's awake. I hear you, baby. Mom was probably mad. He's like, dude, this guy's still streaming. What's going on? Let's go, let's go. Okay, that's somewhat ready. I just want to sweep out the obsidian. Uh, let's cancel this and let's do a move to here. That's a lot faster. And then we will pull out a regular wire right here. I wish it would give more demand to actually care about medical research. I think they should add vitamins that are like literally plus attributes. Like we need a gain, not a reaction. And I think that's fundamentally the design flaw with medical skill. It's only if you like mess up that you would need it, right? It's fundamentally a, hey man, you messed up. Here's the ability to save your dupes. Realistically, if we want it to be a mechanic, it needs to be an active mechanic, not a reactive mechanic, like if that makes sense. So that is like, we need to be able to have the ability to benefit from it, even when no one is sick. Right? I feel like there needs to be some form of benefit in that, in that like design path. Gotcha, Belford Joe, have a good time. We'll see you later. But I think that's the problem. Because I don't think adding more diseases will actually fix anything. That's that's just what I think, though. But yeah. I think that's the problem with the uh, medical skill at the moment. It's flawed in that regard. Dude, my dudes are getting nothing done. Oh, it's probably because of this, huh? Uh, let's stop doing that. That's no longer being a thing. Let's not do the dump anymore. Because we don't really care for it. This is fine. We get water now. I mean, it's not a lot. So, I probably do want to go and mine this out. And then all the water spills out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I probably mine that out so all the water spills out cleanly as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, what the heck was that? Alright, more water spill. Classic. We're gonna start getting some algae. Let's go. Okay, so let me put a bin right here. We're gonna put that as the algae bin. It's not gonna get built, so I'll build it first. So the fish isn't gonna climb up, right? The algae's gonna be up here, though. 
Exposed slime doesn't do anything if you're worried about that. Exposed slime like this, you could walk on top of it, you could build on top of it, your dupes could be eating on top of it. There's no germ transfer. Germs only transfer when you dig it up and then you pick it up with your hands in this form. So exposed slime realistically doesn't hurt you. So it's actually perfectly safe. It's only when you dig it and it falls to the ground that it's dangerous. Otherwise, it doesn't actually interact with anything, even if there wasn't any water on top. So when you're dealing with slime lung, that's all you're worried about. Um, digging the germ accidentally. If you're proactive with that, you're actually not worried about anything with that. So for the most part, as long as you don't dig the slime, you're going to be fine. All right, algae, always at priority. Let's keep going. So I wanted more pea water in here. We have some up top. We have this we could crack down. This is cold pea water, can't be that mad. Spill it out this way. I'm down, dude, thug life. We just want more water, man. Our algae deliveries in. Let's go. Oh, the fish can't swim inside. Oh, I just realized that. The fish can't swim inside. All right. We're going to push this to priority eight so that this makes sense at priority nine. This is active and normal. Okay, it's almost ready. Pea water spill. Let's go. It is accumulating. Good, good, good. So it's looking nice. All right, so that pump works. Now we need to do the gas movement. Uh, since we're going to be sending algae to the other side, I don't know how much of that's going to matter to us. I should also track the resource. Right? I'm not sure how much of that's going to matter. Like, will we actually need algae? We never end up using it for anything, though. That's the big deal. <laughs> like, what's the point of saving algae if I never use it, right? So I'm thinking maybe we could... Oh, this is ready. Nice. I'm thinking we could... Please don't go inside, man. Don't do this to me. Just send all the algae through and not even have like a safety amount. Now the calories are going up. All right, let's not allow swap char, nutrient, and excellent fruit. That's all unperishables. That way we only eat the food that's rotting. I hear you, Mamba. I hear you yawning, babies. I think the Mambas is finally going to be up. He's tired of waiting for me. He's giving me the eye, dude. He's giving me the stink eye. He's mad. All right, all right. Infinite pressure. We're hoping that stays. Oh, this is not correct. God damn it. I forgot about something. I just realized how I messed that up. Uh, I need this. And then we need that. There we go. I forgot about that, man. And then this is coming out, so... I want to say temperature-wise, it's not going to matter now, but it might matter later. So we'll go like this. Ah, uh, all right, let's get rid of that. Let's remove the water here. We'll have to dump everything out right now. Pick the coal. Blisperse is, is all right. Don't really need it. This is just going to be idle vents. And we're going to use regular pipes for this. I shouldn't be using regular pipe, but hey, it's fine. That's going to go through. And then this is going to come in from here. So one, two, and then three. This third one might want to go to the right side, though. We might not even use it yet. 
maybe for the time being, we just have it exit early. Because it looks like it's going to be like this. There we go. His name is Mamba. Any siblings? Oh, do you want to hear the story of Mamba? So Mamba, I adopted him when he was two years old. But before he was two years old, nobody wanted him. So Mamba, if you didn't know, was part of a litter of cats. And the litter of cats, of course, were all Scottish Folds. He was the youngest of the litter. And um, the person that uh, basically showed me Mamba was a breeder. That's a family friend. So the breeder, right? Uh, she breeds, uh, it's mostly cats. I don't think she does dogs anymore. She used to. But anyway, she had a litter of Scottish Folds. And for the most part, you know, they're up for adoption. So initially they had all the cats up for adoption because i don't think she wanted to breed them anymore or not breed them but like she didn't want cats anymore so immediately the first cat that got adopted was mamba's dad mamba's dad was goddamn beautiful rumor has it like it wasn't even a choice like if you had to choose between an adult cat or a baby Scottish Fold. All right, if you had to choose between an adult Scottish Fold or a baby Scottish Fold, you'd probably go with the kitten, right? No, the dad was that good looking that he was the first one that got adopted. Dude, I want that cat. Immediately gets adopted. Hey, what the heck is going on? Shout out to the great plop. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for the raid. Playing some Skylines too. Holy heck. I haven't played Skylines in forever. But yo, man, thank you so much for the raid. Bringing your community over to share with ours. How was the streams? I see you over there. How was the Skylines? Hey, yo, sup? I'm new to PC City. Eh? Oh, nice. Did you used to play on console? Feels bad, man. Skylines has become a travesty, man. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. Can it talk KO? I think I'm saying that right. I might be saying it wrong. Thousand hours on PS5. Yo, man. Shout out to you. Like, seriously. Playing cities on a controller for a thousand hours. Shout out to you, my friend. Because I wouldn't be able to do that. Like, goddamn. A thousand hours? Cities? On console? No mods? You know what I'm saying? Don't get a mouse and keyboard either. And it's like, oh man. So shout out to you, my friend. That is impressive. I couldn't be able to do that. Blessings and patience. Yo, man, I want to say I'm pretty patient. I don't know if I'm that patient, though. I don't know if I'm that patient, though. But yo, man. Have you seen me stream? Because I'm not playing Skylines too. I don't know how you guys found us. And I haven't played Skylines in... Uh, dude. Three, four months? Man, it's been a while, man. I might be playing it again, though. Oh, you seen me play Cities before. Hey, shout out to you. Hey, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, man. Bring the communities over. So I gotta ask, how you liking the Cities? I'm not really happy with it right now, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, these could be connected. So oxygen goes up. Ah, uh, yes, we have the hydrogen at the bottom. And I think... Alright, so we don't have water yet. It's what we don't have. Ah... Uh... Dude, this is tough. How do I want to do this? It probably has to just cross right here. Because I think we're... I don't know where we're pulling water from. We should be pulling water from this side. Alright, let's pull it this way. 
That's a bad decision. God damn it. I'm really enjoying it. Mods are in it now, so it seems to be getting better. Awesome, awesome. Hey, man, it's good to hear. Good to hear, good to hear. I realistically... I, I need a complete game. Just because of how I play. Like, I do a lot of looking forward and playing. So, like, I would rush to the end game then to see how it is at the end game. And then when it doesn't work, yeah, I'm waiting for it to be fixed. Uh, if it's above... Well, no, I, I guess we could change that. So let's put that there. I had issues with gap pressure uh, maxing out when I started this. Yeah, 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 that's the thing. So we're making a build to circumvent that uh, problem, so to speak. All right, I think that means we'll pull it down from here. There's no real, like, easy way to do it. And then we'll have to just add water from a sieve, I think. At least temporarily. We have to get it started. I have, like, 12 hours in, the, uh, in this so far. Oh, nice. How are you liking the Onis? Dude, I think this is a great game, man. I'm a fan of this. I would recommend this highly. All right, so that's going to be where we grab polluted water to filter out the clean water. And then we will do that because I think I need that. Invert. Oh, I did invert the bridge. Good eye, good eye, Joey. Or Joe Cool. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Dupe didn't get stuck. That's big props. <laughs> It's insane how, how complex you can make it. That's actually where the fun is, man. Once you start understanding like the like baseline mechanics of what they want you to do and the thinking process that they kind of want you to have, the game becomes a nice, great sandbox game for like a lot of unique interaction you won't get anywhere else. Which is the main reason why I like Oni. There's a lot going for it. Wait, oh, this doesn't have overheat. Oh, come on. Cobalt doesn't work for that. That's jank. Okay, we're gonna make uh, 10 things of gold real fast. 12 hours. No, no, I've only been live four hours playing Oni. The other nine hours, I was playing uh, Crossword and some other meme games. Feels bad. But yeah, it's, it's technically in four hours. Oh yeah, the story about Mamba. So Mamba, his dad got adopted first, right? So Mamba's, Mamba was part of a litter and Mamba, uh, so, so his dad got adopted first and him and his uh, brothers and sisters were getting adopted. So Mamba's dad was an orange cat, all black, all black, all orange, but he was a Scottish fold with the ears. He's, he's pretty much, I don't know if he's a mix, but either way. So afterwards, each one of his uh, the kids got adopted. So the mom is all white, the dad is orange. They're all Scottish folds, and then uh, oh come on, man, you guys, how come no one's doing this? All oh, you slackers! No one's a tidier. I'm sorry, Miss Chemical Stairs. We need you to clean the toilets, man. Dude, no one's cleaning the toilets. So, so either way, um, Mamba's uh, sisters and brothers started slowly getting adopted one by one. And then the only two cats remaining were Mamba's mom and Mamba. And Mamba was the only cat that had a black coat. The other ones had a color resembling of either the mom or the dad or a mix. So they were either orange, white, or orange, white. Right? Orange or white or orange and white. And, you know, Mamba ended up, I guess they were saying it's superstitious since he had a black coat, you know, black cat. It's bad luck, whatever. So no one adopted him. And since no one adopted them, they were like, we can't have a kitten without the mom. So they didn't allow anyone to adopt the mom either. So they kept the mom and they kept Mamba. And uh, the owner slash breeder had him up. 
he's literally yeah he's literally black sheep right and you know there was always an opportunity for people to adopt the mamba and no one picked him up and then he was literally just there with the breeder for two years two years later um what happened was is that he was an outdoor cat with the mom right and since he was outdoor he was kind of just you know randomly everywhere he took shelter in the breeder's family friend right in her garage one day when she went to work she came home and mamba had took a fat dump dead center of their garage and as a result she got pissed and she was really mad mama just laid it down for her right so what ended up happening was she called uh her mom who knows my mom and then uh my mom told me that there's a cat for adoption if i wanted it i said sure i didn't have a cat at the moment and i've had cats before well no i had to have one i had one cat at the moment uh and i was like yeah i wouldn't mind the other cat was um uh, they really know how to insert ads, dude, man. I have to, I have to retell the story, so I'm just going to stop. <laughs> oh, man. Only been playing Oni a month-ish. 350 hours? That's impressive. That's an, Oh, mom was awake. All right, he's going to want some attention soon, so I have to give him some. But uh, not yet. I got to finish the story first. All right, let's get the power wire in. We're going to need this. And... That plugged in is fine. That's not really a big deal. And then... All right, there's gonna be a couple things we're gonna wanna do. So first is this, and that goes up. Rise, Ma, but he has awakened. He is uh, chilling, but he does want his attention. Okay, so... We will use some of the water that's already here as our main water source. And I think it's going to be this water tank. So I will have to climb up into here. And then realistically, I would probably want to do... Because I don't want to bop the bog bucket. So we would do this. All right? And then we could grab the fillets. It's probably not going to be there. And then I want to pump water from here. This is water pump to go into here. That's going to be mined. And then we're going to need power. Can I get a list for Duke named after me? I'll probably take the least popular dupe. Ah, you're about to redeem? I see you over there, man. Anything new in Oni the last three months or so? Oh, I missed that message, smoke alarm. So the last thing was probably their DLC announcement, if you've seen that. And then before that was the February patch. <laughs> Those are the two things that happened recently, the most recent things. I have a video covering both topics, though, if you're curious, on the YouTubes. So we go over the patch notes, we go over the uh, DLC update. So if you're curious about that, exclamation point YouTube. And then Smoke Alarm, this is the list of dupes. If you do want to do the redemption, remember it's a channel point redemption. But yeah, the update for that, I missed the message, I'm sorry man. I uh, sometimes lose track of chat and I apologize because I don't even like... It feels bad because I know I missed the message, but it's like... In the moment, I don't think I missed a single thing. Uh, yeah, so I have two videos for that. The February quality of life update that goes over the uh, critter change for the critter drop off and uh, pickup. And then there's the DLC talks that they have a post about and we go for that. All right, we're back. So people of chat, I hope you guys are back. So what happened was is that Mamba was the last kitty cat to get adopted. No, no, it was the last kitty cat that and he didn't get adopted. And then because he didn't get adopted, they didn't want to let the mom get adopted because they didn't want the cat to be by himself. And then what happened was is that one day Mamba was outside and took a dump 
right in the breeder's um, garage where they parked their car. So they got pissed, and then the breeder called up her mom to give the cat away. The uh, Her mom didn't want the cat, so her mom called my mom. And then my mom was like, do you want a cat? And I said, sure. And then I went over and got Mamba. And that was six years ago, or it's going to be six years. Right now, he's seven years old. Uh, I've had him for five years. And he's going to turn eight in May. That's next month. So yeah, that's the story of Mamba. And dude, the first day I went over to see Mamba, he was inside of a cage, right? Because he was getting ready to be picked up. He was meowing because, you know, he's in a cage. So my dumbass um, did the stupidest thing you could do with a cat. I stuck my finger through the grate of the cage. And you know what cats are going to do? They're going to swipe it with their claws and you're going to start bleeding. <laughs> Mamba didn't scratch me. He didn't. And I was very impressed. And then it was like, that was it. We took him home. Um... We brought him to the living room, new house. He was scared. So I I, uh, I picked him up. He let me pick him up. And I brought him to my room. And then once he was in my room, he was under my bed. And after he kind of calmed down a bit, he came outside. He saw me. And I guess he was cool. And then over time, I want him over. After the first month, he stopped being under the bed. Anytime he heard something, whatever. And since the food is in my room, the litter box is in the room behind me. Uh, Mamba has claimed my room as his safe spot. So anything bad ever happens, he runs to my room. And he's basically always in my room. He sleeps here, he eats here, he poops here. Right? He's hanging out with me here all the time. And that's the Mamba man. But yeah, that is how the uh, story of Mamba came to be. How Mamba is who he is. Alright, we're barely over the wattage. This is probably not going to be on. Same thing with that. So I could probably cut this line. Uh, I might want to separate this side then. Which is fair. Try to do a separate line for this because that's going to draw a lot of power and I want my oxygen pumping. Uh, I probably got my gold. Let's put that there. And the automation should be fine. Teleporter is ready. Okay. Uh, we're going to send someone over. I want someone with uh, construction skill. That is. 2, 4, and then it's. Three, three. Okay, so Ruby and Ultimate Pot. Operating Supply, not a Builder. And then it's... Ultimate Pot. You're a Rancher. Why is your build skill so high? What the heck is that? I recently adopted a kitten from a shelter. Full Ash Gray Coat. Where he got his name. I Vibe Warrior Story. <laughs> Yeah, man, it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that, man. But adopted a kitten from a shelter. Honestly, I don't think I would ever want to probably adopt cats anymore. And it's not that I wouldn't want to. I think I would rather rescue cats. Like, go to the pound, you know, find a stray. You know, that they, you know, pick up off the street kind of a thing. I don't know, man. I feel like raising kittens is nice, but you need to have a lot of time for it. Otherwise, it's it's not going to work in your favor. I feel like. Like, you, you have to have the time for the little babies. You really do. Otherwise, I don't think it's, like, worth it. Realistically. Okay, so who was it that I needed digging skills? Or building skills? Joshua. Okay, I think we can do Joshua. Welcome back, Delta Joe. I see you over there. Rescuing from a shelter... Uh, adopting from a shelter and rescuing from a pound is saying the same thing to me. Uh, it's slightly different. Adopting doesn't necessarily mean like a stray cat. 
technically. Whereas rescuing technically means stray. Meaning that it's off the street. I don't know if that makes sense. I thought about that, but my situation didn't allow me to have an adult cat. I have lots of time. Okay, okay. Not being able to have an adult cat. That's weird, because it's like... I would find kittens a little bit more damaging and or more of a handful than an adult cat, to be honest. No, I guess it's like... It's kind of like a category. I don't know if that's legal to just take a cat off the street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like they might actually be chipped, man, and it's someone's cat. Bro has MC and it's as inside cat and as an outdoor, he got old cat litter and I have no clue what type of cat it was though. Oh, the thing about that is that they're, dude, those cats should be outdoor, man. They're huge, long hair cats, so they stay warm in the cold and they're like big cats, man. I could see how they stay indoors though. Yeah, but it's chipped. The first time you take it to the vet, you'll find out. True. How do y'all came in late? What is the food run? Nice. So the food run is we are going to be getting every cooked food that's cooked. So no raw food. And we're going to try to get all of it. And once we get all the cooked food, we're going to put it on the pedestal and have them all checked off. Very average size. Dude, they could get big though. They can, they can get pretty big. Not going to lie. Welcome in though, Shifty Fish. How are you? Right now, though, we're just trying to get our spawn up, and then I think we're sending Joshua over. Let's go, Joshua. Oh, wait. Uh, so we need to do that, and then we, we got to do that. And then it needs to be connected. And then this has to be allow manual use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, thank you. Nice, nice. I've never seen one. I'm not going to lie, but they look very majestic. I have never seen one in person. It's only on the Google, you know, the Google images, stuff like that. But yeah, they look rather majestic, man. Nice big cats. Warp ready. That's you. And then algae. Let's go. All right. We want to send that over as soon as we can so that we could get a uh, breathability for this guy. Okay, so the deliveries are going to be here. That means we'll have our oxygen diffuser here. Right? That makes a lot of sense. And we'll cut that. And then construction nine. He's going to be building. Nice. Oh! I can't mine granite with this guy. Oh no, Joshua. All right, you're going to get some algae. That's going to be your O2. And then we're going to need you to build out the longest pipe segment known to man. So it's going to be that replacing pipe. And this is output. Input. So that's the send back. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Mom, I see you, baby. What are you doing? So we want to pull this through here. And I think we bring it up top. I think that's what ends up happening because I can't mine through the material. So we'll likely have to go like here to here. Right? So here. And then I could jump down to here and then I jump down and then we're going to have to mine these two. And then that's going to be where the pump is going to be. And then we're going to have to bring the power wire and the pipe inside. That's going to be a lot of work for this guy. He has a lot of food here, so he'll be okay. A lot of the food also stays frozen. Can't really be that bad. All right, so he's going to be chilling. Back on this side, we're sending algae, making sure we get the spawn running. Uh, it's pumping. Let's not have that connect. We could fill up the res. 
And then I want to start getting cold water to potentially loop on that. I also need to get the battery built. And I might just RNG this. Because I don't have hydrogen anywhere. I could feed a slug to get hydrogen, though. <laughs> it's probably not worth it. I lost my cat to a wild coyote. Since we have a doggy door, the adult cat would wander out to the danger anytime. Kitten uh, could be trained otherwise. Oh, dude. I had something similar happen, man. Oh, my God. I had my cat attacked by a rabid... Uh, I think it was a raccoon. So, I've seen this giant trash panda roam around between the neighbor's backyards, my backyard, right? And it's huge. It's freaking huge. It looks like it's 15 pounds. 15, 20 pounds. It's huge. I like, you don't see it get that big. So, my neighbors are always like having outdoor activities. Like, they're always barbecuing every weekend. So, they have a lot of like just food outside constantly. And they have dogs, so they just like give the dog the scrap sometimes. So, you know, they'll come in and grab food. And, you know, he's, he's gotten really big. So, he's been around, and I've seen him. And then I've around that same time, I had kittens. Well, I didn't, like, you know, breed them or anything like that. Uh, same thing happened. My, uh, the breeder friend, she had a litter. These were just normal cats, though. Just American tabbies. And yeah, that's exactly what happened. We found that he got attacked by an animal. And it was like he couldn't do anything about it. So it was just one day. He just stopped coming back. Like He would go outside, right? And he would usually come back inside to sleep. And it's like we just couldn't find him. And I was just like, yo, man, we just started looking. We couldn't find him. We couldn't find him. And he ended up being like in the most randomest spot, man. And there was this big gash just on his lower body. And it looked like he bled out, man. It was so sad. Your orange cat knocked out a screen. And then he turned back up, scared to death. My kids, cats, they were freaking out. Oh, wow, yeah. The cats will do that. They like climbing on those screens. Until they realize that it's like not good for them to climb. I used to have a deaf cat that loved to get really violent towards rabbits when we bring them inside. Oh, wow. Dude, I don't know, man. Deaf cats are weird. Because they, they, they like, they react to movement. A lot more, they're a lot more sensitive to that. Feels bad, man. Yeah, feels bad, man. Alright, so back here, so this guy's moving, he has his jobs. Back over to here, let's speed this up. Alright, we're cleaning the water. The power's fine. We're setting the algae. There's nothing over here yet, but that's okay. So everything's activated. Okay, so right now. We have trace amount of oxygen. I guess we'll do it. Uh, let's see. We're going to bring this here. Hopefully that's not going to change. And then we're going to try to plumb some gas. So effectively, we're just going to try to get some oxygen to get a nice, clean separation. I am missing a tile here, actually. And then on this side, I need to do a better hold loop setup. Uh, I do think I need this. Because technically, this is going to be where it comes out, and this is where it goes back in. And that would actually, for now, go into here. That has to go that way. And then... I do this. Yeah. And then it makes sense. It does. Okay, okay. And then what we need to do on this side is pull out the line. 
Ooh, that's tough, because I have to mine this out then. Damn it. And then we do this. So we pull it out into here, and then I want to pump into that line once we have a uh, resource. Because that should be how that works, and then we pump into that as a feed-in. And then it's, uh, this is in the way. Freaking slime! Oh, it could also be cold enough that the germs die. Ooh, they do die because it's cold. Ah, uh, what's a low temp? What's a low temp of this? No, slime lung. 10 degrees. Oh, I could just freeze this. I could easily freeze this. We have the brine right here. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. That is gonna be nice. We're gonna be able to move the brine, and then we're gonna be able to uh, just freeze the germs so we don't have to deal with it. Let's go. It's already really cold, so that should work out. Let's try to get the temp shift plate first. They'll work on the rest of this. Uh, we won't do research. I want to get the spawn work in, so everyone's going to be working on that. Calories seem to be fine. We're no longer running, no longer spinning. No research tag. Can't be mad. We're harvesting. Trying to get O2 for the priming step. And then we're going to want to do all of this. Yo, Mamba's finally meowing. Hey, babies. Mamba. <laughs> oh man, mom was just looking at me like, hey man, when are you going to be done? Mom really wants some attention. I hear you, babies. Yeah, why not? Let's give Mama some attention right now, y'all. Hey, Julie. Thank you, thank you. Jay Ritchie coming in with the raid. Holy heck. This might be a great time for this then. All right. I don't think this is going to take... This might take a while. Mama, here. Give me a sec, baby. Welcome in, Jay Rich. Some Anno. I see you over there. All right. We're going to give Mama some attention. So, guys, give me one second. Jay Richie, welcome in. Thanks so much for the raid. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I know, I know. Can I get you on here, babies? Okay, guys, give me one sec. I know, babies. All right. Does this capture everything? Let's see. All right, here we go. I wonder if I could change this.
Alright guys, Mama got his head rubs. We had to put away the cam. Oh, he knocked it over, Mama, please. Guys, give me one second. One second, one second. Mamba deserves his attention. There we go. All right, sorry about that, y'all. Mamba really wanted his his, uh, his belly rubs. Yeah, Mamba went away. Mamba is gonna be eating right now. But yo, man, thank you so much for the raid, Jay Richie. How was that? How was the streams? I see you over there. It's quite the setup. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, thank you. Mamba rum. Mamba get the best rubs. Cookie, welcome in. How are you? Melon, thank you for the happy partner anniversary. Welcome in. Mamba said no pictures. Yeah, you can knock it over the cam. Food's fine. Everyone seems okay. They're, oh, he's not able to eat. Because the only thing he has is, yeah, unperishable food. I will allow him to eat the meat. And then we'll allow him nutrient bars. Do you imagine? Oni's a great time. Oni is a great time. Oh, Manor Lord. That's you over there. On that Ono grind. Dude, I haven't picked up Ono. Are they still on the Ubisoft platform? I told you the story, right? We, I got the game on sale. It was on sale. And then it's only available on the Ubisoft platform. No, no, no. It was on Steam. Oh. Guys, Mama wants to go outside. I mean, he's gotten his rubs. Now he wants to explore. He wants to see if everything's good. Be right back. All right, all right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I saw the comments about that, where it was on Steam, then moved, then came back. It was so messed up. No, it was, um, you could always get it on Steam, but when you install it, it installs the Ubisoft program, and you have to, like, turn it on before you could even launch the game. It's the same way with The Sims. Like, you gotta turn on the EA launcher. Right? So it's like, that's fundamentally what the problem is. I'm loading all the exclamation marks at the bottom. At the oh, <laughs> yo man, we'll click it for you, just for you, man. I thought there was something where it was off Steam once or something. I'm not sure about that, but when I got it, it was on Steam. It just makes you download the other program. And then what happened was, was that I forgot my login to the Ubisoft because you have to log in still. So you sign into Steam, launch that, and you have to sign into Ubisoft after. And then because I forgot, I couldn't log in. And then I was like, all right, man, GG. There needs to be a button for that. Clear all, dude. I've played this game way too many times to actually care about this. Alright, and radiation. Do you play with the uh, no notification mod? <laughs> So that you don't have long commutes pop up. The classic. Yo oh man, that happens to everybody. Let's research plastic toilets. It's gonna be the classic. We're gonna need the uh, space toilets. Working on this, working on that. Alright, we're just trying to try to get this spawn running. Oh, nice. This is in. Uh, extract pipe. And that's all we need to do. Just the one. 
All right, that's not needed anymore. Oh, no one has a skill. <sighs> Miss Chemical Stairs. Thank you, thank you. Dang. I see you over there. You delete emails daily. That's how you know it's real, dude. Like, no one calls me or anything like that, so I just never really have, like, a reason to pick up or talk to people on the phone. It's like, no one calls me anyway, so it's like, sure, it is what it is. So I understand the phone thing, like, it is whatever. And then it's like, deleting emails, though, that's different. Like, holy shit, dude, that's, that's work, man. Going in, deleting emails every day, holy crap. That's, that's a lot of work, man, I'm gonna be real. But yo, Jay Richie, man, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate that. Have you thought about getting a cat yet, man? Old pee, pee pants. No one saw that, man. See, no one is on the planet with Joshua, so according to him, he never peed his pants. It happens, man. It happens. <laughs> according to Joshua, that never happens. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, I never... What... Well, I mean, we have this here. We just don't have power, and I guess it's fine. Who are you gonna believe? I believe Josh. Because he was the only one there. <laughs> He's the only one there, man. I can't be mad at that. He's, yeah, I didn't feel pants. Make the stories up. I was there, dude. I'm like, yeah, he's right. He was there. <laughs> he was, man. He wasn't lying about that. All right, so this is good. We got the oxygen. Move that to here. This is about ready. We just don't have power yet. Uh, that's actually the last thing to do, huh? Let's move that in. We need the missing pump. I need to do this part. Yo, too legit. Can you give me a rough 200 cycle plan with this new expansion? Like, what are your initial goals? We're gonna do to new planets. Oh, I mean this playthrough. See Benberg, this playthrough, this playthrough. We are going to get all the food. And in the 200 cycles, I am planning to get a spawn, stabilize, and then go to space to look for the regolith planet. And then after that, we should be making some of the food already because we're going to be doing stuff like ranching for barbecue. And our playthrough is a food run. So we're going to be doing every food item on the list. So we're going to get every food item here and put it on a pedestal. So that's going to be the goal. So our goal is to be actually making this curried beans. This is the hardest thing to make. <laughs> so we need to try to find the regolith planet. I didn't start with an ice biome, so I need to find an ice planet as well. So we get the sleet wheat and then I need to find sulfur. So our goal is going to be to stabilize the oxygen. The food's not really going to matter too much because we're realistically just going to be getting by. So we're going to bring the water from this planet. That's going to be for this geyser. We actually have like five metal volcanoes here. Cobalt, gold. We have another cobalt geyser right here. Chlorine, natty gas, copper volcano. All right, so metals is fine. So for the most part, we're really just going to be like we have all the metal we could waste it and we might not have iron, but we'd be able to make everything else. And then we're just going to get by and try to get the food we need. So since this is going to be a speed run, I'm not sure about how we're going to approach it. I think we're going to have to go as like a rolling with the punches strategy, like if that makes sense. Like, yeah, we don't really have a strat because we don't know what to really expect with this. Because we're not going to be doing any of these goals. So our normal playthrough ideas don't really make sense, right? Because we don't need to do a lot of those things. Just skip a lot of that and go straight for the goal. But yeah, right now, not really sure, but that's going to be the play. Have a great stream too, legit. It got way too late. I got to hop off to my mind for me for sure. Take care of business, man. And, uh, yo, man, we'll see you next time. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for stopping by. I got two more hours to go. Yo, man, I haven't eaten all day today, too. I gotta get some food in me soon. How rare is a Liam? 
honestly, they're all equal chance. So there's what, 28 dupes or is it 32? I forget which one is correct. So it's one out of 28 or one out of 32. It's equal chance. So, you know, it's just, there's a lot of dupes. So the RNG is working against us. Thirty? Is it 39? I might have gotten uh, the list wrong then. 40 with George. Damn, that's a lot of base dupes, man. And it, dude, you know what's insane? That's not even the full list. There's unused assets. There's other dupes, especially hairstyles. They're not even in the game. Like, I'm no, it's in the game, but it's not being used by any like actual characters. So there's actually a lot more too. <laughs> Oh, is it dead? Guys, 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 it worked. Guys, it worked. It worked, boys. The germs are dead because we froze the germs. The strat worked. Let's go. Joshua, man, you pee your pants twice. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? No one saw that, though, right? The pee water mixes with the pee water. No one be able to tell. Uh, mixed water. I'm not really too worried about that. I am worried here, though. I just realized we have a problem. Because we're pumping this water. Aw, snap. <laughs> Aw, snap. We're pumping that water. This is a problem. Aw, man. Nice. All right, the off gas bopped it. That's not too bad. I think it's because I played a playthrough where I started with one achieve dupe, but had to rescue George. Ah, one of each dupe and rescue George. I see. That makes sense. If you did a playthrough like that, man, that's probably something that stuck with you. That makes a lot of sense. All right, so the water's gone. It's not really too bad. I want to mop as much of this as we can. Now, realistically, we can't send second dupe, right? Taco Void. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. I see you over there, Taco Void. How are you? Hello, hello. Germs are dead, so there's no slime line to worry about here. Okay, guess we'll try to mop that up, mop that up. All right, so for the spawn, the only thing is that I don't have cooling. That's the really only downside about that. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Oh, hey, Galvino, coming in with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, man. I see you over there. Shoutouts to you. Thank you so much for the raid, Galvino, playing some Oni as well. Talk to us about the Onis. How was the streams? What'd you guys get done in the uh, oxygens? Welcome in, welcome in. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you, Luca. Appreciate that. Hello. How are you doing, Gavin? How was the Onis? Hopefully uh, you guys did well in the colonies. Talk to us about what you guys did, though. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. I'm dead in the head. Woke up. Need to take care of my baby. Need to uh, give me a minute. No worries, Taco Void. Take care of business, man. Take your time. Take your time. No rush. I'll be uh, here for the next couple hours still, so don't worry. So the pee water is fine. Uh, I need to make a loop here, actually, before we can actually do this. So, I think we need to do, that makes sense, if that's the problem, but I guess we could do it underneath as well. Uh, oh, we do it like this. No, it is like that, okay. So technically speaking, it's better here. 
and then it's out in yeah 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is gonna leak out the energy. I forgot about that. Okay, so we need to do that. And then let's mine. That's tough. It shouldn't be a problem here then. Yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I want to say we'll be fine, but I'm not actually sure. All right, that could work. I'm in a new world. Today, I'm going to make my freezer and try to make the plastic. Nice. That's a big step, man. Making plastic. Getting a freezer is tough too, man. You might want to wait till you get plastic before you get the freezer. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. I'm just putting that out there. You might want to, though. You might want to. We're going to put a thermal sensor right here. And then we're going to set up the automation. This is going to need some power. Oof. Oh, this is going to need consistent power. That's not good. So we do have coal now. But yo, man. Awesome, awesome. Galvin, I see you over there, man. Get that freezer for the food. Plastic. And then I think that means you might have steel or might be doing steel next. But yo, man, once you get the food situated, you know, that means you might want to check out rocketry, right? Of course, you know, no pressure, no pressure. But, you know, yo, man, you're making progress. That's good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. It's always good to hear when the people are making progress. Oh, wow. This is jank. Because I need to do this. I use the uh, pip to plant the food. Oh, yeah. See, it takes long, though. Like, it works. They have them plant the food, but it takes a lot longer. 12 versus 3. Four times longer. Like, it's free, but you got to make a huge garden, man. Huge. It's gonna be a lot. And it's like, you need to do that too. I might just burn off hydrogen. That actually might be the play. Okay. That could work. I guess I can't be that mad. I just don't have wire. I guess we just use a regular wire. So jank. So I would power this because this needs power. And we just pull the H2 from here. And I guess we could use that same H2 for something else. Alright. Keep going with that. Let's mine this part. We need to mine below. Right now though, we're doing a new run just started. Getting a spawn up. And we're doing a food run. So that food run is effectively, we're going into here. We're going to get every food item and we're going to cook it. And then our goal is to have every food. So that's going to be tough because then we're going to have to get the hardest food in the game. That's going to be curried beans. And then we have to get everything else. That's going to mean we have to get a lot of variety. So we're going to have to do a lot of space stuff, other planets, pick up the critters or the resource, bring it back. And then try to make everything. It's going to be fun times. I need to learn how to tame. Uh, to have more water. I have two on my map. Oh, you're talking about the geyser? Talking about this? The geyser? It depends, but a lot of them, it's, it's really not that bad. Taming a geyser. No, how to tame Fuma Roll. I don't know what that is. What's your rule of thumb for taking on new dupes? Uh, I have certain traits I avoid. That's really it. I have certain traits I avoid, and then it depends on my um, composition. Like if I'm lacking builders, right? So then we have everything supplied, but no one's building. I'll try to look for a builder. 
It depends on my previous composition of dupes. But there are things I try to avoid, like uh, flatulence. I try to avoid slow learner. Oh, I don't have one of those. Oh, I don't have them on my map. Yeah, I have cold maps. I don't have the cold steam. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a uh, cold steam vent. Cold steam vent. Steam turns into water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about this one. This one. Cool steam vent. You get steam, and then uh, you have to cool it down. Yeah. That one, it's like, it's kind of a pain, but yeah. Learning how to tame that is kind of an experience. Once you tame it, though, you realize how much of a hassle it is and how it's like, oh, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, I feel you with that, though. Hey, Wonder Twig coming in with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, Wonder Twig. I see you over there. Dude, man, all the raids right now, man. Holy heck, Brigade. Hello, hello. Shoutouts to Wonder Twig. Welcome in, welcome in. Playing some Oni as well. Talk to us about the streams. What'd you guys get done today? We're also doing some Onis right now. Just doing a uh, food run. Try to get one of each food. But of course, welcome in. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'd be happy to help. But of course, Leofar, I see you over there. We use the term in English too, but it's only the Jogju world and not regular people. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you with that. Okay. I didn't know that was a normal word. I see you. Appreciate that, Belfort Joe. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you, Loki. Appreciate that. Melted some pips. What? What? You guys melted pips? Oh, that's rude. Pips are friends, man. We're just chilling, man. Planting excellent fruits when no one else could plant them. Heck, man. You melted pips? I don't know, man. Not a fan. Mr. GK, welcome in. Thank you. Thank you for the happy wishes. And uh, yo, welcome in with the raid. How was the streams, Wonder Twig? Talk to us, talk to us about the Onis. What'd you guys get done, man? Turned pips into molten glass. Oof. Oof. Oh, she had to raid and run. Oh, feels bad. I see, I see, for sure. Hey, legit, it's after midnight, so I gotta get ready for bed. Happy anniversary once again. Appreciate that, anime. Have a good one. We will see you next time. No, I'm memeing, Dark Arak. I'm memeing. That's not possible. <laughs> I was memeing. They can't plant Hexclean fruit. That was memeing. Big memes. That was not real. <laughs> oh, man. That was just because there was four Hexclean's next to the pip inside of that little uh, pocket. She walks her pup after stream. Gotcha, gotcha. I've never actually met Wonder Twig before. I'm actually never really up this late. That's unfortunate. This was like the one chance. But it happens. Whenever next time rolls around, whenever next time rolls around. Hey, D Mayor, I see you over there. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Wow, cycle 5000 of first colony. That's better than me. Holy shit. That's better than me. My first colony got to cycle 10, and I gave up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? My first colony was cycle 10, man. And then I reset it. <laughs> oh, man. First time run? That's impressive, man. Now, the thing is, is that... I'm gonna be real. I'm a perfectionist, so that's the reasoning why I never really got that far in my first couple playthroughs. So it's one of those things where it's like, I didn't lose, I just decided to start over. <laughs> oh man, what a way to put it. But yeah man, first colony, getting to cycle 5000, that's impressive in and of itself. Not gonna lie. No mods, base game. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, all you do is restart. Yeah, me too, man. That's what I do. I first got to about 150, then I abandoned it as it was hopeless. Yeah, like you learn so much. You know what I'm saying? So it's tough. 
That's impressive, man. I think I got to like 50 on my first run. Everyone was peeing everywhere and the base was too unorganized. So I started over from there. Yeah, same thing. I peed the tank and I got mad because I didn't understand how germs worked in the beginning. <laughs> and, you know, just like that. Okay, most of this is done, but it's not complete yet. So we still got some stuff for this guy to do. Uh, back over here. So what are we waiting on? Oh, we're, we're making a loop. That's what we're doing. Uh, okay. So that means I need to do this. We'll bop this, that, this. And then this has to go... Is it here? Yeah. And then it's here. And there we go. I could see the heat death of the colony approaching. Oof. And then we were all hooked for some weird reason. My game always dies of lag. Cycle 212, playing at 7 FPS, 1x game speed. Oof. I have heard there is a weird issue with that. Like some, it might be you, Loki. I'm not sure if it was you. Someone else came by my stream recently and told me the same exact thing. They're running into a weird lag issue. That they're lagging really bad, just at normal gameplay, early cycle count, not a lot of critters. And I, I've never heard of that or seen in that issue, so I can't help them. One of them is backwards. Nope, this is all correct. This is all correct. Yeah, so only thing we're missing is the cold water from the other side. Oh, I'm out of igneous rock. I see. Okay. So... We need to get the igneous. I have 60 hatches, one in one room and 20 in another room. Decent amount of lag. That's realistically not a lot, though. If I have to be honest, like I've gone up to over a hundred, like pretty casually, and it didn't really lag until I got up to like a few hundred. So it's really weird that you're at low FPS. It's like you would have to have like a potato, literal potato. First one ended pretty quick about the amount of time it takes for an owl to fill up. Yep. <laughs> Classic. Toilets. Oh, you had to, to empty the toilets. Boof. GG. You got to reset. On Horizon. Ah, uh, this game is not heavy on the GPU at all, though. This game has more stress on your CPU. So, like, your GPU is not really going to be, like, like, there's going to be no load on it. Huge map, both starter and teleport asteroid. Are you playing on a modded map? Wait, are you playing on a modded map? You have a huge map on both your... Oh, you're on a modded map. Right, that makes sense then. If you're on a modded map, yeah, you're going to probably break the... Uh... Okay, yeah, that makes sense then, why you're lagging. That's not even a game issue. You're just playing with a lot of mods. <laughs> Total Hot Garbage, appreciate that. Welcome in. I see you over there. Hello, hello. Are you playing with some sort of external control, like a uh, controller or something? No. I'm just playing normally keyboard and mouse. No, but yeah, I know why they're lagging. They're just playing on a map that's too large for them to actually play on. So it's not so much that their game is lagging because it's, you know, they they uh, have a bad PC or anything. It's just the mods. The mods is causing the game to go pretty haywire. Because when you described it as you have a huge starter map and a huge teleporter map, that's not possible. The game accounts for that so that it doesn't have as much lag. The, yeah, that's going to do it, man. A mod that changes your map dimensions, that will 100% do it.
metal refinery, why not? Okay, so then we can't turn this on because I don't have cold water yet. Cold water, that's lukewarm. Alright, so we want to dig this. We could send another dupe. Like, they need the help, man. Alright, we'll send someone else. Uh, let's see. Rancher. Can't do that. Ruby is an ant mechatronics, but no building. Okay, we do this. Let's send Ruby. Let's go, Ruby. Balloons. These are overjoyed reactions. So when one of the dupes is happy, they are a balloon artist. Oh, so who's the balloon artist here? When you have a balloon, you get a buff. Because do you have a balloon buddy? So one of my dupes is a balloon artist, and when a balloon artist walks by someone with no balloon, and they're giving out balloons, they'll give out balloons to you. And when you have a balloon, if you go to bio and go to the stats, you get a plus eight balloon buddy buff on various uh, attributes. To give you an idea, 20 is max for natural skill gain, so that's actually a lot. Now the problem is, is that this is not something you control, this is purely random. Like, there's no way to guarantee it. It happens on the low dice roll. Like, all the chances are below 10%. The rolls are happening once a day, every day when they wake up from bed. It's dependent on the morale over the required amount. So there's a lot of things you can do to influence it, but it's like, the base roll amount isn't that high. So you can't, like, guarantee one every day, kind of a thing. And then there's other overjoyed reactions as well. All right, we're sending a second guy there because they need the help. All right, so he's trying to build this. I need to dig out igneous rock so that we could do the pipes here. That's really what we need to do. Like, the lag is bad, but it's not terrible, especially since I pause a lot anyways and let the game run and monitor things. I see you, I see you. Still, though, man, when you when you hear the lag, it's kind of like, yo, man, this game is most of a lag like that. So I didn't know we were out of Igneous, so now this is going to be fine. So maybe if you segregated someone and made them only available to do certain things, they would have a higher chance of doing said action. The problem is, is that you realistically can't do that. While you can with doors, because you could just lock them in a room and they have to do all the jobs in the room until all the jobs are done. Like that, you could do that, right? Because that's basically locking them in until they finish the job. Now, while you can do that, I don't think anyone wants to play like that, where you micromanage your dupes kind of heavily like that, right? Because that means you're paying attention to the time, following them, making sure you click certain actions so that they could do the job, right, accordingly, you know, so to speak. And then that's kind of like, dude, that's so hard to actually manage. But it does give you a gain, it's a benefit. There is a gain, there is a benefit. Wow, getting Ruby here helped out so much. Yeah, you do. You have to play a certain way so they don't uh, get themselves stuck. They don't have the RimWorld priority system. You could walk them off in a group of two of roommates that work well together. So the main problem with that is you guys would have to have... So so you, it's too early in the game to do that. Because you have one cook and you have one guy cleaning the toilets. So unless you make it so that your cook and the guy cleaning the toilets have free reign or something. Like, like you could do that. It's just... It's not worth it. It's just not worth it, ever. Oh, we're out of Igneous again. It's, it's, no, it's not that it's inefficient. You don't have the means to do it in the early game. 
right? That That's really what it is. You need everyone together because you don't have resources to distribute. You're barely surviving in the beginning. So it's not like you could separate them and actually have them benefit from that. Because it's like if you separate them, you have to relocate the oxygen and food as well. And you can't afford that in the beginning. It's way too costly. Oh, we're almost ready, boys. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, I could do the dig here. You should try to do a run min max. No, no, no. You can't min max that. You can't min max that. Not at the beginning. I don't know if you even hear me because there's ads playing right now. But that's, yeah, if you hear me, you should understand. I don't think you do. But you can't do that in the beginning. You really can't. Because you would have a loss by making that setup. And you don't pick that back up anywhere over the time course of that game. I don't know if that makes sense. Even though it's cycle 212, guess what I have built and running? A Hydra. Because that's realistically the normal time period it would take for you to build a Hydra. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You don't get you don't get the ability to choose that. You're you're at the mercy of the RNG. There's no world. No. No world where that's actually something you could do. Each crew is like minimum four to eight dupes per crew, realistically. So it was like you, you would effectively have to have just a huge colony from the get-go. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing a normal playthrough, no, that's not going to be a thing. If you spawn dupes from the get-go, while you can try to micromanage that, I don't think it's worth it. There's no situation where it benefits you, and it's not something anyone should try. I mean, you could do it if you want, but I'm not going to do it. And there's no one that's going to make me do it either. I have a salt reactor powering a steam room that has cooling loop inside and the salt reactor is powered by molten aluminum I'm using as coolant for refined metals. Wow. Dude, that's at cycle 212? That's at cycle 212? Dude, you have steam? God damn, that's actually kind of impressive. I've done it 40 cycles ago. Nice. That's impressive. The most impressive thing I've done in 200 cycles, I've gotten to the tear and trigger the cutscene for the Great Escape on DLC, Space Style DLC. And I did it in 199. So we got all three we're great escape right we do all this establish several colonies so land build a mini pod uh open the tear with the reactor and then drive a rocket through that and then find it as well and i'm gonna try to beat that man i could do it less than 199 i know i can we just need to figure it out and then maybe find a seed treat it like minecraft or something find the same seed and just spam it over and over you, Ron? Yep. What's going on, Sketchy Player? Welcome in. How are you? Hello, hello. Alright, we need this. We need to pump up the stuff. Oh, I don't have this here. Wait, is that ice? Oh, that's snow. Yeah, that's bad. Let's move that to here. 
and let's move that to here. That's gonna become water, and it's gonna mess around with this, so let's not do that. Let's move the snow ASAP. Uh, we're doing a food run, we're gonna get one of each food, and that's our win condition. So one of each cooked food, um, once we get that, we win. Nice, nice. Oh, I don't have the power right here. Oh. Yep, yep, let's go. Don't let it melt, boys. Nice. And it should not be able to get back in. Nothing here should freeze. Last segment piece. All right. Let's send him back. Let's send back Ruby. That doesn't seem like much of a challenge. Yo, my bad, sketchy player. It's a speed run, not really a challenge. You're just trying to do it fast. I had to shut down my salt reactor around 186 because I was using brine as my coolant. I drained that and switched ethanol, but this the, everything started overheating. I ran out of power, so I spent like 10 seconds trying to get everything stable. Oh, so it's not balanced. That's all I was wondering. Like, damn, you got that working? And it's like end game. So it, you just got something running, but then it's not actually going to be sustainable. I was saying, I was like, damn, that's kind of impressive. <laughs> like, goddamn, they're doing some uh, crazy stuff over there. As someone who's only watched gameplay of this, I can confirm you definitely know better. I'm just trying to find something that's in games that have it available. All about trying to find something like that in games that have it all that have it available. So you could min-max this game, just not in that direction. You effectively went down the it's like playing Skyrim, but you're min-maxing how fast you could go through the Thieves Guild. You know? And it's like, well, I mean, you don't beat the game like that. You don't even, that's not even a necessary quest line, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, I mean, you could do it. There's just no real benefit to it. So that's kind of like the direction, right? So it's like, if you speed run getting the game min-max, that's, yeah, that's available in this game. There's a lot of tips and tricks to allow you to do uh, a lot of speed runs. Uh, commonly, one of the popular runs to do is carnivore. Like crippling yourself for minimal effects. Oh, dude, you play Cuphead? You sound like a Cuphead player. Because what you're doing is something known as low percent. <laughs> you play Cuphead, man? You play the, the Cuphead game, you do the low percent. That's exactly what that is. Well, it's just sustainable. I just messed up by draining the cooling loop and then refilling it. Ah, making a second loop and just switch the loops. Gotcha, gotcha. Everything was overheating because the loop was down. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, you play Metroid. Do you do low percent on Metroid? Do you play any uh, Metroidvania games? Stop playing Tarkov. No, no, no. Low percent is a specific category where you try to accomplish something. Usually it's beating the game while getting the minimal amount of stuff. So it's like playing Dark Souls and running a naked run. No armor, no weapons. You just dodge. Use a starter weapon. Low percent. Beat the game with the minimum requirements is effectively what's the actual like definition of it. Ever done a Chaos Crew community run? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be real. I don't know what that is. The Chaos Crew, that's the Echo thing, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. Echo's kind of doing his own thing. I don't know if, if like, yeah, he's never reached out about that or anything. But I don't know, man. I don't got the invite, so I can't say anything about that. I've never played Tarkov though. I'm gonna be honest. I've never played Tarkov. Oh, we have water. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, what else do we need to do here? All right. I think I need to send stuff for this guy to build. All right. So he's running the wheel because he can. I probably should mop this up. Okay. And then water. Only pump when it's above. 
Oh, but that's gas pressure. Any percent and reverse boss order, low percent ice is hard as IMO. So it's like any percent, but lower. Yeah. It's like any percent, you get anything you want. Low percent is you have to deal with the, like the weakest weapon, you know, kind of a thing. I meant it more like Tarkov is a brutal game and takes a specific person to play it. Similar to what low percent sounds like. Oh. I also have a system for reading and writing 32-bit single ribbon cable. Damn, dude. You do the coding, huh? That's impressive. Because I can't do that. Oh no, this pulled the water before I was ready. Well, I mean, this is fine though. That means I could get uh, get this started. Okay. Can't really be mad. I could get this started. Which means dragging power kind of early. This is fine. Okay. So I have the safety safe. This is big right here. Boys, it's time. It's actually time. We gotta lock the doors. This is at... We'll use the left side one. That's done. Everything's plugged in. Oh, I don't have power to get this started. Uh... Okay, so that means we do... This. No, that was bad. Yeah, because of that. So I got to do it in the middle. There we go. And then that's locked. I could pull off side only. So I need to cut this. And then I don't want that on. All right. So the last thing I got to do is get a power line to here. That really is not something I want. So up top is probably where we're going to want to do it. Ooh. Ooh, and I could use this to jumpstart. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's do that. We're still accumulating a little bit of the cold pea water, so we'll let that happen. I see you, Loki. This guy does the coding, man. He does the PC code stuff. Can you do the Super Mario uh, pixel pack game that the devs did? Because I know the devs did that in this game. I know the devs have done this. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, he gets it. Oh my god. Oh, there's no metal here. Oh, I just had to sneeze. I apologize. Ugh. That's a bad sneeze. Have you seen the blindfold run? Yeah. I saw the summoning salt documentary. <laughs> Salud. Thank you. I saw the summoning salt documentary on the blindfolded speed run. I also saw the Asmon Gold video that called out the girl that tried to do Monster Hunter blindfolded. And, yeah, it was mad jank. Not gonna lie. But the, the, the Super Mario one, that was legit. That one was tight. <clears throat> Dude, man, that sneeze tore me up. Man. She, she could see the screen, is effectively what it was. Like, that, that's all it was, but that's really, like, real jank right there. I have sneezing fits fairly often. I think my high school was six to seven in a row. I, I think now it's because it's springtime, man. We're getting pollen coming up, dude. It's not good. The pollen counts high and it's like all bad. Mm. Not the business, not the business. All right, all right. So I think we're okay. We're gonna get an auto save, so I'll wait for that. So everything should be good. So let's cut this. That connects, that connects, cancel, and then we gotta connect that. I bought my, my nose is sensitive, no matter, I see. 
I'm getting sneezy fits because I know the pollen count's going up, man. That stuff sucks. All right, guys, this is going to be how we get this started. This is the, the, the submerged spawn. So the strat is you have to vacuum this, right? Get everything set up. Everything's made out of gold. We have a cooling loop. Nice. Water's coming in. Nice. Can't be mad. Cash rules everything around me. Cream. Y'all know what it is. And then... Above 500. That's going to be good. So the water's going to stay there. Once it's above, we'll start pumping. So that's set. All right. So everything else is good. Cooling loop is rotating. This is... Temperature is going to be 24 degrees. Once it's 24 degrees, we pull it out. I don't know if we actually want to put... Because we could use that water for the bog buckets. So I don't know if I actually want to do that. Because we don't have to run it in. We have the water here still. And then until we use all that up, I don't have to use the water from the other side. That's what I'm thinking. Use up the water here. So that we just use that for spawn water. Uh, yeah, everything should be fine. Nothing is broken here. All right. So step one, vacuum. Step two, fill up one of the rooms with the gas in the location that you want. So my case, it's going to be oxygen. So we're going to do this. And then safe area. Let's go. Don't breathe out. Let's go. Didn't breathe out. God damn it. She breathed out. She breathed out, man. God fucking damn it. Ah, man. That's why I wanted hydrogen. Because you can't breathe in hydrogen. Oh, uh, shit. Uh... Alright. So, it's still savable. It's still savable. We have to do this. All right, I'm like this, and then I go this overlay. All right, it's right there. Connect. And pump that shit one time. Yes, we got it. Okay, so now... Uh, it should stop pumping. Why are you still pumping, dude? Oh, that's why. There we go. All right, we're live. Okay, Mama wants in. I have to open the door for Mama. Give me one sec. Mama's back, Mama's back, he went outside and he's back. Oh my god, my mic was muted. Oh, I was talking this entire time. Holy shit. Holy shit. Thank you, Drag Thumb. I was going through all the steps and I was muted. Oh, dude. You hate to see that kind of. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. If you guys missed it, y'all fucked up. You gotta go on YouTube now. All right, it's that easy. That easy. All right, so let's uh, get this rolling. All right, we good? We good? It's rolling, boys. Five degrees. 
six degrees. It's cold, fam. We hit him with the cold water. And it's working well. Good times, good times. All right. So we got the spawn now, boys. Got a little bit of the hot oxygen, but we doing good. Uh, yeah, I'm not really too mad about this. And then hydrogen is doing okay. We gotta let this run for a day. Click button, place pipe. Yeah, man, all you gotta do is lay down the pipe. I can't help you guys if you guys are bad pipe layers. You wanna call that natural talent? That's cool, man. I live with it. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. What are we gonna do with the CO2 in the pipe? Just let it out. <laughs> we don't have to do anything. It just comes out. And then we breathe it, I guess. Or it becomes part of the, uh, you know, CO2 outside. It gets to join its homies outside, man. He gets to watch TV with the rest of us. All right. Oh, I remember now. So we need to stop by here because I needed to send him metal. Uh, that's cobalt. Let's send some metal. Were you worried that the hydrogen would pump up top with multiple gases? So the separation only occurs if there's a single element. That's the caveat of this design. The separation like this, that's a clean separation that separates by gas type, only works if it's only one gas type in the room. This is a common trait, actually, for those of you that don't know enough about the exploits in this game. That's actually a common trait amongst a lot of weird gasher, uh, gasher, pressure, gas pressure. I, I merged those words together. Uh, gas pressure designs in this game. So there is an infinite design that looks like this. So effectively, it would be like that. There is a gas here. This is infinite pressure. I mean, of course, you would have doors here instead of insulated tiles. And the reason why this works is because you don't use like if you if you maintain a specific pressure so that means inside outside you have suits coming in you could make this infinite pressure so the water comes down this is infinite pressure and it doesn't push up your dupes could pitcher pump the water or you could pump it up this way there's a design like this that exists there's it's not exactly that but it's kind of like there's a weird balancing point that if you do that, you get the best of both worlds. You get the infinite pressure tank and Mama's back. You get the best of both worlds. So you get to use the infinite pressure tank to have that be available via pitcher pump and via your pump. And it uses that single element mechanic like that. It's a little bit weird. But yeah, you could use that to your advantage to set it up. So that's why I was worried about CO2 here, because it breaks apart how the infinite pressure works, and then it also mixes the gases. And once the gases are mixed, you're going to have to revacuum. Otherwise, you're just going to have a bad time. So that's the reasoning why I was worried about that. It's a little bit weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa easy with the... Uh... Whoa, 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 with the E word... The intentional game, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, uh, dev intended. Dev intended, dev intended. All right, Mamba, I need to fix your filter, babies. So he went outside, he stared out the window, and he was like, this is boring. I'm gonna watch two legit stream. And he's right there now. 
All right, we got the spawn ready. We need to generate more H2. This is already at 10 kilos. That's not bad. We're doing good. All right, so we needed to send Cobalt over. Let's make that sweep only now so we don't send any more. And then on this side, we need to set up a smart battery. That's going to be over here. We're going to need an automation cable like that. We're going to need the coal gens like that. And then we're going to need to set up the sweeper. Yep, classic setup. And then I need to bop the meal wood. And I think the oxygen diffuser as well. Uh, we are going to run a build. Oof, Heepo coming in with the raid? Am I, am I that late already? Holy shit, we're getting the Heepo raids. Coming in with a partner anniversary. Thank you, Mr. Heepo. I see you over there. Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. How's the streams, man? Give me a sec. I will need to get you set up. But I want to get some blueprints in real fast. And then we could use part of that. We have to remove the diffuser. Should be good. Hungry, hungry hippos. Welcome in, welcome in. We got a dragon and a derp post-apocalypse. Hello. How are you guys? Thank you for the happy wishes. Welcome in, welcome in. Playing some RimWorld? Wait, what the heck? You're playing some RimWorld, man. That's that's a game I recognize. See, this guy, Hippo Man, he's playing a different game every time I tune in. Yesterday, he was... I mean, uh, a long time ago, there was the Disney World game. And then he was doing... Some crime scene investigator stuff. And then there was the security camp, uh, security camp, security guard thing. And then, dude, man, this 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 evil guy, man, does a lot of variety. But yo, man, I see him over there. Oh, they had the new DLC. That's right. Yo, big hype around that, dude. I did not follow that at all, man. I'm gonna be real. I didn't even know there's a DLC coming out though. Someone told me that today. Dude, DLC tomorrow, Rimworld. You're gonna be playing that? I'm like, yeah, no, I'm probably not. Yeah, I haven't beat the game. Cassandra whooped my ass one too many times. And I'm like, yeah, Cassandra, you beat my ass. I'm never coming back. And so Cassandra's just going to be there without me, man. She beat my ass one too many times. And I was, and I was like, I had enough. Not even my parents beat my ass this bad. You know what I'm saying? I haven't beat the game. Nearly a thousand hours in the game. Oh, I feel you with that. I'm around 800. And I've gotten to like day 10 of the spaceship raid. And that's the furthest I've gotten. All right. So guys, this is infinite pressure design number one. You can see that we're going over a thousand kilograms per tile. If you guys are curious about the design, I could break it down. But otherwise, this is a variation of infinite pressure. This is the default design that a lot of people gravitate towards that uses gas. As you can see, it requires a vent, so it'll be like that sometimes. 700 is in this game, and I've never been cycle 400. It's because you get everything done in the beginning, and you try the crazy shit, Loki. Like, goddamn, dude. You have a salt, molten salt, molten aluminum? Dude, come on, man. I'll see you over there. Have you ever played this War of Mine? Yeah years ago when it was like still kind of relevant nowadays i think people have switched over to the like not the sequel there's another company that did another game that's very similar uh rotoma rotoma welcome in hungry hungry hippos no worries yo man come in late come in early it doesn't matter man who should you stop it by though welcome in welcome in what was that game it's like um, something prep, doomsday prepper or something like that. And basically it's this war of mine where you kind of have to uh, scavenge and like hide goods to prepare for like the, the fallout. And then people come to make sure you're not hoarding supplies. Kind of a thing. And I forget the name of that game, but it's the same type of style this war of mine is exactly the same gameplay style the things they make you do and then the theme about it is just a little bit different but yeah i used to play this war of mine i've streamed it that was like four or five years ago though the game makes you choose do some messed up it does it does i i've played frostpunk 
I don't like how close-ended the game is. You can't really do too much. You're really just within the limits of the game. And that might not sound like it's a big deal, but it kind of is. Because, like, that game, man, that's a struggle. I'm not going to lie. Wait, do I have enough power here now? Why do I feel like I'm not getting at that much H2? I guess we're fine then. Because this is probably enough. Okay. So, let's get this started. Let's get the spawn connected. And then that's power on this side. And then power on that side. And then... Oh. I need to charge this. This is going to overload. I just need a little bit of H2. Yep, there is my overload. But it's going to overload outside. So I'm not really too worried. And I think we're fine. So we cut this. And then we have the H2 now. So we should be okay now, because we're going to be self-balanced. So this is going to be 95, 35. Alright, we're good now. Nice, nice. So now that that's there, I could try to connect the bottom, and then I could actually start moving out the water. That's a little bit too warm. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, it's true. Their basic games challenging though. Yeah, that's a thing with Frostpunk. Yeah, Frostpunk is a build order game. Once you figure out the build order, you you kind of just win. Well, I mean, on the hard difficulty. On the normal difficulty, you kind of get some freedom, but it's like you still really just don't have many options. It's either the kids go to school or the kids work, <laughs> right? That's that's all you have, realistically. Do you beat the ass of the citizens or no, right? It's either you make them work or you put them in jail. Or you say, oh, this is God's plan. You say some religious stuff. And it's like, that's literally all the options. That's literally it. So it's like when it's that small close ended of a game and then it's like they release a $30 one episode DLC. I don't want to buy any of their games anymore. <laughs> the 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 DLC they released for Frostpunk was the reason why I never want to touch that again. Like the amount of content you got, oh god. Like I can't believe that was a high priced DLC. That's very impressive. They allow that. Yeah, you get 30 hours of gameplay. And to me, that's not enough. That's realistically just not enough. Alright, we're gonna get power here. Oh, 95, 35. And then this should be good. This is never gonna pull that much. Let's go, let's go. I know, yeah, second one's coming out. It depends how they actually, like do the second game i don't know if i'll actually play it to be honest just because of the uh, bad taste that i got wait why can't we build this where's my dude okay dude your bro bought two versions of d4 that's why blizzard has money man you get people buying two versions of d d d4 dude goddamn yeah, I enjoyed Frostpunk, but I'm probably not going to pick up Frost uh, Frostpunk 2 unless they really change things up. Against the Storm was way better experience. See, it's funny, man. Against the Storm is, like, not bad for single-player gameplay. But, like, for streaming, it's tough. It is tough, man. It's, it's like, the weirdest juxtaposition. It feels like you have, like, a super epic game happening in the background because of, like, the music, the events, the environments, things that are happening, the themes... 
but it's super chill and slow paced and you like it's like it's not really supposed to be hype <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense all right let's cut this because i need to just work on this this seems oh we're, yeah we need to run on that oh okay yeah we need to do the power wire here Oh no, Loki! Radiation poisoning, oof. He's horrible with money, he feels bad. Alright, we don't need this, it looks like. Alright, so now we gotta get rid of the diffuser. Find safe area? No, you don't need to do that. Alright, so what I need is a transformer. Oh, I see what I need. I need the pull through right there. And then I need this. Alright, we're almost done with this. Yeah, that's the thing. Not that I know anything about that, probably just regarding something I heard from the streamer. <laughs> I feel you with that though. It's it's hard to stream that game. It's tough. All right, so now we have oxygen, clean oxygen. Uh, we might consider actually cleaning the map now. So at this point of the game, there's no real scary thing gonna happen to us anymore. Like we're free, the clean stuff. So we're gonna start putting deodorizers everywhere. It's time, boys. We're cleaning the maps. We're also going to be getting rid of the sublimination stations. I can't say that word. I keep saying sublimination. It's sublimation. God damn it. You guys have that, man? What do you call that? When you can't say certain words? Like, is there a phrase for that, man? Like, that stuff is mad annoying. Go straight through, straight down. Dyslexia, I'm a noob. Hey man. Yo man, my enunciation skills are a little lacking, man. Come on, man. Drowned in his own vomit. That's not possible though. It took him five to six months to spend 23k, so nothing to show it besides nice film PC. Wow. Feels bad. I think I'm building a sauna around a Geotune saltwater geyser and use a cool steam vent. How do I calculate how many steam turbines I need? Ooh. Uh, each steam turbine is two kilograms of water. And then you want to cover the, when you click on the geyser, you have a kilograms per second. That's what you get, right? Right here. Or this is grams, right? So you basically want to cover the amount produced per second. That's the rule of thumb. So you have to kind of overcompensate, if that makes sense. All right, so this is good. Here, here. Oh, that never actually, no, that's fine. And then we could run the wheel. Nice. Can't roll your R off of you with that. So Taco, did that make sense? got to do the amount you have each turbine is two kilograms or two thousand grams you want to make sure you cover the amount produced and then if that's what you got you should be good somewhat you does sound correct though i see you over there hey man i, I got this 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 not speech impediment but it'd be like that sometimes i let's see I don't know, but I've heard people that can't speak sound of different languages because it's hard for languages you never heard or heard when you were a baby. I've heard of that as well. Like, there's certain words, certain, like, pronunciations that are just naturally easier. I feel you with that. Torsten, so streaming. We have at least another hour. It's probably 90 minutes, though. But yeah, Mamba's kind of mad. But yeah, we're here. We're hanging out. So we got our spawn up and running. We're doing good. Gonna get some deodorizers to clean up the map right now. And then I probably want to crush as much salt as I can. Because I'm going to need a lot of sand. 
I am gonna need a lot of sand, dude. I just realized that. We're gonna be deodorizing so much. Oh, uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. But welcome back, Torsten. I see you over there. I usually have to watch the rest of your vaults and stream. It's like Pokemon, I have to catch them all. Hey, yo man, we had to cook them all too. Food run. Gotta get all the foods. All right, so now that these guys are chilling, let's do that. I guess we could just start trying to clean out the map, right? So naturally we're gonna start mining. And then we're getting rid of the pea dirt. Uh, so I would have to do a bin strat somewhere. Okay, that's not too bad. So we will continue mud spinning. We need to do that. Let's do that. And then we don't need refined metal. I should crush the eggshells and fossil forever though. That's always something to do. Let's not do metal refinement unless I need to. Let's dump pea water here always. No auto bottle though. I don't want to pick it up from here. We're going to start mining out, creating space. And then we're going to want to clean the oxygen. So... The thing I need to do is kind of combine all the pea water so that all the polluted oxygen sources together. And then we could clean that up afterwards. Oh yeah, sand on the other map. Well, we don't have sand here, but we could send the minerals that we could crush. Another thing I want to send is the mealwood and then the dirt. So that's going to be things we're going to have to send from the sun. Now we're also going to need to send coal over. All right, so that's going to be what we have on this side. Coal, no algae, no cobalt. That way he doesn't have to run the wheel all day. Okay, this is at 135. This is going to be 25%. The coal gen should be able to handle it. I keep saying P water. Yeah, P stands for polluted. Polluted. Come on, man. Polluted water. P dot water. Not because he pees the pee water. A lot of people get that wrong, though. But it's it's fine. It's, it's the different kind of pee water. I know. It sounds the same. I know, I know. But they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do, man. Oh, there's no power here? What the heck is this? Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. There's power here. What are we talking about? How is there no power here? Oh, missing tile. Ah. Yo, what the heck? Gotta get timed out for that, man. Be like that sometimes. You gotta live with your decisions. You fucked up. So, you know. You gotta think about that in the corner. Alright, so we're gonna dig out the map. Food-wise, it doesn't really matter anymore. So we should just try to make space. Uh, yeah. So we really just don't care. We just need to dig everything out. So let me do this so that we can pull the tiles back on this side. We could climb on the ladders. Man, what do I even do for the magma planet? It's a giant layer of magma on top and a very bit obsidian to land on. Yeah, uh, hope everything's made out of steel. Maybe that's a hint. Hope everything's made out of steel, buddy. Because it's it should be. Because <laughs> man, oh man. You're gonna want that, man. Still no coal, huh? That's tough. No one wants to deliver this. Oh, it's sweep only. I'm not smart. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna continue my single dude playthrough, sitting at 2,000 cycles. But it takes so long to do anything. That's a problem, man. That's tough. That's tough. I see you, Joe Cool. Hey, man, that's 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 what it stands for, man. Just kind of keep it legit. Just trying to keep it legit. All right, we're gonna do the meme strat here then. Uh, 
I hope this this is probably not enough though. Ah, uh, where else can I put it? Realistically, there's not a lot of spots. Ah, uh, I guess right here. Yeah, we bought the subliminal station here, so we'll do that. How do I calculate anything with the geo tuner? Uh, so the geo tuner, what are you calculating? Are you calculating increase of mass or your increase of temperature? The increase of temperature is fixed depending on the type of geyser it is. I have a video that goes over that, that tells you each one. But yeah, it's, it's fixed values. I don't know if they have the tooltips in the game. that actually tell you. Does it tell you right here? It doesn't. Oh, that's tough. Dang, it doesn't tell you. But yeah, basically what they did in the game was they separated the geysers into categories. So it's volcanoes and metal volcanoes is one category. Oh, bleach stone. I believe the geo tuning is three cycles or is it five cycles? Oh, you checked the wiki. Yeah, so that is for yeah water geysers if you're using bleach stone. So I isn't that fifteen kilograms per geo tune? Five kilograms a cycle. Oh, it's based off skill. I, I don't geo tune because it's like I never need to. I mean, Darkbringer might be right. Yeah, I did the video to cover that a long time ago. I mean, I have it on YouTube, but yeah. How long it lasts, that is. Yeah, the buff duration, effectively. It tells you, right? On the recipe list? What does geotuning do? I just watched your video on it. Aww. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for watching. Geotuning is effectively... Uh, so are you familiar with PCs and you know what overclocking is, right? When you have to overclock the PC so that it goes super fast and it doesn't even go super fast. It's just, you know, faster than what it is out of the box. That's effectively what geotuning is. You're overclocking a geyser. So a geyser has fixed stats. So you could kind of look at that as a PC. Uh, how much polluted water it generates, the temperature that it generates at. So those things are what you affect. You would increase the temperature and then increase the amount also. And it's dependent on the type of geyser it is. But effectively, that's overclocking. Times eruption period. Increase the temp. Yep. So the temperature goes up always. Every time you geotune, you geotune up to five times. Five times means five uh, temperature increases, and each one is additive. So if you do something <laughs> like a uh, metal volcano, I think it's 150 each. I might be wrong with that. Oh, no, I think it's like 50 degrees each or something. So the metal just gets hotter each time you geotune it, and you get more metal. So then it would be that increase uh, added on top five times for each geotune effectively. But yeah, it increases the temp. So that's really good for the cool steam vent. Uh, that is this one. This spawns steam at 110, right? And the problem with that is that your steam turbine doesn't kick on until 125. So if you geotune it, you could actually not have to tame it. And then you just pump it out of the steam turbine as water directly. And that's actually one of the upsides with that. Why is this on this side? This needs to be right here, man. That power wire is already right there. What the heck was this? Metal temp increases relatively low for overall temp. Yeah, for that it is. But like, it depends on the element, right? For steam, that's really nice. Because you could uh, tame it in a totally different way. And that's very convenient. Very, very convenient. All right, we want to mine this. Going to do that on this side. We're digging down slowly. Okay, and then on this side, we're going to do meme strat. Oop. 
There we go. And then I need to make infinite storage. This makes a lot of sense to have infinite storage here, to be honest. Uh, let's mine this out. And the reason why is because it lines up with my platforms. So that's really good. And it's like, I'm not going to move this. Yeah, then you need no power for pump as well. And it's power supply for power loss for cooling down. Yep, yep. You save a lot, man. Geotuning is convenient for certain geysers. But it's never considered necessary. Because the thing with that is that you could just skip that geyser completely and just not have to deal with it. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's true. And then you don't really have a problem with like needing to geotune anymore. Oh, well, that doesn't work. That's fine. Let's get rid of the sandstone. Okay, so this is gonna be fine. We're not doing. Oh! We stopped adding water! Cuz we're out of power. Okay. So. Ah, I see what I do. We gotta get rid of the battery and the wheel here. And then we gotta attach the power lines right here. There we go. I usually just add it to a cooling loop if I need the water, but it's also 1200 for an aqua tuner at least part of the time. That's true, yeah. Unless you're sharing the line from somewhere else. That's true. It's tough. A lot of times, though, taming a water geyser, they, they give a lot of water. I feel like, unless you're growing like bristle blossoms, maybe. Oh, this was never sending. Okay, nice. Uh, let's put this on sweep only for now. Spicy tofu. Let's go. All right, let's wait for them to build. So we're going to basically move all the polluted dirt on the map to here. And then the logic with that is so that we could have all the off-gassing slow down. So we're trying to clean the oxygen, and it's really dirty right now. But we're getting some of it cleaned up. So we're not generating any more from pea dirt unless it's on the ground or polluted water unless it's on the ground. So it's time to clean the base. Got to do what we can. Oxygen is maxed out. I could also just start setting oxygen to the other side instead of having to rely on algae. Ooh, this is ready? Idle, so it's not dormant. Okay, that means this is set and you don't need to be here anymore. Okay, that means this. Let's send back the dirt, boys. Oh, I don't need to do this anymore. Oh my god. I can leave that there. We're going to send the pea dirt here. Dude. That's so smart because this is cold. And the reason why that's good is because we could compost here. And composting is hot. That means I dump the heat on the side. Oh, that's so good. That's actually so good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's do some of it. Yeah, we do have some breathability. So let's do this dig out. Right? We jump from the ladder. Let's get this dug out to here while we can. And then let's build the refinement of the composts. Just put three for now. Yo, man. What kind of movie is that, man? I see you over there, though. I've never seen that movie. I love playing on Rhyme. You have to manage your base and food, but it's so good for industry. Yeah, it's it's. I look at Rhyme as the early game challenge because it's that's that's where it's the most difficult. You start off in like the hardest situation, but if you make it past that, dude, you are set. Like you you don't even need to cool your spawn. You just have an open spawn. Like that's mad insane, man. You just have an open spawn. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
you don't even need to cool it because your map's cold. Alright, I might actually want to dump the water there. This is 30 degrees, so I should try to use this up first before this comes down. And then I could just use that inside the uh, box. Yeah, you almost want it open so it uh, warms your base. The problem with that is that, like, while it works, it's so slow to warm it down. Every time I run water in pipes, and I hope to get like a 95C geyser. Like, that's, that's what I'm hoping for, man. I'm not even kidding. Hoping I get that, pump it up, and start rotating that around. And then I do a temperature check loop like this. Except with cold water, it's hot water, right? Alright, so we look fine. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's mine this. We could jump down from there. Uh, dumping out the pea water over there. Moving the pea dirt to the other side. I need to clean the polluted oxygen from this side. There are no germs, so there's nothing I really have to worry about. Okay, so let's just get some deodorizers here, I guess. Because that's really all it is. That's a problem. We won't pump that in. Should be good. Oh, rip that guy, man. Rip that guy. I heard he passed. Feels bad, man. So I need to have... Yeah, I need to go all the way down. Uh... I do have this ladder. It shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah, let's trim this. I should be able to just do that there. If my math be mathing, I can have two squeaky pups above my chlorine vents. I'm gonna be honest, the chlorine vent doesn't generate enough gas. That's realistically one of the problems with it. Same thing with the CO2 vent. Like, you can't feed slicksters or pups with that. Like, you barely feed anything. That's the thing I'm a little bit like, I can't believe they allowed that kind of a thing. Not that not that they shouldn't have allowed it, but it's like, it should have been balanced. Because I would imagine that would be the reasoning to use that, right? Puff and slicksters. Otherwise, like, why bother? But yeah, those geysers, man, they're kind of notorious for not giving you actually that much. If you actually need it. Alright, we're sending all the pea dirt, so we have an easy time over here. We don't need that anymore. On this side, we're digging. Uh, priority 5, that's fine. We're just sending dirt home. And then mealwood seeds. That's going to be major. That might be how we're actually going to store food. So the pea dirt's going to be here. This off gases, I'm not actually mad at all. Let's try to do a high priority on the composting. Pips are chilling with us. So easy times. Okay, so... This is coming down. We're digging out. Let's mine this out. Dump the pea water. We need this here. And then we're going to do the infinite storage. Uh, no lit. We'll just do it like that. Storage up top. That means I need these tiles. Okay. Fire pole time. Let's go, boys. Got to get this, uh, the fire pole in. It's time, it's time. Water plant down a bit. Oh, you mean the uh, pitcher pump? I mean, it's going down. That's fine. We will, I think, eventually move all the water to the bottom. I think it has to. Oh, look at that, man. It's cleaning up. It's cleaning up. Oh, dude. The polluted oxygen is in my food. That's mad rude, yo. Yeah, that's actually mad rude. Okay, so let's get a deodorizer here. Let's get one on this side. I feel like you should make it so that you could geotune tune do uh blah. You should geotune those for 20x output, dude. It's been so long. I'm slurring my words. Goddamn. Big struggles right now, man. Can't speak properly. 
I'm actually surprised I'm not as hungry as I expected I would be. Guys, you gotta you guys wanna see something? At the beginning of stream, I got donut holes and I haven't eaten a single one. I think I'm just gonna put it back in the fridge and actually eat something with substance instead of just sugar. So I'm gonna have some dinner after streams. It's gonna be nice. I will, it will, every time. I'm thinking of before stream ends, I put my frozen lasagna in the oven. That's gonna be Pog, man. Frozen lasagna, baby. 30 minutes though, so I'm gonna be having to wait, kinda mad. But frozen lasagna might be like the only frozen food that I don't mind frozen. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, dumplings. Frozen dumplings are still pretty legit. But like, yo man, there's a big difference between other frozen food. Frozen pizza versus real pizza, big difference. I feel like a lot of other frozen food too. You just can't get them frozen. It tastes weird. But lasagna, man, that's actually fine. And french fries. <coughs> that's cool. Oh, we need a deodorizer right here. Okay. Put that guy there. And the ladder down. Okay, we can do all that. It seems fine. I don't want to use this as a proper ladder. Just Oni moments. Frozen veggies aren't terrible depending on the brand. Yeah, I've had some frozen veggies. I have like on stock frozen corn, frozen peas. But like a lot of the other veggies, I try to get fresh. Like broccoli stays for a long time in the fridge. So it's like, I'm not really too worried about that. Potatoes too. Onions are pretty decent. They last a while. Those are my staple veggies. Broccoli, potato, onions, and then garlic will be right outside. I have a large family, so we freeze often, especially leftovers. We have the dinner for days where everything is... Oh, okay, that's different. If you guys are freezing your own food, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have quality control there at the very least. But yeah, a lot of times, man, buying frozen from the grocery store, yeah, man, it's usually not a good thing. Dude, I've been making pico pizza. I put pico de gallo on the Red Baron. The Supreme, cover it in Mexican multi cheese and put it in a smoker for 25 minutes. You have a smoker, dude. That changes up the taste completely. God damn, dude. You could probably buy frozen baby back ribs and just put it in the smoker, and it's like, dude, this is not bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, man. Bell peppers and onions are the worst IMO frozen. I don't like bell peppers. I'm gonna be real, man. Right now, we're making an infinite storage. And then we're going to be expanding the map right now. Guys, if you have any questions about what we're doing, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help. We have coal now, so it's nice. Pico Pizza, man. You know what that sounds like, Belfit Joe? That's... Have you seen the meme where they take a pizza and then they're like putting extra toppings on it? And then they fold it in half? And then they, uh, no, 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 it's a pizza. And then they put extra toppings on it. And then they put a second pizza. And then they uh, put cheese on that. And then they fold it in half. And then they drop like a pound of uh, ground beef in the middle. And then it's lettuce, cheese, onions, right? It's a giant taco. And then they put that in batter. And then they deep fry it. <laughs> and it's, it's just like dude it's basically a gif of what you would do with food they're basically trying to meme on stupid food right because there's a category of food like that called stupid food where you just kind of do shit to it just cuz and they just keep going man so it's like frozen extra toppings extra pizza oh shit cheese fold half it's a giant uh chalupa because you know how they have the uh, double layer Taco Bell chalupa thing? Basically that, but it's freaking pizza sized. Oh no! Save him! Someone save him! Someone save Miss Chemical Stairs, she can't die. She's a mod. There we go, we're alive, boys. 
That's what that reminds me of, Belfit Joe. That's what that reminds me of for some reason. <laughs> when you say Pico Pizza, I'm like, wait, what the heck? That sounds like a giant taco pizza. I smoke everything. It needs to be cooked under 400. I don't even use my oven. I use a smoker. Oh, I see you, man. Why the door is under infinite storage? So once we set this up, all the items are going to be here. And it's going to drop down in the middle. In this game, every single item in this game. The granite right here has a decor penalty, varying value, but it's always one tile radius. So that means if you drop a decor item here, I mean a decor item, a debris item here, the one tile radius is effectively these six tiles because you can't go through solid tiles. So if I actually don't allow people through, you can never go into the negative decor. So we're relocating all the bad decor from the stuff on the ground into one spot that they can't actually reach. But they could pick up the items from that area since their gun has a two tile range. So it effectively allows me to start sweeping. And then once everything is swept, all the decor is actually relocated to here. So this area becomes negative a thousand, but then no one gets affected by it because you're not allowed to open the doors. So it's anti uh, debris penalty. And how we actually make it so that you don't need a room with 50 bins on each level. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the annoying things. All right, let's grab the briar seats. Oh, you have a sous vide. I see over there, Torsten. Yeah, I would, I would love to get a smoker. I love the smoke flavor. Ah, oh, man. I would love to get a smoker. I use bell peppers and my chili as well. I see you. Good God, lol. Yeah, man. Mr. Streamer, how do I get my bleach stone if I can't find a gold volcano? Aw, oh, shit. Do you know who this guy is? Do you know who this guy is? This might be it. So, he breathes in chlorine and gives you bleach stone at a rate of... It's, it's pretty good. Not not gonna lie. It's it's uh this looks like ninety-five percent. Roughly. This looks like ninety-five percent. So that's probably the best return. Because the bleach stone hopper is what you're thinking about using, right? This building converts gold into bleach stone. That is true. I hate squeaky puffs. I hate them, dude. They deserve to die in a fire. I'm, I'm, I, you, you, you're right. I hate them. <laughs> I hate them, man. They're not the business. They're, they fly, dude. They look like, like the alternative timeline of what happens to the Hulk. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ate the gamma radiation, and but then, yo, it went bad. Mm -mm, you know? We don't talk about this version of the Hulk. So, yeah, I'm not a fan, dude. You're right. I'm not, dude. Just don't do it. But it is an option, man. I have to put it out there. I'm a big fan of leftover scramble. We just dump leftovers in a pan and scramble some eggs. Oh, that's classic. Yeah. Fresh garlic, usually sauteed. I see you. I see. That's cool. Yeah, it's nice. Debris will fall through the door. Everything, including critters, except dupes, will fall through the pneumatic door. Critters will fall through if they're in free fall. Items will fall through in free fall. Same thing with gas and liquids as well. So this is a special door because of that. That's actually why you see me using it a lot. The pneumatic door allows a lot of things. That's the reason why people use it. Because you can sweep through the tile. It's very, very good for that. I never used a sous vide. Yo, man. I've never used one either. I've just seen it on Iron Chef. Hey, hey, I used to do 50 bin strats when I was playing Oni. No shaming me. Hey, man, I used to do it too. I used to do it too. And then when I found this out, man, oh, man, it changed it up. See, Benberg, who would you like to claim? Let me know. Let me know. Ada, Ruby, and Joshua. We only have three dupes right now, man. So let me know. Puffs are actually super strong. They're just a pain. In well, you know what it is, Toggle Void? The recent patch does make it a lot better. Because you could actually micromanage the puffs now. So it's a lot easier to manage. Because they changed up how the uh, critter pickup and drop off work. They separated it. So because they separated it, it's easier to manage the ranching. 
So it technically is easier now with the recent patch. So it's not as bad. I'm more willing to deal with puffs now, to be honest. With the new update, to be honest. What's a good use for Bleach Stone? They're trying to use it for uh, geo tuning. Otherwise, if you want the room bonus and the rocket, you typically want Bleach Stone. So Bleach Stone is uh, used for the hand sanitizer. And the hand sanitizer, man. I don't have pink gloves, dude. That sucks. This, these gloves are way too long. They look like she's washing dishes. Gonna go with the short gloves. What's going on, Seabenberg? We had to give you the tutu, man. This is a unique outfit, if you didn't know. This is a unique outfit. It's super rare, too. And I got the set. Only way to do it. So, hand sanitizer for... Uh, there is a room bonus you could get here called a washroom. So you need either a plumbed wash station or you could get the bleach stone hand sanitizer upgrade right here. So this is good because it gives you the bonus for the uh, room bonus. So it's only good for the rockets where you have limited space. So the bleach stone is very kind of like niche. Otherwise, you have geotuning and then you have... Uh, Technically, do I have water weed? I don't think I do. There's a plant called water weed. This requires bleach stone. So if you're growing lettuce, you would want that. But yeah, bleach stone has very niche use. Puffs are now much more easy to deal with that they split up the critter drop-off pickup buildings, or at least it feels that way. The old critter drop-off also has automation ports. I can't remember. I have been able to do that entire... No, the old one did it. And the reason why I know that is because I used to actually modify my Dreco Ranch in order to use the critter drop-off. And since I couldn't automate it, you know what I did? I did this. I had to automate it with the door. So if you guys don't know this, this is how you automate any building. If you open the door, it's a floating building. Floating buildings typically don't work unless, you know, you're in the floating category, like a gas pump or a liquid pump, right? So I used to do stuff like that. So it used to not actually be possible to automate it, which is why some people were kind of annoyed. It's like, you can't automate ranching? This is jank. And you give us the bracking thing, you know? Like, you want us to automate it, but we can't automate it. So it's like, what are we doing? I don't even ranch puffs. I just trap them behind a liquid lock. So they think they're in a huge room and I just let them be wild and procure stuff for you. Yo, man, I don't like how they poop slime on me. Just because Stinky is over there eating mush bars. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Looking to be uh, ready for work. Nah, man. You chillin', see Benberg. Towards and getting some coffee. We got you. Maniac, maniac, go. Oh. I've been using that for wheeze words. Yes, wheeze words are great for that on a planter box. That's a great strat. I have a video that actually uses that example. Do the new drop off and pickup still have overheat temps? They do, but they increase the maximum count to 40 instead of 20. So your maximum critter count is actually maxed out. So. There is an upgrade to that, too. Uh, and you do have the automation ports. So it's it's kind of upgraded, just in general. But yeah, you didn't have Weezware. That's slick. Okay, so everything there seems good. We dug it out, so we're just delivering everything. He doesn't need to run the wheel anymore. Priority 5, that's good. Idle? Dude, he moved back all the dirt? Oh, I never clicked manual use. Oh, you've been idling here, man, instead of work? Come on, dude. Come on. You were just idling here, not working, dude? Come on. What a slacker, dude. This guy, Joshua. All right, anyways. Let's get this, let's get that. And then what do we want to do? So the oxygen situated, we're stabilized and we can't be mad. We're going to want to explore. And then research wise, I think we want to start setting up CO2 stuff. We could start pumping the CO2 at the bottom, but it's not really a big deal. And it's not really a lot. So I'm thinking we might skip straight to steam. Steam rockets are always nice. 
Okay, so we're going to be moving the pea dirt to the other side. Water's accumulating. Water's getting pumped up from here still. 170, 11 kilograms. Everything is gray. Can't be mad. So everything is almost clean. This is being used. Nothing here is being off gassed. The oh, is it the slime? Is this what's giving me a lot of polluted oxygen? Yeah, then moving the pea dirt to here might be what's taking forever as well. It should be fine though. All right, so we're gonna get dirt and mule wood there. Uh, we don't need any of that right now. So we might want to start getting some more dupes. And then if we want to get more dupes, we need more space. Okay. Let's try to dig all we can. Try to create as much space as we can. And then the problem is the slime. Uh... We do have clean oxygen. You found a Venner Geyser! Do you know the strat? Do you know the strat? You hit the priority button. You hit the exclamation point. You highlight. You click on yellow alert. And it tells you what it is. I'm going to lower this back down to one. Yeah, that's actually what I'm doing. We just have so much. It's taking some time. That's actually what I'm doing right now. We're moving the dirt to the different planet. The problem is, is that we have 155 tons of it, and we're only able to move about two tons at a time. We're only able to move about 200 kilograms at a time. So we just need to make a lot of deliveries. Oh, we can move the slime as well, actually. We can move the slime as well. So both the slime and the polluted dirt is making the polluted oxygen. So this will randomly off-gas. This is actually pressured, so that's good. But yeah, we'll send both over. Because we don't really care about the side. We just want the resources, and then we'll leave. <laughs> I don't want to do that. You want to find out what the dupes is. Ah, so you know the dig pattern, right? Out of the entire geyser, there is one safety tile. So on a four-wide setup, only on a four wide you want to go second one from the left and you go up two that's the only one that you want to keep on the geyser you could dig the rest and it doesn't matter all right make sure you got the correct one this is the only one that needs to be there as long as this is a four wide if you have a variation that's three or a five it depends on the geyser so it's going to be adjusted so on a regular four wide though that's going to be the rule of thumb so in case you want to see what it is, but you don't want it spitting out whatever it is it spits out. You got the strats now. You got it, man. You got it. Alright, so from here, we want to do a two-tile setup. Dig that down. We do want to mine this. Gonna get close to the slime. We're cleaning out that side. This is not off-gassing because we have a layer of water. So it's just because of the bunch of random stuff that's here. Okay, that's fine. Let's do these two. Steam vent! Is that the full, full 500 degrees? That's... Yeah, you need plastic for that, man. You're gonna need plastic for that. If you don't have plastic for that, it's gonna be a bad time. If it's the full size steam vent. That one's kind of tough. Alright y'all, so right now we're going to try to work our way down. We're going to create some space and we get some dupes and we'll take it. I'll probably want to start ranching a little bit. Oh, let's make a fish tank. Ooh, I think this is going to be my fish tank. Ooh, I can't make a fish tank until I actually protect myself from the water. Ooh, that's right. I need to protect myself from the water. All right, first things first. Let's crack open the water so it all spills out now. We don't have to think about it later. Uh, let's get the ladder here. Let's mine that as well. All the ice is probably going to fall on us. I need to protect myself from that as well. 
Space exposure. Wow, starting from here? So it dips down like that. Oh, that's tough. So all of this water is going to get deleted if I don't mind this. Okay, we're going to make a... Uh, we're going to try to capture the water and let it spill out. So that's going to be the side. And once we mine this out, we'll mine this whole thing and try to dig it out from the bottom. I could tame it if I just don't want to. You just have enough water. I see. Technically, if it's the 500 degree one, that's power too. I mean, it's not a lot of power because realistically, man, it's, you know, you only... Oh, man. I mean, I guess you could cycle it instead of actually pulling the water. But then that means it pressurizes and that's not good. Feels bad. There it is. It takes power to make power, yeah man. A wise man once said. It takes money to make money, man. Not even two kilograms. Oh, that's weak actually. That means you could tame it with one steam turbine, I guess. But yo, man, that's weak sauce. That be the weak sauce. Deodorizing right here. All right, so from here, we're gonna do that. We're gonna dig upwards. Everything just falls down. None of this is slime, so it's kind of nice. Joshua, you didn't, dude. What are you doing? Dude, you need to clean the toilet, man. What are you doing? He just makes a mess, dude. Like, he doesn't want to clean the toilet. Would you guys ever just refuse to clean the toilet and just pee on the floor? Oh, I gotta set this up, too. So, for this to work, you gotta set this up to sweep only. And then, this is cool, that's cool. Coal, lime, no oxalite. I don't want bleach stone either, once we get that, no eggs. Cultivatable soil, yes, yes, yes. No liquefiables, yes, yes. Organic, eggshells, mud, algae, no off-gassing stuff. And then raw, fine seeds. All right, priority four, copy, paste. So now when we sweep, the dupes know what to do. All right, so I need to do a rough change here. So liquids, liquefiables, and then critter egg. All right, in my own house, no, I'm cleaning someone else's unless they pay me. <laughs> I see you over there. So what if you out in public? You just pee your pants, man? I'm just trying to figure this out. I'd pee on someone else's floor. That seems to be a consensus. I could see why. That's a pretty legitimate answer. Can't be mad about that. All right, we're sending the pee dirt still. All right, nice. Got a need to ladder up. So I want the water to spill in this way, and then we have a spill path, so it's kind of nice. All right, don't mind the ice. We want that to melt. We do want the water, though. And then we'll mine the bottom. I guess we can't, because I need to stand on that. And then that means this is here, which is fine. They all combine together. And then... Joshua, dude, he keeps peeing his pants. Dude, what the heck? I mean, I know why. He just doesn't want to clean the toilet, man. He really just hates it. Be like that, I suppose. Can't reach, that's fine. Oh no, we go like that. Then there's a geyser here. We go like that. I mean, if there was poo on the scene, I had to pee, I'd just pee. If I had to poo, though, it depends on how literally how bad it was. Oh, I see you over there. Yo, man. I'm gonna be real. Why? I don't know if it's just me. I'm pretty sure it's everyone. Why do we have this weird comfortability with taking a poop at home? You know what I'm saying? 
I have heard stories of people going like, yeah, man, I, I work 10 minutes away from my house. I actually go home to take a dump sometimes. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? Hold up, for reals? What the heck is this? Like, yeah, man, I do it. I was like, what the heck? Now, I'm willing. That, like, if I have to take care of business, I I'll do it. Right? But it's like, dude, man. If you had a choice. If you had a choice. Dude, man. You actually let it fall that low. Dude, when you're out in public, man. Sometimes the floors are wet, dude. Can't drop the toilet roll ever. Because once it gets touching the water. Oh, you're not going to use that anymore, man. Ninety-eight percent stress. What do you do? Oh, I had to sneeze. Sorry about that. Oh, you're gonna start crying. Okay, that's fine. Your freezer is two hundred k, two hundred thousand k counts of fried mushrooms. Oh man, you stopped. What the wrong mushrooms, man? People like mushrooms. Oh, we got to move the eggs. That way the Paku keep going. Instead of getting stuck. Take the BBQ. We got to go puff hunting, man. And then I need to go pass. Alright. Luckily, the puffs didn't make any germs for us. Oh, this is... Dang it. That would have water. Alright, that means we have to go down here. I don't want to do that, but I guess I have to. This is the easiest way to go past the Paku. I don't want this to go all the way down. Joshua! Crying ice, dude. That is indeed 16 grams of ice. Straight from his eyeballs. Sad times. They don't think it be like it is, uh, but it do. Really do be like Joshua sometimes. You just hate to see it. Joshua, he's doing his thing, man. He's doing his thing. We'll, we'll, we'll check him out in a little bit. We'll check him out in a little bit. Alright, we're gonna work down this way. That way we get down to the pots. Uh I think this is clean enough that I don't have to worry, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I have to open this. Otherwise I just lose the water. Yeah, I just have to open this. Because this is space exposure behind this. Once this smells, I'm dead. Oh, we're not dead. They, we, we lose the water. This colony sent around my friend, and he doesn't want fried mushrooms. But said I could eat whatever until I have food set up before power. I get my real food online. Wow, that guy's picky. Hey, man, you do whatever you want, but I don't want mushrooms. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck is this? No mushrooms for the homies? Y'all, man, all my homies like mushrooms. Why they can't get no mushrooms, man? Joshua peed again. Aw, oh, dude, Joshua, you gotta stop. Looks like this is the leading oxygen. Classic. Ah. I need to just mine the ice. I think I would just lose it if we don't. Oh, man. I mean, it's free water. I should try to go for it. Let's try to mine as much as we can. And then we'll have to seal this up soon. Alright, so... Realistically, the inside of my base is... Is clean. Realistically, it is. So I shouldn't actually be worried about 
It's slime. Realistically, I don't actually think I should be worried. But I'm not sure, because technically the pea dirt here is still off-gassing. We just have the water to be okay with it. This drip pool seems weird as well. Freaking water like that. So that's the thing. This water we lose. I guess not really. I guess we could do this. And then we gotta do that. Yeah. Rip Taco! He got hit by the ads. Okay. So we're gonna do this. So anytime the water melts, I have to hope that the bottommost layer melts first. Because if this does melt, we have a spill path right here. Now the background doesn't delete all 500 immediately. So I'll lose some of it, but, but not all of it. So this should be okay. All right, next thing is, is the gas level. Uh, I think we're okay. And I shouldn't worry about it. So we should do top down. Yeah, we're gonna do top down. All right. He wants frost burgers, barbecue, omelets, and pancakes. Wow, dude. What the heck is this? Did he just look at the menu and just chose everything he wanted? I could. I just don't think it's worth building that. So we just put tiles there. The background tiles would help it, though. Yeah. It would protect us from these basic tiles right there. Not the ones that are on, though. But the ones down here, yeah. Save a little bit with that. That wouldn't be too bad. All right, so I wanted to go straight through, but we know we can't because of the coal. So we know... Oh, this is going to be a problem. So two, two, two here. And then we go here. Nice. That should be not bad. This allows us to go down. Have a whole plan planned out? Yo, this guy. Does he know it's barbecue and the Frost Burgers? <laughs> Does he know that? It's barbecue and the Frost Burgers? Like, he's, he's, he wants the same thing twice, man. Alright, so I think we just need to open up the slime biome. Like, I can't be scared of this. Oh, this also has no germs because it's cold. Nice. Oh, this side too. There are no germs because of the cold temps. Oh. Oh, snap. Because of the cold temps, there are no germs here. I did not realize that. So everything's dead. Let's go. I could mine everything. I don't know, man. I'm just following orders. Yo, man, you got this talk of wood. Lots of spots by your food slash grill. Yeah, there's a slime over here though. But we do have the deodorizers trying to snipe that out. Alright, that means I could actually just mine this open. And not actually like worry about it. It's also the radiation from the satellite. So we could mine all this, not be worried. So that means we could sweep everything, clean it up, not have to think about it. And then, oh, we're out of pee water. Ah, yes, that is going to be a thing. We're going to need that for the bog buckets. They stopped growing right now. That's not good. We could actually uh, waste some time and not actually know. We're low on the, uh, no, 30,000 swampy delights. We're actually not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Maybe that just went uh, 
went back a little bit. So the food wants to be in seal 2 right here, so that's actually fine for uh, this aspect of it. Crying again. Yo, man, that's because you keep peeing your pants, dude. Yo, man, it's, we got the ice maker. Joshua. You guys ever play football, man? They would call the guy the fridge. This is why he's called the fridge. Because he's, he's, he dispenses ice, just like a fridge does. Just put your cup right underneath, man. Feels bad. Now, luckily for us, Joshua automated his job before crying. So he did well. He did well. Now it's just a matter of getting the other resources here, which isn't much. We have 56 tons of dirt. That's actually nothing. Yeah, we need to keep mining then. Dude, he's going to be working. All right, Joshua, you got this. And he still has food. Okay. Can you switch him out? Yo, man. Nobody wants to... No one wants to volunteer, dude. <laughs> Nobody's trying to volunteer right now, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, you're probably right, man. <laughs> you're probably right. But yeah, man. These guys are like, nah. I'm cool. Why is there a 1,000 degree abyssalite on this tile, dude? And that's what's heating everything up right here, dude. Come on. What is this? What is this? Why is it heating up the slime? Damn it, dude. That's not even a break. That's a bad spawn. Dude, seriously. What the heck is that? All right. So, we could just wait till that kill- no, by the time that kills the slime, this becomes dirt, because it gets cooked. Man, that's gross. I can't believe I got debated like that. That's actually really gross. I'd be like that sometimes, I suppose. Alright, so we got the fish tank here, they chillin', we're gonna go down here to see what's down here. We got more fish. Okay, yeah, lots of uh, polluted oxygen. Lots of uh, deodorizing we're going to have to do. Okay, so... This is really bad. We're cleaning up a lot of the uh, gases up here, so it's not really a big deal. And then... Oh, this got mined out. Nice. We could do this technically. And that. And let's climb up this way to mine out this chunk. And I think we could do this right now. I might also want to just mine from here going left, actually. And then we control the spill in. Yeah, it's not bad. I like that. Uh, this side, there is a spill path. There is slime lung on that, so I will wait. Polluted oxygen. So we cleaned most of everything here. Yeah, we're gonna just have to crack this open and spill it out, I think. So we'll do these two. We're just gonna spill out everything here to the right. That's gonna be the play. That shouldn't be too bad. Hopefully we don't flood anything. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't flood anything. And then another thing we might want to do, because we can, is... Uh, we need an opening to space. Yeah, I need to start doing space stuff. Uh, anything here I need? Not really. Let's grab the rover. I might want the spice grinder soon. And then, yeah, we need rad bolt generation. 
So that's the Weaves Ward from the side. One, two. Well, that's nice. Oh, we have to discover that first. Okay. And up here might be closer. Oh, we can't do it. All right, going down is his only option then. That is reachable. Okay, nice. While he's digging, we're going to want those two. Try to uproot that. All right, over the rest. He got it. He got it. Radiation. Yeah, we're just digging through this. This got mined through clean. Two levels at a time. Let's do four. Made a mess. Joshua, classic Josh. Peeing his pants all day. Spills in. We'll go back once it melts. Ah, uh, we probably want this. Actually, no. No, I think we do. We're gonna eventually need this setup. Because without this, we won't be able to uh, seal this up as easily. Let's have that, mine that out, spell that out, let's go. So I think we could combat the slime lung, which is why I'm doing everything that I'm doing. I don't think it actually is something we need to worry about. Then another thing we gotta do is these two tiles. And then I would want a deodorizer right here, but that's such a bad spot because of the satellite. This would allow this deodorizer to actually get some of these gases. Because this tile is blocking it. And then, ooh! Guys, we have a lot of fish. We're gonna have a lot of fish. Good times. Alright, so we have all the wild Paku in the world. This is gonna be good. This is going to be good. We need to make a Paku Ranch, man. We really do. We need to set that up. Dig that. Have that. Looks good. This would be next. So... This is because of the liquid lock. The gases can't spill out. So we should try to open this. Climb in, go through that way. I don't want that to spill back. I want to spill forward. Slime lung though. All right, this should be allowed to spill now. Let's mop this to make it easier. So if we do that, the gases should flow out. We could try to clean that so that there's nothing there. So that when we do mine it, we don't have that bad of an infection. Swap char, that's fine. That's gonna be a slow task. Okay, let's do another layer of two. And then how are we down here? Still gotta build the ladder. Getting to the magma, okay. Okay, so we don't really need to mine everything here. So yeah, I think we do wanna go up to space next. And then we want to get a meta refinery. Yo, this ladder is cold, dude. Goddamn. So the problem with the meta refinery is that I don't have a liquid. Oh, I do. I could use this. Oh, that's really nice. And I don't have a power source for that. Found another cool steam vent and water geyser. Hey, yo, man. This, the game likes to give you a lot of what you already have, believe it or not. <laughs> hey man, you have water? Let me give you some more. Hey, is that a metal volcano? Let me give you three more. On the same planet too. For real? Yep. For free, son. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> like, yo man, I have like one... We have gold volcano. That's a gold volcano. We have a cobalt volcano. We have another cobalt volcano. We have a copper volcano. What's this? Aluminum volcano. That was the missing one we didn't have yet. All right. And the only one I don't have is iron. 
And I guess niobium and tungsten. <laughs> oh, wait, you found gold too? Nice. Gold's, gold's technically always better than copper. I don't think there's actually a situation where copper is better than gold. Like, it's literally inferior in every in way, shape, or form. Oh, now you don't need puffs. Congrats, my dude. All you had to do was uh, do a little bit of scout. And you had it. Oh, mama's, mama's sad. He didn't get that much interaction. He's just waiting for me. Oh, I feel bad for Mamba, man. All right, guys. I don't know how long my first stream is. I'm going to check. And then I want to see if I'm actually tallied up 12 hours. I just want to check. I need to see, man. First stream was... Five hours... No, no, four hours, 46 minutes. Okay, that's fair. Right now, I'm about seven hours. Okay, we have about 20, 30 minutes left. Okay, that's not bad. Cool, cool, cool. Hey guys, thank you guys for being here. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're still going to be going for a little bit. And then we have no foods technically accomplished. I mean, I want to get the hardest food first before we start putting stuff on there. And then I need to start telescoping. We need meteor defense. This is going to be fun. We do have the pee water. No one's just doing the work. So we should probably start taking dupes so we can speed this up. That should be something I think we should do. I will wait for the water to spill out, actually, before we do anything else. Oh, I didn't know there was one earlier. I thought you were going to be all up night, uh, all up, uh, up all night with you. No, man, I can't do that. I'm sorry, Belfit Joe. We're going to be wrapping up in like 30 minutes. But yeah, I usually stream starting at around 1. I'm trying to stream earlier than that because before that I used to stream after 1. And it's like, I feel like I owe it to the people to stream before now. Right? But then it's like, I'm doing a crossword. <laughs> it's not even the main content, right? So it kind of sucks. But yeah. I started about 12 hours ago. About. But I gotta get that sleep. I don't want to ruin my schedule too bad. And I haven't eaten yet, so I gotta get some dinner in me. I gotta get some food. I gotta get my frozen lasagna in the oven so it'll be ready by the time I wrap up. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, man, this is... Wait. Oh, you know what's happening? I think I'm funneling down the gas. Wait, is that what's happening? Because of the spill pattern, am I pulling the CO2 down? It could be just not enough uh, gas pressure. Okay, yeah. Let's set that up then. Help that out with the vent on the side. But yeah, I accidentally all that forward my OBS earlier because my Oni froze. And there was that, it was either that or control delete, right? Feels bad. That's why you don't have the, the uptime tallied over there. That's probably why it, it shows that I'm only live like seven hours. Sorry about that. That is a little bit of a misconception because uh, the earlier values weren't actually being shown. Still waiting for this to spill. Research is done. Nice. So we would probably want to get started on some of the post tech, right? That is going to be battery and some of the solar panel stuff. We don't have rad bolts yet, but we'll get that too. And then on this side, it's those have not been done yet. Okay.
All right, now that we get the oxygen on these vents, it should help out with the pressure. So this is a thousand, three thousand. So that's technically enough for what? So that's three thousand per second, right? That's per bubble. And then that means, I mean, it's going to be split up. That's enough technically for what? 30 dupes? Realistically, it's 24. And then the stuff is gonna melt, so I gotta leave this here. So a lot of the slime, we mined it, but because we are dealing with the polluted oxygen, it's not really getting that bad. And then this is at freaking 10 kgs. Why is this so pressurized? God damn, that's heavy pressure. That's popped eardrums, man. Can't be dealing with that. This is done, nice. So we don't need to go down. Okay, so this might be safe from water. I say that, but I'm about to dump this side. So that's really all I need to think about, right? It's the water spill. And then after I'm done with that, I could set up the Paku Ranch. Because I don't want to add mixed water, and that's going to be a problem with the Paku. So I need to deal with the water. A little bit more right there. We probably just want to mine this out, but I want this to kind of spill to the left. And we could seal this up. Realistically, I don't think this is worth any of it. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. This doesn't feel worth it. This doesn't feel worth it. Okay, we're gonna crack space, and we're just gonna mine everything here. And then we could allow the polluted oxygen to just off-gas off the map. I think we're okay with that. Because we just want to mine the slime and the ice. And then put a seal on this. Uh, actually, I can't. This is gold meteors, right? Yeah, this is gold meteor. What am I doing? So I need to do the water strat. Oh, that's such a pain feeds out here. I don't have power. I mean, doesn't mean I don't do it though, right? I still gotta do it. Let's run that through. So we're gonna run the water through the metal refinery. This is gonna be coming out this way. Oh, come on. This vent's in the way. What does that mean? So... Gold Meteor. So the Metal Meteors deal damage to the tiles. So when they collide, they will actually damage the tiles they land on. Not every Meteor actually does that. The other Meteor that we get, Slime Meteor, they actually don't deal damage. They land on top and they leave debris, but it doesn't actually damage the tile. The Oxalite Meteor is the same way, doesn't deal damage. So the difference between Meteors that deal damage and the ones that don't is that the meteors that deal damage, deal damage to everything, even Abyssalite. And the only way to protect yourself is with something known as bunker tiles. Bunker tiles specifically need to be made out of steel. And if you don't have that, eventually they're going to break through your ceiling and then start damaging your base. If a meteor hits a ladder, it's a one shot. If the meteor hits normal tiles, it will probably be two hits, but then it will completely destroy it. As in the tiles, you know, you have to rebuild the tiles and all that. It's going to be damaged. And it's AoE effect too. And then it's hot. It's about like two to 300 degrees. The meteor is coming in. So you really want to protect yourself from that. I forgot that we get gold here. So I really need to try to generate steel first. So we're going to use the water we're using from the coolant line. Oh, we're not allowing more out. Oh, that's bad. I actually needed that setup. Ah... Oof, yeah, this res is maxed out. And then, yeah, it's getting warm inside. That's not good. That's not good. Base is warming up. Let's go, boys. We gotta do this ASAP. Mom was up. He's having some water. He knows we're about to wrap up soon. Please do this. I need the water to leave the system. And then we need to connect this power line. There we go. 
And now we can add more water. Wait, wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Green signal if above. How is this not above? This is at 5,000. Green signal if above. Oh, this is the wrong sensor. No, I need a hydro sensor. Oh, shit. I used the wrong sensor, boys. Uh, we, we have to empty this. <laughs> no, I needed this one. Oh, shit. I was like, why is this zero? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. This is atmosphere. This is gas. Hydro is water, dude. Aw, oh, dude. Alright, we have to empty this, so it's not that bad. So it's not like it's gonna be a problem. We just kinda have to use the water. I guess that's cool. That really sucks. Let's take this guy that builds. It's um totally cool. Yep. Seem legit. Yep. All good. It's all gravy. Alright, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna push out the water. And then this is seven tiles. 1200 watts. I could build conductive, but it's kind of gross. So. The hydrogen is actually the answer, but I'm using it for something jank. Alright, we're gonna have to use very jank setup. Oof. All right. We're gonna need to make- Oh, wait! I have no iron? Oh, no! I can't even make steel. I have no iron? What the heck is this? Dude, we have iron here, right? We have rusty. Okay, we have iron. Okay. Dude, this is jank. This guy needs a homie now, man. We're gonna need as as much as we can. Okay, we get the jungle biome here. It's just cold. Okay, that means we will need oxygen on the side. All right, let's run this. All right, we had to connect it to the other side because we're gonna need the O2 line, which is fine. O2 is pressurizing again, all is good. Man, okay. So at least we have water now for the coolant line. It's not really that bad. We're out of water here, which is okay. We could start spilling the other water tank into here. So it would be... Ooh, this has slime lungs though. I guess we could do this, like that, and then mine this. Oh, but then that's a salt water. No, we don't have to do that yet then. We'll do that later. I might just grab the water from here or something. Maybe we'll stop that and move the pea water here instead. And then now that we have this line, and we have a little bit of water waiting, I could just run it in. But at the same time, since we're buffered, I think we're gonna wait for this. And then we just wait for the iron to come back. That means I wouldn't refine metal on that, which is great. There's no iron in the biome on the sides, that's unfortunate. It's a lot of coal though, it's free power. But we have iron on this side, so we're gonna have to start grabbing the resources from the side. A lot of iron right there, iron right here. Yeah, this is a fat vein. So we're gonna have to send someone back with digging skill, because Joshua doesn't have that. Sorry, Josh. Whoever we send will have digging skill, and they'll clean the toilets for you, man. But he is having a bad time. Alright, alright. Cooking, we're gonna send the O2 to them. All the water here is cleaned up, so I can't really be that mad. How much water is it actually here? 5,000? 
It's a 25. So I have 25 tiles of water right here. This is how much water I have in that space. It's not really that much. It's only, what, 24 tiles like this. We just kind of condensed it to 2x3 two by, two by like that. That's not bad. Alright, I do need the kiln because we need refined carbon. And because of this... This is super meme. I shouldn't go through. I should just start from this side. Like, realistically, man. And then we'll just trim this down. Alright, because my map is clean of polluted oxygen, more or less, we are somewhat okay to just break open the slime lung. Because the, the, like, it's not going to contaminate that bad. And there's some buddy buds right here. Oh, look at that. The floral scent's taking over. A floral scent supremacy. At what point are you going to start playing on Atmos suits? Probably when I start building my rockets. So what we're going to want to do is get steel first. And then once we have steel, I can actually protect an entrance. And then we're going to do like a small bunker wall right here. So that we're protected. And then after we do that, we go in and out with suits. And once we have that, hopefully we'll have steel uh, somewhat be used. I think we don't use... Man, I kind of kind of mad that we're actually going to go down this route. This is going to be our first time we're going to use the blast shot. I think. Because this is very much the only situation where you want to blast shot. Because it's like, I'm not someone that likes to waste metal just to, you know, protect yourself. But we have every metal volcano in the book. We have two of each. Two gold, two cobalt, two aluminum. Right? So it's like we have two, but two of every gold, uh, every metal volcano. So I think we could just make the blast shots and then we don't need to use that much steel if that happens. So we just protect ourselves with the turrets and we'll be good. We got two cobalts, two gold, two copper, two aluminum. We got two of everything, man. The cobalts are open, dude. One's right here. We got the second one up here. That's copper, dude. Gold's right here. This is also gold. And then this is aluminum. We have some more underneath. Nata gas. We, we stocked, man. Cobalt's nice, dude. But I get cobalt and aluminum, so the cobalt's kind of wasted. Because I have a better metal. So it's kind of like, man, what am I going to do with the cobalt? I'll just give it to Joshua as a present. Because he needs one. Oh, he's complaining about the toilets. That's why he's sad. So he refuses to clean this. And then he's sad because he doesn't want to clean it. Yeah, look at that. I don't want to clean the toilet, man complaining about it with the speech bubbles and he immediately pees his pants and the pee freezes god damn that's cold that's a bad time dude that reminds me of the 100k challenge map where you would just randomly have a dupe pee and then it's frozen immediately mm -mm. that's not fun man peeing out ice that sounds like a bad time all right is this ready we're going to be using the coolant water so that we could make iron. And then once we get that, we're going to send the water into the spa. So that we could do something with the hot water. Oh no! I just realized something real bad. This is pee water. Oh, I messed up. Almost. I see now. I go like this. We remove that. I guess we go for that. Construction. Yeah, we want to do this first. Oh, man. I would have sent pee water into here. You know what happens? The pee water, when it goes to electrolyzer, it dumps out into the area. And that would have bought the infinite pressure. And then I would have had mixed gases. It would have been a bad time. Oh, man. I forgot this is polluted water. I can't believe that one. 
So I know what we need to do though. This is not active anymore, so it shouldn't actually matter. I might actually remove this. And then the power wire from here. So we're gonna run this through the sieve, and instead of having the sieve go into uh, that, we're gonna have it go to the meta refinery. And then, once it's out, it goes directly to the spawn. Alright, bad news about that, I haven't gotten my Weaves Wards or any iron. So my man's over here is slacking. Uh, let's grab the iron, let's grab the iron, and then we gotta work towards this. And that's gonna be this, and then straight down. Okay, so I believe that was Ruby. I mean, C. Benberg. I'm sorry, buddy. I called you by your old name. No, wait, what? You don't do excavation? Who was it that did that? Who was it that did the digging skill? Ah, oh, it's Miss Chemical Stairs. Yeah, she's tidying. Oh, that means we're not going to get our toilets clean back at home, though. Like, we can't send Miss Chemical Stairs, dude. All right, we're going to send Ada. We'll give her some tidying. Ada, 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 let's go. We'll send two people over there. That way it cools down a little bit faster. Let's go, let's go. And that way we could mine the iron a little bit faster. But you have digging skill. We're going to want this. If possible. And then move back the iron. Alright, we are not going to do minerals anymore. Dirt, iron, and mealwood seeds. Oh, and then wart seeds once we get that. Alright, so we need this. Oh man, this is not breathable because of the pee water right here. Anyways, it's free iron. I gotta grab it. Don't really have a choice in this. Oh! Oh, yeah, and Ada clean? Ada do the clean? I hear you, Mamba. I know, I know. I know, I know. Mamba's yelling at me. He's like, dude, just, just wrap up stream early. No, man. I got like 10 minutes. I know you've been well, waiting a long time, Mamba. Alright, technically, climb down, climb down, get that. That's a clean setup. Dude, and then it goes down still, goddamn. Into a new vein. And then all the rust here is technically also iron. So I might want to mine that, bring it home. All right, we're still working. We want to do iron. Yeah, we have no iron at all. Let's make the three that we can make, and then we know it's like this. There we go. And then now we have a place to dump the water. So we want to make iron to get it started, because we need the iron. If I run a conveyor rail, over a volcano, where do I need to steal rails? Just output? Uh, need the answer before you end stream. Okay. So, the... I have the volcanoes on this planet, right? So, this is a volcano, right? Let me actually choose this one. This is a volcano. The 4x4. And then, if you want to build tiles, you can build these four. But then these are untouchable. Except for these. So, this is your volcano. Now, to show you... This is a copper volcano. Right? So, that spot is the same. Regardless of what kind of metal volcano it is. So, you would want these three tiles. To be either steel or wolframite. And then, once you have that done, what you need to set up is... You need to understand how the priming setup works. So when you have a room ready for the metal volcano to tame it, that room is a vacuum, usually, with some water on the ground, right? That way you could heat up the water and you get steam. That's the most important step. A lot of times, 
you could just let it erupt and then wait for the steam to kind of just spawn from the uh, metal sitting on top of the water. So you don't want to sweep until you have steam present. That's another thing. So if you run your auto sweeper and it sweeps through your loader and it's a vacuum, dude, you're going to break everything in there. <laughs> so you got to watch out for that. Make sure these three in the middle from the left are steel when the conveyor rails. And then when you have it erupt, make sure that it's a vacuum and there's water on the ground and you want to wait for that water on the ground to all become steam before you start sweeping it. If you sweep it, you're going to be in a vacuum and that means your loader and sweeper are going to overheat. Usually, just because it doesn't know what to do with all that heat on there. But yeah, hope that makes sense, Talk of Void. Let me know if you have any other questions. And also, people of chat, man, if you guys got any questions, I got you. I have way too much time playing this game. Over 3,000 hours. Yes, I know, 3,000. Goddamn right, that's a lot of hours. So, I got you guys if you guys got questions. Um, also, if you didn't know, you could use Wolframite for the conveyor rail. If you have Wolframite, you don't need steel. Uh, the reason why you want steel is because it usually, unless it's a specific volcano, uh, doesn't hit the melting point. I think there's only like two metal volcanoes that actually hit the melting point. And I think it's the uh, extreme ones with Neobium. But uh, for the most part, Wolframite actually has a high melting point as well. So you could use this for um, the melting point because it's at 3k. And you could use that for a rail. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to send some food over. Let's send some Swamp of Delights. Oh. Ah, uh, it's flooded, so I can't actually do it, huh? That's actually kind of a pain. Okay. So we'll just send all this. Swamp chart hard, nice. Oh, and I also should make a mini pod here. Ah, uh, doesn't really matter where I put this. What's going on, Loki? Not allow my schedule. Okay. Sleep and dupes, we'd be fine. Pick up the food. Let's go. Oh, there's no deliveries. Swampy delights, though. Oh, this is higher priority. That's why I need to lower that to eight. And then now people will do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is salt in my sulfur gas chamber. Like, it condensed into salt, WTF. So, salt is weird. Salt could be crushed from salt to table salt, and then you could melt table salt back into regular salt. So, something like that, I, I kind of believe. <laughs> Yo, Ainamosnia, thank you so much. Welcome in. How are you? Thank you so much for the uh, one year partner anniversary. Well wishes. Welcome in, welcome in. You're actually catching us at the end of the 12 hours because I started at 12 noon and then my stream crashed. And then I picked it up seven hours and 30 minutes ago. So we're about to wrap up, actually. I hear you, Mambo. And it's time for me to have my first meal, boys. Uh, I mean, I'm still not really hungry yet. I'm still feeling like the stream stress. So I'm not actually hungry yet. But yo, man, I haven't eaten. I know it's bad for me. I gotta start eating soon. Gotta give my kitty cat some attention as well. But hey, thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help you out right now. If you do have any curious questions, but if not, hey man, appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. I uh, very much appreciate that. But yeah, my kitty cat wants some uh, attention right now. This guy, man. Look at that. He's trying to be cute. He's like, look at me. I'm rolling on the floor. I'm showing you my belly. 
I do the big stretch. Look at this little kitty cat. He's like, yo, man. It's belly rub time. I hear you, Mamba. I know, I know. All right, no questions. Sounds good. And guys, I think this is going to be where we're going to wrap things up for the night. So, cycle 67. I was able to get a spawn up and running. And it's cooled. We're running a coolant loop line. So we have right here uh, 25 tons of negative 10 polluted water. And we're bringing that in from a geyser from this side. Right here. This is uh, negative 10 polluted water. We're just bringing that over from the other planet. We got our spawn because we don't have water on this planet. So we just brought it from the next planet. And then now that we have this, we're going to try to get some steel. I need to make refined carbon off of this. Let's go with 50. And then we're going to have steel to protect ourselves. And then we're going to try to do some rocketry. Not bad, not bad. So it's looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Next thing on the list is going to be space stuff. And we need to get started with the scanning. Because we're doing the food run, I want to get the hardest food out because the other foods we might be able to just randomly do, like the barbecue stuff. There are a lot of geysers, though, that I am looking for, like the sulfur geyser. I'm going to go straight to Steam. I So there is a, there's a bug in this game. I don't know if you guys know the bug, but there's one thing about my game. I don't know if you guys noticed. I don't have that much CO2. And that's because when you're on a map with a lot of polluted oxygen, from uh, mud, from polluted dirt tiles, from polluted water. And especially if you mop up all the bottles of pee water all the time. There's a bug that, that exists in the game where a lot of your randomly spawning carbon dioxide will get deleted. So I actually don't have a lot of CO2. Like I could try to pump this up, but it's, it's so far. So I don't think I can actually fuel a CO2 rocket that many times. So I'm gonna go straight to steam, I think. So that means we will need like two tons of steel so we can make an aqua tuner. And then we're going to use the aqua tuner with no, with no steam turbine, right? And then we'll be able to use that as a cooling loop if we really want to. So I might do a weird setup from that that's different from my usual setup. So I'm thinking about running a metal refine or uh, running the aqua tuner into a reservoir. And then we're going to make it so that it always aqua tunes and we check the water before it goes in so that it goes into the cooling loop or not. And then the logic is, is that the reservoir will average out the water temperature and then I could actually buffer cooling down the other buildings. By doing it like that, I would be able to effectively, uh, you know, run the aqua tuner for longer because I might need more steam temperature, right, for the fuel. So I want to make sure I could just run it. So I'll probably do a weird setup like that. Run that single aqua tuner to cool parts of the map. But the map's cold. So I don't know if we're going to actually have to cool that down that much. But yeah, that's going to be the idea. And then hopefully we'll get some space scan next time. All right. So guys, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. It has officially been 12 hours and like 10 minutes. And it is time for me to get some food. So let's get that saving.